Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T. Hanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before, and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. T. Hanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin look and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handling get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause with counsel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handling is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. Let's just have a conversation. Yo, yo, what's going on, family? Going to introduce the crew. We got Carol, Mr. Let Go. She's so lucky. Anton Daniels, Bruiser, Lady Dad, Ella, Lady Shan, Ali, and me, myself, and my people. Jay, y'all, welcome to my people. Let's talk. What's going on, family? What's going on? How y'all doing? Peace, peace. Yeah. What's going on, bro? How you doing, my brother? And and rest of the panel. What's good to see you guys, man. You guys are looking nice. Bruise, I see you fade into the black even more, man. So you're not gonna have a head, you're just gonna just be body. Uh Bruiser, didn't you have a shirt on? Uh well, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's too early. It's too early. Uh shout out to the sponsor, Teach Handling Uncomplicated Skin Cap for Men, 30% off along with a free gift. Make sure you guys click that link that's in the description. That's how you get your 30% off along with a free gift. I see somebody pulling up early already. Make sure we mute in between just to reduce the noise. Um, hit the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get the likes up early so we don't have to keep repeating it throughout the broadcast. I would hate to have to put the broadcast on pause for the first time. Let's see what we got in the chat. Shout out to all my green gang. If you want to become part of the green gang, that link is pinned to the top of the chat. We got Marcellus, Jordan Landry, um, J, G, Ali, Muva, Muva J, Ch Christopher J, Ed Hill, DYT. Shout out to all the Green Gang. Again, if you want to become part of the Green Gang, that link is pinned to the top of the chat. How y'all doing, family? Y'all good? Yes, sir. We good yes, to go? Yes, we are. Yes, sir. That sound dry, dry, dry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I feel to great. I feel great. I feel great. You got your red on. It's not a hoodie, but you still got your red on. So we got to be cautious tonight with Mr. Let Go. You already know what that means. Uh, we, we already know. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into our first topic of the night, which is you can't change a person's nature. You can't change a person's nature. We play this clip. It's a little icebreaker. Sometimes we get in a space as women. I know I've been there. Oh, he'll change. Oh, Lord. He'll do it for me. Mm. I, I know that if I show him how, oh Lord, he'll pick it up oh my God. because I'm just so good of a, and I am, I am so good of a person, but you can't change a person's nature. If you're a taker, 
and you haven't built up the muscle memory to know what it takes to actually be a giver, that's not in your heart. I can't change your heart. Mm. I'm a giver. I know I'm a giver. You can't make me a taker just because you're a taker. Right. So that means that it doesn't matter what you do. I'm always going to give. And I, in kind, I also know it doesn't matter what I do. You're always going to take. Uh, you can't change a person's nature. You can't change a person's nature. Let's go ahead and get this show started. I think I'm going to go ahead and go to Lucky first. What are your thoughts about that? I was actually thinking um, about what she was saying. I think I get it. I don't. I wouldn't say a person's nature. I think men and women have different nature that has some set characteristics. But it sounds like she's saying if you're raised to think a certain way or you're raised on survival and you're learning to take things, then you're going to constantly take things and there's nothing she's going to be able to do. It may not be enough. So I think people are who they are. And you can't change people if that's what she's trying to say. I don't think nobody can change anybody. That's an individual process. So then I would say she is right. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. That person is still going to be who they are. All right. Copy, copy. Um, Bruiser, what are your thoughts about it? So you can't change a person's nature. <clears throat> I believe in the power of influence. I also believe in the power behind testimonies that relate to people that go through similar struggles and challenges. So I don't, I'm not really uh, sold on you can't change anyone. I think anybody can change. I think it's just if you, if you put you put yourself around the right people, right group of people, and the right uh, uh, influence, then they could rub off on you. You know, I've been in this space for uh, almost a year, and I got to tell you, I, I see things a lot differently. Being around a lot of uh, brothers is influential, especially on King Talk. So. I think it's a way to, I think that's very possible. You just got to be receptive. You got to be receptive. The people who say these things usually are not receptive. Okay. Lady Dad, what are your thoughts? You can't change a person's nature. So I don't agree. Um, only because there are people who, let's say, do bad things. And it doesn't mean that they're going to continue to do bad things. It doesn't mean that they're going to continue to be a bad person. That's up to what they what they want to change. So I understand what she's saying. It's in someone's nature, but you can change that if you want to. So I could be a giver too, but it doesn't mean I can't change it to something else if I see that it's beneficial. So if I think it's beneficial, I'll do it. And it's not like it's the easiest process in the world. It takes time, but if it's worth it, you do it. If you don't want to do it, then you don't do it. And then you're going to say, oh, it's my nature. Those are excuses. It's not about nature. Yeah, I understand naturally you can be something or be somebody, but it doesn't mean you have to stay like that because that means that everybody that does something or let's say people that are in jail, that means that some of them, they just going to stay the same way. That's that's not even logical. Um, everybody that is um, able to change, they will. All right. Lady Shan, what are your thoughts about it? You can't change a person's nature. Um, it depends. Um, good nature, bad nature, uh, nature's nature. Some people's natures, uh, for instance, you know, for me, myself, if I feel that there's an issue that I have and maybe others have pointed it out and I want to change it, then I'll change it. But if there's something that goes against my, whatever my moral code of conduct is, uh, it ain't wavering. There's some things that ain't going to waver. And there's some things that are flexible. It just depends. Um, can you change people? What for the better? If they want to, do you want to change for the better? If you see it, and if you want to, but I mean, there's 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 bad changes. Like if I'm I'm quite a giving person, but just because I could be around people that have all taken the piss and taken and taken and taken, that's just kind of me. I won't ever turn into then be a taker. But what I'll do is I'll make sure my giving will just be a bit more focused and I'll vet people better than not in order to give, you know, but I'm not going to change my traits uh, for other people. Come on. Way. Shut up. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, Ali, what are your thoughts about it, sir? You can't change a person's nature. Um, I, I used to believe that uh, people were a product of their environments. And then I, I transitioned to, I believe people can be a product of their wisdom and their experiences based on where they live, given, the, given their experiences, what they can learn from someone else. But I do, like, it took a long time. I remember my parents used to tell me people don't change, but 
given my maturity now and the age I'm at, I, I, I think uh, you can't change a person's nature. I, most of the people that I met were good in nature and typically wanted to help people and support people. Um, typically stay that way. And people who are manipulative, deceitful, wanted to use people and taking advantage of people, man, they usually stay that way. But that's why I believe um, you have leaders and you have followers and there's laws. I think leaders are put in place to make people, uh, to sustain a certain world and make people change their nature um, to make a better world and to sustain a better um, environment for people. So yeah, I don't, I don't think you can change a person's nature, but you can contain it and sustain it. All right. Um, uh... Ella, what are your thoughts about it? You can't change a person's nature. Um, I think um a word that late a lot of people not realizing the lady said, she said, you can't change a person's nature. She didn't say the person couldn't change, she said you couldn't do it. And I think she was explaining as far as the dynamic of being in a relationship with somebody, and as far as the owners being on their mate. No, you cannot change a person. Now you can inspire them to change, you can put them in an environment where they might. Um, want to change on their own now just because you as an individual can't change the person that doesn't mean the person can't change those are two different conversations now the person can change but you can't make them do it so i think that's what she was trying to say all right carol boss what are your thoughts about it you can't change a person's nature yeah, I, I agree with her 100 percent because everybody basically has a natural state like how you are naturally, nobody really can't change that. If you're aggressive, you're going to be aggressive. If you're kind hearted and gentle, you're going to be gentle. And if say, if I'm really gentle and somebody is saying, get more rough or be more aggressive, I could try to, I could be like, maybe in this topic, I would be a little bit more aggressive, but it's not going to be me. So my nature, no, I don't think that somebody else can change that about me or I could change it about them. But if they feel like in a given subject or something like that, that they would want to like try to be a little bit more uh, different then they could do that. But no, everybody's going to be at their natural way and be stuck in their ways pretty much unless they decide to make the change. All right. Now, Tom, what are your thoughts about it? You can't change a person's nature. If you can't change a person's nature, then that means that black people are inherently trash because we perpetually been at the bottom of the totem pole for the entire time. So if we can't change people, then what do we sit here arguing and having these conversations about the state of the black community for in the first place then? If we can't change people, then how do you explain women changing how it is that they operate around the men that they're around depending on the environment, AKA Western culture, and then they start to adopt feminism and go a completely different way. If you can't change people, because people are basically mammals and mammals are basically animals, if you can't change people, then how do you domesticate an animal? Huh? Why is it that we change the environment in which our kids are raised in so that they're then influenced by other people so that they didn't go on a different path? It, listen, if you don't think as a man that you can change a woman, then you just not him. Because women act differently around the different types of men that they look for or the different types of men that they're around. If you don't think that you can change people, then you've never seen your chick operate the way that she operates around her boss. Because she's a completely different entity around her manager and her boss and her supervisor than she is around people that she feels that she can get away with certain behaviors. You know, Mr. Let Go says that women are children, right? A lot. And I agree with them. Because the true nature of a woman is to be molded by the man in which she, she's under. And so that's the nature of a woman is that she's basically clay. She's basically there to be molded by the person that she subjects herself to, which then allows for her to be submissive. That's the whole idea behind it. Right. And so if you've never seen a pimp completely take the soul of a woman and you really don't understand what it take, what it, what it means to change a person. If you've never seen a pimp literally take control in the soul, the very being of that woman and make her into whatever it is he wanted to be good or bad, then you absolutely positively do not understand the, 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 the whole dynamic behind people. 
And so I think that she's absolutely wrong. Um, the lady that was on the, the video, I think she's absolutely wrong. I think that most people really truly don't understand human nature. And I think you absolutely can change everything around you if, if, if you that type of person. If you the person that knows how to control the room, if you the person that knows how to get the most out of people, if you the person, that's why certain people make so much more money than other people because they understand human nature. Being, being great in business is not even that you're smarter than everybody else, it's that you understand people. That's all it is, is you understand people and you know how to get the most out of them. A, ma a great manager knows what you need in order to get the most out of you. And so he changes the environment, he changes everything around you in order to change who you are to get you to perform a completely different way than if you are over here in this environment. And so I think you absolutely can change nature or not, not change nature. I think you absolutely can change people. It's just that some people can't and you not him. That's all it is. Go ahead, Ella. You want to say you had your finger, you want to smile? <laughs> yeah, that was funny as hell. Um, I think we got to stick to what we're talking about. If we're talking about individual relationships, no, you can't change somebody. And if you think you could change somebody, you're only changing yourself because if a woman changed for you, it's because that's what she chose to do. It's because you display the energy and you carried yourself in a way where she submitted herself to you. That's not nothing you have that, that you have to do. You just are that person or you're not. So you were right about that. Like you either him or you're not. But to be him don't mean you got to impose anything. You just show up. So if no, woman, that's, that's not, hold on, let me, let me finish. Up. Let me finish. Okay, I'm going um, to let you finish. You, you do just show up. You know what I'm saying? If you got to... Some men just show up, some men don't. Everybody don't understand that concept. Somebody, some people had to get an 800 credit score, a Maybach, and a big house to get the attention of women they never got in their life. And that's a way, but some people just, based on where they carry themselves and the way they move, just galvanize people. You brought up a pimp, a pimp don't got nothing but his mouth. So it's not like he has so much, he just showed up. And for whatever reason, he inspired this woman to submit himself to the man. But I think that's a horrible example because when you're dealing with people, especially black people in, in mass, we have a multi-layered problem. Spiritual, economic, social. So to just summarize that up with comparing them to animals and a hoe, because a hoe is somebody who's at the total bottom. Black people are not at the total bottom. And if we are at the total bottom, it's because we've been changed not by people, but by systems. Systems can change people. But individuals can motivate and inspire people. But systems is what changes people against their will. No one individual changes anybody. They can inspire someone to change or can carry themselves in a way that galvanizes people. But there's no force required to do so. All you're doing is spitting words, salad. Because, A, you agreed with me. Then you chose to disagree with No, I agree with, with the aspect of no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, words, I'm salad. sorry. You asked me to be quiet so I can let you finish, and I'll let you finish. Nah, but you ain't got to diminish. No, 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 no. I need you. I need you to get the same energy that you required. If you asked me to let you finish, and I said, "Okay, you're right. I'm gonna let you finish." I'm gonna need you to pipe down, strengthen your argument, and stop trying to get all bossy. That's not what we're doing. I'm not. I'm not getting bossy, bro. But you're not gonna boss me around either. Because are are you are you gonna let me finish or you not? Are you gonna let me finish or you not? I got it. I got it. That's exactly how I'm gonna talk to you, bro. That's exactly how I'm gonna talk to you, bro. I didn't talk to you like that. I didn't talk to you like that. That's exactly how I'm talking to you. I talked to him respectfully. That's exactly how I'm talking to you, my father. I didn't talk to you like I was. No, no, no. Not only am I gonna talk to you like this, one at a time. I'm a son you all night long. I'm a son Bro, you all night long. The, the, the fact that you're saying this at the beginning already alleviates anything you got to say after that because you're moving from. It doesn't alleviate. So I'm gonna need, I'm need you to learn. I'm gonna need you to learn. I'm gonna need you to learn what the Bro, meaning of words real, mean. Some real listen, stuff, listen, dog. listen. I'm not a panelist. It doesn't alleviate anything. It don't alleviate anything. Bro, it don't leave me nothing. Bro, just talk you? regular to me, bro. Because I'm not no parent. I'm going to talk, I'm I'm talk how the fuck I want to talk. Come on, y'all. All right. Hey, come on. Anton the Yellow. Let's just come on, y'all. I'm come just on. saying. I'm peaceful. I ain't come at him like that. He talking like he my You father. did come at me like that. No, I didn't. You That's just exactly easily, how you came no, at me. You just easily offended because you're not come that dude. Come on. I am that dude. I promise you I will make you that dude, too. I promise you I will. You can't make me anything. I promise you. 
Unless it's in a court. All right. Room. I, okay, cowgirl. Okay, we. I see what we. Bro, you, are you. All right, out here. I just talking. You already intimidated. I'm already ruffling your feathers. I ain't even say nothing. So you already show who that nigga. You is. look like my feathers is ruffled. Son, I, 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 see e I'm looking I see at you. E I see an easy target. Son, I don't see target because I don't look at men as competition. We just having a conversation. I, I do. Your and not only do I look at men as competition, so your whole vernacular look at showing somebody what type of man that I can is. absolutely sun all night. I'm going to make you fucking bro, famous. That's just, words. that's just words, bro. You're right. Men, no, we can, but we can meet up and we can have a conversation in real life. Bro, life. We can have a conversation it's, in real life. Come on, come on, come on y'all. Let's bro, bro, talk to your it. man, you, bro. You're not, bro, you're not, you're not pulling up on nobody. Stop that. Let's get back to the All right. I just said we can meet in real life. This is how I know. We can meet. We can discuss this This is how I know. This is how I know that you you thought you was tough, but you're not really that dude. Bro, I'm not because trying minute, to be tough. Minute, I'm just trying to talk. The to minute you. that a dude says that he, we can talk in real life, that's how I know we got that oh, feminine yeah, energy. That's how we know you ain't trying that's to. That's how I know you got that feminine energy in you, bro. Got the whole thing trying to do that. Listen, the whole show. I don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. You ain't made your point yet. Look at you. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Can I respond? Oh, I ain't say nothing about that. Why you say that, man? Y'all darn goddamn. Shit. Talk nah, about that, know, man. What the hell? I think y'all can say whatever y'all want on these panels. Like, bro, just be a man. Don't get all emotion. Just Yo, talk, can y'all stop? I just so said what I wanted like, to real, say. Real shit. Y'all don't right, got bro, whatever y'all can. Son, can y'all stop? Can y'all stop? I'm going to sign you all night long. And it ain't nothing you can do. It's not a competition. Yo, can y'all stop? It's not. No. I no, 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 Mr. Let go, Mr. Let go, Mr. Let go. Let me tell you, let me tell you why I'm not going to stop, Mr. Let go. Because it's always y'all calling for me to be the bigger person. I'm not stupid. We we know what the intention was with the way in which he, he started having this conversation in the first place. If he didn't want that type of energy, then he shouldn't have invited it with his with the way that in, in which he was communicating. And now, no, 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 no. I know, no, I'm gonna take it. No, I'm gonna take as much time as I need oh God, to, to say what I want to say. The fact okay. of the matter is, he asked me to be quiet. I stayed mm -hmm. quiet. The minute that I started responding, then he wanted to cut me off and get emotional, Yo, and now he wanted to fuck my... Look at him. He don't even know how to shut the so fuck what? up for five seconds. You're right, because you ain't making why, no why, sense. Why, why should I be the oh, bigger yeah. person, Mr. Leggo? Because you ain't making That's no right. sense. Can I jump in for one second? No, 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 no. Answer that question. You make your point. If, if, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be the bigger person no more. The minute that I see a dude operating the way that he operate, I'm going to call that shit out. And the fact Ain't of the matter is, no kind of way. the fact of the matter is, hold him accountable for not shutting the fuck up and letting me finish yeah. my point. Look how you talking, you gotta, bro. Like, you like, you do do let me finish my point. Hey, let, 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 let him. No, 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 no. If he oh, don't require oh, somebody, oh, don't oh, talk oh, that oh, man oh, shit oh, to oh, me. Oh, Real men, real men operate the way. Hold on, hold on, let's stop. Just let him finish. I didn't, but I didn't talk to this man disrespectfully. It's okay. Like, I'm, I'm just, not, you cut me off. That was disrespectful. Bro, that's, that's, don't that's, ask me to finish. That's don't that's ask me to finish and then cut me that's off. Right, bro. It's the way you right. it. Right. 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 Just let him finish. Right. Just let him finish, and then you can go afterwards. Let let Anton finish, and you can go right right after. That's right. Let me fucking finish, cause I'm the king, nigga. Of your world. Now, like I was saying, you don't understand, nigga. You think that you know, but you just throwing a bunch of word salad because the fact of the matter is, and I'm going to substantiate exactly what I was going to say originally, is that you agreed with me and then you chose to disagree with me just because you are an arguable person. That's just the nature of a feminine man. And so a guy that thinks that a woman is making a decision on her own does not understand female nature. You don't. And that's the reason why certain women operate around certain men a certain type of way, just the way that you explained and how they operate around other men a certain type of way because they tend to take advantage of people that think like you. You think you him, you not him. You not him at all. <laughs> you all right. can I, can I, 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 I want to say now? something real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. you said I can go after him. Can I go? Could he just, he just let, let just said all no, the bullshit about me. No, no, Bro, no. he wasn't talking no. to you, man. Like, no. damn, he just said all that. Let, let go, let him respond. He got the right to respond. Like, damn, let him respond. Like, 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 no, nah, y'all a tag team let champion of the world or something? Let go, let him Like, nah, you're not going to just talk to me. Like, first of all, I countered your argument, sir, but you got emotional. 
you got in your feelings and you felt like you need to attack and reclaim your presence on a fucking panel. This must be this must mean a whole lot to you because you got to go out your way to express your your stance on this panel. It wasn't even necessary. I didn't speak to you disrespectfully. I didn't call, call you out your name and none of that. For you to come on your argument to start off saying I'm going to sun you and all this, this, this is not a competition between people. We, we giving off different pr pr points of views of how we view life. You said some things I'd agree with. I, I agree with an aspect of your conversation. I don't have to agree with everything you said. Y'all think y'all know everything just because people disagree with you? Nothing you said really makes sense. And you're not that dude. And you're not him. I, I, based on, I done watched you a few times, bro. And I don't want to get personal. That's why I didn't want to do this. Because I don't like to get personal. Because you guys be on these panels a lot. And it's easy to dissect you. You may have a good money, brother. You may have a good career. You turning around and all that. That's cool. But you may have a good career, brother. You may make good money. But that don't mean you him, bro. There's nothing about you that says him. There's nothing about your energy that says you him. And if you are him, show who him lay with. Because if your woman don't look better than you, my nigga, I don't need you to get on these panels and talk about who him and none of that. Just stick to the conversations at hand. Don't talk crazy. Don't talk personal because you don't know me as a man. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know how a woman to come around me. But I promise you, my nigga, if I was ever in the same vicinity as you, right, would no woman look, be look looking at you over there looking at me, my nigga? And I ain't even trying to talk like that because that's petty and that's childish. But your argument was so petty that I had to dip, bend down and talk to you on this fucking petty ass level instead of staying at a high level and keeping it about the conversation. But you want to talk about who's him and who not? Nigga, I could fight. Period. So I don't care what you got and what you own. Unless you're trying to meet up and speak to me that way in person, please keep it respectful, dog. Because I'm not a panelist or an analyst. I'm a man. And you ain't got to agree with me. But don't ever talk to me like that in your life because I'm not your son. I'm a person you see on the fucking screen on a Thursday, dog. And keep it like that. Fuck these points. Don't talk to me like that because we can meet up, bro. And we can talk like that in person. And I promise you I'm going to keep the same energy, dog. So that's, just keep it like that. You ain't got to agree with me. You ain't got to think I'm articulate or none of that. But don't ever talk to me like that because you don't know me from a can of paint. And I don't give a fuck what the nigga in the red shirt feel like. I agree. I say what I want to say. All right, you done, bro. No, 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 Stop this shit, bro. No, stop it, Mr. Let go. Let go. Let Anton respond, bro. I'm not talking about it, bro. I'm not talking about it. Stop Listen, that listen, 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 yet. listen, Mr. Let Go. Listen, this is how this is how it went, right? <sighs> what you see here is the exact thing that he just hypocritically in the very beginning of the show said that he wasn't gonna do. All of this tough talk, all of this meet up, all of this want to fight. He must already know me, right? Because he talking about my money, he talking about my nature, he talking about a lot of things. So he did his little research, right? He's sitting up there with his flower shirt, talking tough. Let's be clear. You're not going to pull up on nobody. You're not fighting nobody. All of the empty threats on the internet is nothing. Bro, your life is but a vapor to me. If I didn't give you the energy right now to even talk to you, you wouldn't even be relevant. Bro, I don't the only care, thing, dog. I came to talk about the topic. He's he a talk female. He's a woman. I to talk about He's a bro. woman. I let, I let him get all of his all of his little girl bro, energy you came out. at me disrespectfully, Look bro. at him. Look at him. He a bro, woman. He, he, bro, just no, 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 no. Just move on, bro. Just move on, man. Listen, listen, listen. listen, listen, listen look at him. No, let let Anton face what he got to say. Hey, Bruiser, Bruiser. He can't be quiet. Yeah, we're about to move on. because He jumps in the middle of the conversation. Can we move on, No, man, please let me cook. Let me just do my thing because I know a bitch when I see one. Listen, listen. Right, all see, that, I'm, about, all I'm, about, I'm about to get off the panel on, because on. I don't do get all this. Fuck this, this, this panel, man, bitch. I don't do all this talking. I don't care nothing about you. Come on, man. Right. I don't care nothing about you, your mama, your daddy. I don't care see, about your see, daughter. You, you cross a crazy, you crossing a crazy line that you ain't have to cross. You ain't have to cross a line. You ain't have to do none of that. You ain't. You're nothing to me. That's cool. That's cool. Trash. That's cool. You trash. And if you and if you feel as though you want people talk, this how you let people talk. Shut the fuck All right. up, bitch. All right. About you. All right. He's nothing. Punk ass. All that tough talk. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Bro. I, I, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna say I'm no, just gonna no, no, no. You don't cross the line and then tell me I, I I when I can't it. when I can't cross it's back. Right. He was wrong. Come on, he man. Was wrong. We gotta now. I just want to say this because I, I want to keep on going on the show. Go ahead, go ahead, let go. He was he was wrong. I was just trying to come in and say to, to tell the young man that he was fucking wrong, bro. But you ain't want to stop. 
because I knew it was going to get this bad because you don't know how to stop either. So he was Ooh, wrong. Me? Yes, he <laughs> was wrong. I was trying to just jump in like, bro, you wrong. He was wrong. Listen, but listen, because I'm not, I'm tired of, I'm not going to be the bigger person. He's going to say his shit. It's always I'm not being a bigger like person no more, bro. The damn panel. I'm not being, I'm, I didn't throw him off. He's still in the back. I just let him okay, cool down okay, a little bit. I threw a little look, water. I threw a little water on him. Bring him back up, then. Bring him back up. No, no. All right, Illa. Let's let her bring him up. Come on, man. God damn. So Illa. So look, I, bro, I don't want to talk about this no more, bro. I'm not no fake panelist, dog. Just move on right, to the look, conversation. Illa. This ain't even my style, bro. Why don't you Illa. leave think I was wrong? Why don't you leave Stop talking crazy, bro. Stop talking crazy, bro. I got it. Illa, Illa. Let go. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Move on, bro. Hey, I ain't anybody no have this question yet? Did everybody I, answer this question? No, I ain't answer the question. Okay, go ahead and answer the question. Yeah, you can't think of it. Y'all tripping. All right. Um, changing a woman's nature or changing a man's nature, it can definitely happen. There's something called the Willie Lynch letter. And in the Willie Lynch letter, it literally says, we reversed the nature of the woman. That is a quote. We reversed the nature of the woman. So with all that being said, a woman's nature can definitely be reversed. You know who changed, uh, can change it back or change it one way or the other? Her, her own mother or her husband. It all comes from safety. When a man or when a man makes a woman feel safe or when a man makes a man feel safe, like a job or a supervisor or whatever, you can literally change their nature because the way the reason why we are the way we are is because it makes us feel safe. When you go into it, like I, I, I used to uh, go to prisons. I started off going there with my chest sticking out. Why? Because I didn't know what was going to go on in there. So I'm walking in there with my chest out and, and I'm talking like, all right, y'all did it. Uh, uh, uh. I'm cussing and shit because I ain't never been in no damn prison before. So I'm walking in there feeling like I got to be tough. But guess what? Something that I didn't realize is so much love in, in that dorm. I don't know about all prisons. I'm getting, I'm getting, yo, thank you for coming out. Yo, I watch you on YouTube. Thank you so much. Da, 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 da. And next thing you know, guess what? They changed my nature. The next time I go in there, I'm acting normal. So yes, your environment, men, women, whoever can change your nature. But the way it happens is when an environment or a person makes you feel safe. Once you feel safe, your nature can easily change because in most cases, the reason why we are the way we are, we feel protected or safe in that way. So when I went in that prison, walking around all tough, that made me feel safe. But once they actually calm me down by showing me like, it's all good in here. I ain't do that no more because I felt safe. So as men, if you make a woman feel safe, not yell at her or, 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 or treat her like shit, make her feel safe, her nature will literally reverse, just like the Willie Lynch letter said. You, you, think, you, you think a woman can feel safe from you? I'm confused. It, it, the, the, <laughs> the fact that we had two brothers, two brothers, it's supposed to be solid brothers at community arguing, you straight want to talk, about, you straight want to move it on. This is something that we need to fix before we move on. I think there's, there's two solid brothers on the panel they had a misunderstanding. I, I, and we, we I should made fix it. No, no, that's what. No, you didn't. You try to move it on. But two brothers, if, if there's a misunderstanding, two brothers disrespected each other or felt disrespected, it should have been addressed. And you trying to already move it on. Hold so on, we, hold we, on Ali. Hold I'm not on, trying Ali. to disrespect I mean, you. No, let no, 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 you about to go no, at it. Look, no, he, he don't have to go at it. Hold no, on, because JR, it's until no, because bro, that's leadership. If we have not panel about leadership. Let's move on. No, but we can't move on from that, bro. We can't just move on from that. And I ain't need to be disrespectful. Okay, can you stop for a second, let what go slap real fast. You talk. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. No, Ali, it's all good, bro. JR. Oh, no, 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 no
Ali, go said, move on. Good stop. Good stop. The women, I think, it, I think man to man. Oh, man, that's talking right now. The women ain't. said, move on, on, bro. Move on. How we going to move on? The brothers ain't even make peace. They all said, move on, bro. Stop. Well, it show it demonstrates. JR, what's up? What, what we doing, Jr? You want to talk about it? Or you want to move on? Jr. Run this shit. Respect the man. I do respect Jr. Respect Jr. Respect. What you want to do, Jr.? Yeah. Do whatever Jr. Yeah. Want to do. Oh, hey, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. You know, let's let the temperature cool down a little bit before we have any other conversations. As far as with that, let's go ahead and move on with the topic. Thank you. All right. So let's right. move on. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Lady Dot. You go ahead. I was going to say that um, with Illa said, I had kind of disagreed because in order for anyone to change, just think about it. No one just changes because like, unless it's something that they need to change, no one really just changes unless someone said something to them. Like, this is bad. You shouldn't do that. Right. So that's the first step in order to even make a, a, a difference. You have to get that first initial step. So I believe with change, there are steps involved. And I don't want to eliminate someone just saying it to you like, hey, I think you should do this. And you're like, hmm, I think I should, too. And then you proceed. So if you if that person don't get that initial first step, I don't see how anybody's going to change. So that's all I wanted to say. I don't agree with what you but said. I, I did, but that's but what you basically that's what I said. I said, you can inspire someone to change. Me giving you a suggestion, that's still not me making you change. You can take my suggestion or not. You taking that suggestion is a personal choice that you make. I can make a suggestion and that's it, but I can't make anyone change. No one ever made me change. They offered me advice and if I took it, it helped, it benefited me. And if I didn't, it didn't, but they still made the same attempt. But it's me that has to actually take heed to what they're saying for it to change. So I'm not saying people can't influence other people. People can be an example for other people, but the change is in, it's a personal thing you have to do for yourself. I don't care how many people, how many times you could be around the right influence, the right crowd. There's people that's raised the right way with two parents who are great influences and they still end up strung out on drugs. They had the right energy around them, but they made, they didn't, they didn't take heed to what was given to them. So I'm not saying you can't have an impact on people, but the change you make is a personal choice you have to make. Now, as far as what changes people in my lifetime, I've seen conglomerates change people. I've seen systems change people. I've seen groups change people, but individuals, they inspire people. I don't see individuals can change a whole person. Do you, can I ask you a question, philosophical? It's 2023, you don't think we, as far as technology, as far as we come today, you don't think it's nothing we set in stone that can make a person change, that can force a person change. Yeah, you know, like I said, a system can make you change. Some police can come and force you to do something, but just your words. No, you can't make anyone change. You shouldn't want to make anyone change. You should want to inspire you change. Got, you have, you have they should want to change for themselves. You, you can have be an example. examples of what would, what would you say is an example of making somebody change? I'm being the change you want to see. If you want to, people to treat. I mean, it's simple. Like, I think we so. I think we're so caught up in what we have and the advances of technology that the simplest things get overlooked. If you want to be, if you want respect, like I wasn't sure, you got to show respect. I may have disagreed with, with this person, but I ain't trying to say, hey, listen, you stupid. I'm going to show you that you will never be on my level. All that type of goofy ass talk like that. That's the type of stuff that turns people off. Those are the type of things that create more problems. Yo, man, so it's, it's hold, on, hold 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 on, because I'm top dog in real life, we need a villain. I'll play the villain and we need a, you know, a guy that'll stand up to me. Right. So what you see happening right now and what's playing out, and this is real spill, is that I have to mute myself or hold back when he's continuing to do this shit. Now, I'm chilling. I'm slow motion. He was supposedly done with it because he a real nigga in real life. And he's still talking shit. So then y'all going to come to me and say, Anton, don't go back. He says stuff about a lot of, he started it by first cutting me off because I showed him respect. He called me out on it. He said, Anton, let me finish. 
I stopped. I said, you know what? You right. The minute that I started talking again, he started talking over me. That's where it started. Then he started talking about my money. Then he threw a sly shot at my, at my wife. Y'all missed that part because we don't want to acknowledge that at all. I miss he, threw it. A, he threw a sly shot at my wife. So Did then, because you can't control how I respond to that shit, if I say fuck everybody that ever came into your life, I'm the bad guy. And then after what was supposedly done, we supposedly, because y'all said respect JR, JR moved the conversation forward. Y'all go, in, y'all, y'all go ahead and start talking. This motherfucker is still talking shit. So now You're I'm supposed to be nice, right? No, 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 no. I'm supposed yeah, to yep. still be cool. I'm still supposed to be cool. I'm still supposed to just ignore everything that he's saying because he's supposed to be a real nigga. Nigga, can't nobody dodge a bullet. Ain't nobody tougher than nobody else. You're not pulling up nowhere. So what the fuck is you still talking for if you're not coming over to Detroit? Let's stop this bullshit. No, 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 no. no. Hold on. I'm going to let you interrupt me. You not tough. Ain't nobody tougher than nobody else. We all got guns. We all got pistols. We all real from where we from. It don't fucking matter. Either you're going to talk about the subject like you said you was and leave me out of it, or we can figure it out some other way. But if can't nobody else figure this shit out and see what this motherfucker is doing from the very beginning since he came on the panel, am I the only one that see this shit or am I crazy? Do y'all want to talk about this or move on? Is up to I've, been, I've been moved on. He obviously hold still. On, hold on, hold on. He he still I'm talking to JR. Hey, JR, hey, what you want to do? Hold on, hold on. I was answering Bruiser. Bro, chill. chill. JR, hey, what you want to do? Chill, hey, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> From what now on, JR. Hold on, let go. From now on, don't nobody sending us about the incident. Let's just move on from it, all right? Because the minute somebody bring it up, then another person got to respond. It's, it had to be fair, right? Mm-hmm. So if y'all want to save it for the back end or something like that, you know, off camera, whatever, then we could do that. But the people came to see a show, so let's go ahead and keep it pushing with the topic. Everybody just stay on topic. No, no personal jabs. Just stick to the topic. All right? Let it go, let y'all. Let go. Gotta have the last word, though. <laughs> you guys just crazy, tune in. Bro. You guys just tune in. Welcome to Live P for Let's Talk. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Shout out to the sponsor, T Channel, Uncomplicated Skincare for Men. Uh, Thirty percent off along with a free gift. Moving on to our next topic of the night is why are dad bots why dad bots are attractive to women who have gut fat are perceived to be better fathers. This is compared with the guy that's in good shape. And you think, hang on a second, how is the guy that isn't able to protect his family because he's less physically formidable going to be perceived as a better father? And the reason is that the guy who has more gut fat is seen to be less potentially attractive to other mates, which means that if he is given one calorie, there is less likelihood of him spending that calorie on trying to acquire a new mate because more doors have been closed to him than the guy that is in good shape and may potentially have more doors open to him. I think that being less uncertain about your partner strain contributes massively to a woman who might have anxious attachment or maybe there's a disparity in mate value there that she is going to feel a lot more comfortable with that. But the wild thing when you think about this is that comfort contributes quite a lot to woman's arousal. And there is a situation in which someone who was less in good shape would be more arousing and more attractive to a woman because her degree of comfort would be increased. All right, go to you, Ali. What are your thoughts about that? Why dad bars are attractive to women? Why dad bars are attractive? <laughs> well, I'll say this. If it's, if it's in relation to a, a, a man who's easier to control and manipulate and a man who will make a trophy wife, that's why women, a lot of women today are uh, attracted to dad bars. Women, divine women, uh, women who are, who are built to, to build with an actual king, a great man and a solid family, once a strong man that's solidified and an intelligent man and a man of high principle and great qualities. And one of the biggest things that a man has to do in order to take care of a family is be able to take care of himself. So if a woman is attracted to a dad bod, it's typically a man she knows will look at her as a trophy wife, knows a man who will be desperate for her and will go nowhere and just always prioritize her, which will end up being the end of the uh, relationship as well too. Because as soon as she conquers him, she'll leave him for, for that guy who doesn't have a di- dad bod. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Lady Dad. seemed like you wanted to say something. Go ahead. So I was going to say, I think if a, a woman likes a dad bod, that means that she wants to also be lazy. 
So if he's not able to take care of himself, she's like, oh, I ain't got to take care of myself. If I want to eat extra donuts tonight, I'm going to do that because he ain't going to check me because look at him. That's a cop out for you to take care of yourself. Either you're going to get with this dad bod, this, this person that has a dad bod and help him, you know, eliminate it, or you're just going to fit right into it. Okay. All right, go ahead, Lady Tina. Yeah, no dad bods allowed. It doesn't matter. Because guys don't want mum mum's bods when 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 we are mothers. I, I can't do the dad bod thing. That's a deal breaker for me. You gotta look in shape. Sorry. Next. Oh, and sweet. All right. Uh <laughs> go ahead, Bruce. I mean, I like I like this video. You got a point. It's a new way to look at things. I mean, that's why I keep a tight chest and a six pack. Act the hell up, fuck around, and see what happens. You know, I tell my wife all the time, I keep it together just in case your ass fuck around. Nah, I'm just kidding. But yeah, he got a point though. He got a point though. You know, a lot of women do seem like to go after the. Yeah, you can call them simps, beta males, or whatever. Or people who are you know, you know, less masculine. Typically, I think for for them to run over, or you know, get their way. You know, jockey in for position of control. Uh, that's what I look at it, and then. I, to the lady that's point, that is a that's a that's a strong point. You know, a woman see a man who is who's 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 careless, lazy. You know, lazy attract lazy. So if you see a man that's really not uh, uh, prioritizing fitness, and and you find it hard yourself to go in and, and to the gym every day, uh, maybe you may want to find somebody who's 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 has the same feeling. Y'all can relate to each other. Ain't no wrong with that. I want to be fat. Go ahead, be fat. Be sloppy. I right, let go. What are your thoughts about it? Uh, this dude is an idiot, and um, I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. No man wants no fat woman, and I'm sure no woman wants a fat dude. So he mentioned what? anxious attention attachment style, which tells me that he's married to a woman, or you know, but the potential person is married to a woman that is innately dysfunctional so your uh, anxious attachment style does not d to make you feel good about <laughs> his wi-fi is detached I'm cheat on you oh, because i look good you shouldn't have got with me in the beginning go get you a fat dude in the that's that's fat so and then then even if the fat dude turns around and gets in shape, now I got to deal with you being insecure because I look better or I'm taking care of myself. That woman is extremely dysfunctional. I'm it's nowhere in hell. I would date a woman that actually wants me to look worse so I won't cheat on her. That's <laughs> that's so dysfunctional. It's, it's damn ridiculous. So I don't know who this dude is. I don't know if he's pandering the fat dudes or a pandering the losers or something but i don't know who the hell this idiot's audience is did he say dad bot means fat no he it was a it was a picture so of was a fat dude you okay he showed a he showed a picture of a fat dude and then it showed a picture of a, a of a of a muscular dude i think um to me dad bots are attractive it depends on the shape so you have the the Humpty Dumpty, you know, where you more round and big and you got skinny legs. Then you got the one that's more like love handles. the muscular. Yeah, and then a little bit of thick. I think it's attractive for a certain You think the age. love handles is attractive? You said the what? The love handles, the fat around the hip. Uh, no, but I wouldn't say like a man who may have it would be unattractive. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just like if you look at a woman... You of course you want the perfect type of body, but if she had a little bit of a fupa, some women who are still sexy and those certain things are attractive. It's certain little flaws on individuals that may be attractive. Some women are attractive to Will Smith ears or certain things that people be like, you want those type of things. So no, a dad body can be attractive depending on how it's carried and what what the shape is like. That doesn't mean that he waddling. That doesn't mean that he just got this lean back where he just eating off his stomach. That's not necessarily what that means. It could just mean that he got a little bit of weight on and he looking good. It mean, he might but have do you think, a nice chest, but he don't have a six pack, but it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, but do you think what he said was, was, so are you agreeing with what he said though, that 
women who get with who have men who gain weight and end up being fat makes their women feel more secure in him being with her or not leaving her is that do you no, agree I, don't, I don't agree with that i don't think whatever the weight is i don't think it matters about your your emotional security in a relationship or your trust but i think what i can say that she could have meant or what i would say is once you get to that relaxed stage to have a dad body you're not really chasing what they say old school chasing skirts you're not really doing that as much as you probably used to that's more of a relaxed consent um content stage in your life so that in itself could be probably less likely to do something like that midlife age where you got to go get a goddamn motorcycle or a Corvette, that stage of your life, then, you know, you're probably less likely. You might just be honking at girls, but you know, you can't keep up. You close to Viagra days. So um, lucky you. So you trying to say that women don't look at men in a way if, if he's extremely attractive, his body is extremely attractive, the way he dresses, you know, his cars, they don't feel uh, a little uh, insecure about maybe he is uh, uh, not monogamous versus the the uh, chubby guy and riding around in the Toyota Camry, you know, with some some baggy jeans on. You telling me they don't like? Damn, well he is good. I know all the women check of him. I got. Oh, I don't know if I want to talk to him. This might be a a, a hell of a workload. You don't think that women? Think oh, absolutely. Women? I mean, y'all do the same thing, right? It's a reason why they say stay away from pretty girls. You all this. No, we don't do the same thing. The, the women that are like, I've I've heard that bruiser. Maybe maybe you're on a rock. No, we go no, for the baddest if we can. I've definitely heard no, that. It's true. It's true. It's, it's true, true for Miss Lego. This thing where they say, yeah, we we wife, we're gonna wife a a, a six or a five. Not saying there's yeah. nothing wrong with that, but I mean, I've heard her men say they would rather settle with a certain type of girl. And then when you talk about an attractive woman, they instantly say Instagram model. So it's they true. have a, a stigma mm. over here. Those women, I, I understand women, what you're saying. They'll assume just because you look a certain way, you have a million DMs and it may not even be accurate. But if you look less likely, like you get that many people or you look like no shade, but Derek Jackson's wife, I don't think you would be quick to assume she flooded with DMs or certain things like that. So you, I get what yes, you're if people look better, you know they attract in other people. If you attracted to it, of course other people are. But you wife who well, a man is gonna wife who he can. Like if he can wife a dime, he'll wife a dime. If he can, yeah. he's gonna wife with six. No, he won't. Bullshit. Yes, he will. Yes, most, he will. Most, most, yes, most men marry plain James, Mr. Lego. Most men marry plain James. That's what I'm saying. Ali. Eight to tens usually have two two high requirements to be with them, but most men will marry the plain Jane. I'm yeah, agreeing with that beyond reproach to a point where if you have the opportunity to wife a 10, you're not going to say, oh, you're a 10. I don't want you. Right, yeah, I agree with that 100%. I agree We're not that. wifing the most beautiful woman in the world because that you can't. actually you doesn't make sense. Most of the yeah, time because you can. can. If you can, you are not going to do it. Bullshit. How? 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 Why? So, you, so Mr. Lego, you would be in front of the most beautiful woman in the world and you're going to say, you know what? I want to duck. That's what you're going to say? Because he's yeah. an idiot. Yep. Cap. He he has no way to substantiate that. Yeah, if you got the opportunity in the sway to wife the most beautiful woman in the if you the Jay Z of all people before he's a billionaire, he's big nose, big nostrils because he got big thumbs. If you that type what? of guy and you can wipe the most beautiful woman in the world, you telling me you are gonna say nah? I'm gonna check down to a seven or six because of what? All right, for an example, for an example, uh, Holly Berry when, when she was the baddest chick in the world. There's a reason why she got ran through and only. No, we talking about you. We're, we're talking about you. Uh, you uh, never that's how he tried to move the goal. Ali, I'm surprised, I'm surprised you ain't. I'm surprised you ain't on his ass, Ali. You ain't never been in front would of not have married her. Stop. You would have been going to. You'd have been begging her. No, I would have married Holly Berry. He married. He married. I would not have married Holly Berry. She was a good quality woman. That happened to Ali. He would have left his wife for Holly Berry. Mr. Lego ain't never met a girl named Holly. That's that's the thing. <laughs> he don't even he don't even have a he had dated a girl that looked like Holly Berry if she had the cut and everything so we know what you're doing for Holly Berry you brought her up for oh, a reason okay 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 exactly Holly she Berry, was on his mind <laughs> but if she looked she looked like Holly Berry but not as pretty as Holly Berry yeah oh man stop it anyway man. ladies if if a man if a man wipes a dom it's it's because he was able to do it if he's not he's able like, to wipe him he's yeah. not able to do it He's, yeah, if exactly. he's if any man is he's able to get the best woman in the world, he's gonna try to get the best woman in the world. That's just that's just how men think. But is that we don't wipe the baddest chick. 
Huh? You don't like the baddest chick, bro. Saying. You you get the baddest chick that you could get. That you we can get. The baddest no, chick. We don't like the baddest, baddest chicks. Do you speak for the who? Who you speak for? Not going to be just. But see, we making it seem like we making it seem like the tens are predisposed to all this, all this negative things. Y'all got to get careful. We we run through the tens. We don't like the tens, bro. Man, that's a that's a bad that's a bad narrative, bad stigma. Go ahead, care boss. My bad. Oh God. Um. Yeah. I've slept with badder women, badder women than than I've been in relationships with. We got a point easily. But we'll come back to that. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Are you single now? No, I don't think women are like looking for dad bods or are super attracted to dad bods. I think that women are less judgmental when it comes to dating, meaning like if a man was had love handles and, or a little belly, but you know, he needs to do a little workout, we would still date them if they're nice to us and kind to us. But I also agree with other points when they were saying, um, if you're lazy and it might be easier for you to date a guy that is not gonna pressure you to work out or or be like, come on, let's eat good. Like I'm going to the gym this morning, you know, that schedule and stuff like that. You might not be like wanting to be a part of that. So you might want a guy that's not too into that because it would be easier for you because he wouldn't pressure you or try to like encourage you to join him or whatever, or be judging you when you're eating cake and he's eating, you know, smoothies and stuff in the morning. So I don't think that we're looking for dad bods and we're more inclined to get with dad bods. I just think that women are less Judgmental, that's all. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Miss Lego, women are less judgmental. As far as physical, meaning like we're not gonna just say, "Oh, we need like the finest man, buff, bodybuilder type, six four. I know we have our requirements that we like specific things, but we would date a man that is good to us, that might be a great, like have great personality tra- personality traits to be a great father. And he might not have the body that we would love or desire. Yes, it would. Mm. I would agree. In, I would agree individual based. But the reason why a lot of women aren't getting, getting married today is because they want Superman. They want a man that's great, the greatest man. They want a Superman. They don't want just a traditional man. And then they're expecting a man to get a, a culture of saturated women where women ain't even showing up to the table as women. And I'm not talking about all women. I'm talking about the culture of women we're dealing with today. If married, if men really want, if women really wanted a good guy, a lot of women would be married. They want the right guy. They don't want a good guy. I actually disagree. I know you do. I, I think they 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 say they want this this man that is way up here just so they can justify why they ain't got no man. I agree with that too. They can't hold on to that man. She knows she can't hold on to that man. She got ran through by that man. She knows she can't that. hold on to that man. She That's just so says she wants that man so she can justify why she has no man. So I got a question to the ladies and the What if your man is that man? Uh-huh. <laughs> what, if, what if your man is that man, the one that you do want, and, it, and he is over high earner, over six feet, six pack, eight pack? What if you do have that man? Still what, doesn't what, work out. Still doesn't work out for him. And really? You know why? You know why it don't work out? Because there's work after that, right? That's just an initial attributes that you can you can get. Yeah, the woman. Once you once you get with him, once you get in a relationship, and and the ladies, the ladies who have, the ladies who's in a relationship, the ladies on this panel that's married can vouch. Once you get in a relationship, once you seal the deal, there's actual work to do after that. There's there's Mm -hmm. maintenance to do on your relationship. The reason why these women don't want to get married because of the maintenance that you got to put in, the work you got to put in. They don't want to do that work. Uh huh. They would rather have their lifestyle. That's and it. have their hot girl summers and their girl powers, mm-hmm. and and put yeah, marriage and all. They would even they would even take the baby before the marriage. Yeah, because women yeah, are I'm innately saying, lazy. All I'm saying is that you can get whatever anyone's preference is. Like, I think we're in a world where it's just getting that you're not allowed to have any preferences. You got preferences. Oh, you want a guy that's in shape? Oh, you're fat shaming. You want a guy that's tall? What about the short niggas? You you want a guy that's it's uh, chocolate. Oh, you're colorist. You don't like light skinned dudes. You want the light skinned dude. Oh, you're colorist. You don't like dark skinned dudes. Let us live. We like what we like. Any man can like what he wants to like. And anybody, when you go into a restaurant, you pick what you want to eat. Well, Lady Shan, oh. the actual issue is y'all Love don't have a Shane. choice. <laughs> Lady Shan, that's the problem. Y'all don't really have a choice. Y'all 
we repursue y'all. Y'all sit down somewhere with all these preferences. Y'all sit down and take the man that actually approaches you well, and, and no, no, sit down no, no, and be no. quiet. That's not That's true. Because no. sometimes you can, I'm not, I, sometimes, okay. sometimes you come up. Sometimes you come on that certain type of guy that seems to always, that certain type of guy approaches approaches you. Some girls get approached only by guys that are like five foot six, five foot seven. Some girls so get about approached this, by guys that are I, I always- I understand what you're saying. But, yeah, so if that's what- if But are you getting like, smashed like, by that high guy? Cause that's kind of like what I said. Yeah, or does that high guy right. actually want to be with you? Yeah, the high guy wants to be with you. You can have, you can- I, I'm not speaking for everyone. I, like, there's guys right. that are just going to want to smash whether they're five foot six or six foot eight at the end of the day. But what I'm saying is, you can pick, if you command a certain type of guy, um, you can pick that certain type of guy and pick the best one out of those brackets. The six foot one guy that's got no, no boxes that you would check. The six foot two guy that's got some of the boxes that you would check. The six foot five guy that is adorable, God fearing, looks after himself in the gym, a family man. A great father, and that's and he looks great. You could pick. It's allowed. Okay. We're allowed. To. <laughs> but so, Lady Chan, I, I agree with what you're saying. We all should have our preferences, just like we but. do. But, but when it comes <laughs> to a certain time, you hit and let's say you're 35, and you're not getting this guy that is checking off all these boxes because you, you look bad. The, the guy that you didn't want. I'm not gonna put all this other, you know, your height. I'm right. not gonna put that in there. Whatever it is that you want, you ain't fine. And you're 35, have no children, never been married. Then mm -hmm. what do you do then? You're going to keep trying to find this guy or are you going to be like, you know what? Let me eliminate half this list. That is not working. Just like at a restaurant, right? Do, should you eat everything on the menu or should you pick something for that's healthier for you to lose weight at this month? Right. Mm -hmm. You still have to alter things. It's not going to be the same. Yeah, so, you can compromise. In other yeah, words, sit your ass down and take who wants you and, no, no, and be no, no, happy. No, you ass down because there's some things that I'm just, there's some things that I, I, I get what you're saying, Lady Di, but there's some things that you are willing to compromise and there's just some things that I just don't like short guys, so it's not, it's not an option for me. It doesn't really matter if he's the best thing since sliced bread, but I don't, it's not a problem because I don't get, I got a boyfriend, but I don't get approached by a lot of short men. So, oh really? How tall are you? Oh, Lady really? Kim. Yeah. So Lady Kim, how tall, how tall are, you? are you? Six five? How tall huh? are you? <laughs> I'm five six. Okay. So you five, want six. somebody that's what height? M my boyfriend's six five. Did God you wait, wait, damn. Wait, hold on? I understand your boyfriend's six five, but what hold did on, Bruiser, that was kind of palsy. Like before you got No, I'm just saying she already giving what head already just standing up. No, I'm wait, just saying though. Kind of Bruiser, why are you so rude with your jokes? It That's why they call me Bruiser because I'm rude with my jokes. The Bruiser is not. You say lady. That's Jen, why they call me. Bruiser. you got with your boyfriend, what was your height requirement? Um, you have to be minimum of six foot. Have I dated guys that are uh, shorter than six foot? Yes, but um, yeah, most of the guys that I've ever dated usually, on average, are about six foot. Two. So you think y'all gonna get married, or is he just is, is he just smashed for about four, five months, three, four months? No, we're getting married. We're gonna be getting married. How long? How, How long y'all been together? Five years. Uh, How long no, have been together? Five years. We've been together seven months, and we're already we're gonna get married. Yeah, uh, he'll be. Yes. Yes. No. So, so, if you at seven months, I, that means hold on, you got like, hold on, like, one more month left. You got one more month left. Just so you know, Lady Chan. Lady Chan, can I see the? Can I see the ring, please? I haven't got the ring yet. He'll be here. Don't worry. Damn. You'll see the ring. Dang on. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all either get married or you got one oh, month left. I'm not going to say it. Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, if that's if that same man on, told on, you, I'll get that yeah. car. I'm going to get that car in that house. He gave he the like clip ring, but he didn't give it a ring, the finger ring. No, 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 no. It's not about that. Our circumstances what? is a bit different. It's also about immigration laws and stuff as well. So it's a bit uh -oh. different. Uh-oh. Immigration. immigration. As uh -oh. well. You trying to get Little. your green card? No, 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 no. I'm He's not trying to get his green card. No, 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 really. Not him trying to get a green card. It's all good. It's just a bit of a different, uh, without going into my whole business, it's just a little bit. Of okay, a different okay. Well, that's, 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 that's fair. That's fair. All right, yeah, come okay. on. Let's move on from that. All right. <laughs> hey, we just messed with you, Lady Shane. Yeah, what you got? I know, on? You know, we just be picking with I you. Know. No, I know. Oh, it's all fun. Oh, it's all good. Congratulations <laughs> to you and your man. With the no ring. <laughs> it's all good. 
<laughs> with your imaginary ring. No, I mean, but thank you very much. Yeah, I'll That's keep you updated. Okay. I will. All right, I go will. ahead, Ella. What you got on it? You see the clip? Um, about the dad bod. Yeah, I mean. It's some superficial shit for real. I mean, people like what they like. You know what I'm saying? Women might like a dad bod for different reasons. A lot of people make good points. The only thing with it is, it's like, you know, when it comes to women, what type of bodies they like or what type of men they like, just know what come with that. You know, we can all ask what we want to ask for. We might just want a dime piece. A woman might want a tall man that got to stay together. And you got the right to want what you want, but just know what come with that. You know what I'm saying? If you want a woman that, Highly attractive, know that she is a lot of guys that's going to be trying to get with her. You know what I mean? Be secure enough to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be so easily intimidated when you're out in public with her because, you know, people might approach her. You know, that come with that. If you're a woman that want a man that has a lot of money, that has a lot of prestige, and he has the height and has the body, are you mature enough to deal with that? You know what I'm saying? A lot of those guys, unfortunately, especially they make a lot of money, they might have somebody on the side of them or something like that. I'm not saying it's right, not saying it's wrong, but it's like a lot of women. We want what we want, but we never can deal with what we ask for. So it's like you can ask, you can have what you want, but as long as you're willing to deal with what it comes, what it takes, then it's yours. But if not, then don't say, "Oh, the women are bad or the guys are bad." Like temper your expectations. You know what I'm saying? We all, we all want the baddest, but today's time, people who have good looks, they use that to their advantage for for material gain or attention gain, especially with the super, um, the social media world. You know what I mean? A lot of women who are attractive. They could just start a page and just get validated from strangers all day, which would take away the need for your validation that you would normally give her 10, 20 years ago. Your validation would be enough. Now that's that's nothing. They can go online and get 20,000 likes. And so it just inflated the ego. And it's just like we live in a different time. So I just feel like as crazy things are getting, the more ground down to earth we should try to be, you know, and just deal with somebody who has your best interest at heart. Well, of course, we want them to be attractive. Nobody want no slouch, but it's like putting all the value on looks and material gain is just, it just don't get you nowhere. All right. That's true. But broke guys can have women on the side as well. It's happened to me as well. Like, I mean, that's another conversation, but that's true yeah, too. Yeah, I know, but do you, do you understand? Why do we always put it at that? Men are men. If they, if it, whatever their value is going to be, their value. Uh, if if they if they worth if they make thirty thousand a year. They can still cheat on you. They make a hundred thousand on you. They can still cheat on you. So what's the really? What's the? You know, it's either, it's about I, like I a, morals. You're just gonna have to pick a guy that has the same morals as you, and if that's where you, you know, that's where you align, and it's cool. All right. Anybody else want to add on to this topic? Go ahead, Ali. You came off the mic. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I was about to say something, but I'm gonna let her live. I, I, I like Lady Shan. She all right with me. <laughs> No, let me live. Let, no, let me live, Ali. Let me live. I'm gonna let you live because you said something. I'm gonna let you live. I'm gonna let you go. I like. I like the jacket. I'm, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, just tuning in. Welcome to Live Peace. Let's talk. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Shout out to the sponsor again, T. Shanley Uncomplicated Skincare for Men. Thirty percent off alone or free gift. That link is in the description. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next topic. Next topic. I saw that uh, in the back chat. I laid that. So, uh, moving on to our next topic of the night, which is women are built to challenge men. Women are built to challenge men. Let's go ahead and play this clip. Women are built to challenge us. They're built to challenge us. Built. They are. See, she's laughing. They are psychologically. (laughs) That's crazy. I never thought of that. Predisposed. Because think about it. Any animal species you you study, the females of that species gravitate towards the alpha. Sure. Sometimes the alpha is clear as the biggest gorilla. You know what I'm saying? It's the most muscular chimpanzee, whatever right, the case right. may be. Or it's the one who can galvanize the, the alpha wolf or whatever. Right. So in our human species, since th- things are a lot more complex, it's not as clear as, oh, the biggest dude is the dude running shit. It might be the smallest dude. It might be the Napoleon of the group. Mm. So women, I think part of their vetting process to figure out if you are worth me sacrificing or potentially sacrificing my life to clone Mm -hmm. is I'm going to see if I can poke holes in. Mm. And I think (laughs) 
I think that exists in every woman. I think women who can mitigate that urge, mm-hmm. I think women who can, uh, you know, chill out sometimes yeah, yeah. are the ones who separate themselves. But I think right. every woman is predisposed to figure out if you are who you say you are. Oh, shit. Shout out to that. I just learned something. <laughs> Shout out to that, bro. Yeah. Because I, I always I always thought like, yo, stop messing with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop ch- stop trying me. Bro. I just wish they would turn it off sometimes though. Yeah. That's my they, thing. they need that they need that um off and on. All right, there we have it. Women are built to challenge men. I'm gonna go ahead and start Mr. Let Go first. Go ahead, sir. What are your thoughts? I would say that is true for some dudes, but ain't no woman finna challenge me. I, I don't, it, there's no way in hell. So I think women challenge dudes that they don't believe. And I think that's, that may be what they're saying. So if a woman does not believe you that nigga, she's going to challenge you. But if she believes you that nigga, she ain't going to dare challenge you because she knows she's going to be out on the street. So I think we got to add that caveat. It's true for certain type of dudes because she doesn't necessarily believe that he's that dude. But certain dudes, she ain't going to challenge because she knows she's going to be out on the street looking stupid. All right. Go ahead, Carol Boss. What are your thoughts about it? Women are built to challenge men. Um, I agree with Mr. Let Go about what he was saying. Um, I don't think we're going to just challenge a man especially if we know that he's that nigga like we're not challenging that so i think women are not, we're not built to challenge a man i think we're built to inspire a man and we're built to assist the man be better why because he's going to be better and then he's going to take care of us and that's what we're here for literally so no i don't think we're just challenging guys Mm-mm. okay all right, go ahead, uh, Lady Dad. What are your thoughts? Women are built to challenge men. I'm wait. I just want to acknowledge Anton put the robe on. Oh, uh, I went and got the, I went and got in the shower. I took a shower. Oh. Uh, got my smell goods on. All of that. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Like, once you get out of here, the old school debut. I'm sorry, Lady Dad. Hey, once I, no, I still got the, I, I got still got the robe, but I went and got in the shower. Got my smell good on. So. It was like a stress reliever. Well. You had to wash away your sins, huh? You had to <laughs> oh, oh, ain't no stress. I'm I'm still that nigga. I'm still top dog. You know what I'm saying? That ain't never gonna change. It, 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 it ain't it ain't a nigga in the in the on the internet or in real life that could ever. Oh, okay, go ahead, lady die. Listen, let me let me no 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 no. Let me go cry. It was just supposed to be about the robe. No, let me talk my shit. You're not going to stop me talking my shit. I'm that. I'm that nigga. Like I've been that nigga. I'm gonna always be that nigga. It ain't nobody that can see or touch me. And I hope y'all bring y'all girl around me because every single meetup, all y'all girls come up and give me a hug and then whisper in my ear, "I love what you're doing." Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. You know who it is. Listen, I'm at every show, every meetup. I'm at every show, every meetup, city to city. Come see me, Anton from AntonDaniels.com. We'll be there. Okay, that's what's up. So, <laughs> blown kisses. I mean, yeah, you give the same energy every show. That's what's up. So, shout out to We Need to Talk. But yeah, I wanted to say that I don't think women are built to challenge men. I understand that some of us have a lot of attitudes, and we may want to challenge someone with an attitude because that's just naturally how women come across. But I don't think it's to it's built to challenge like a man. I just think a lot of us challenge each other. It's not about a man. It's just, you know, some of us, they we're not agreeing with something. So we got to, yeah, I don't agree with that. And then have an argument. And then you don't let, you know, someone speak with the argument. I'm talking about females to a man. You don't let them speak with the argument because one word he says, you're already off the top of the roof with it. So I don't think that it's because it's built. I just think, you know, 
some of us have to learn how to, you know, properly have a conversation, have good communication skills. And once those are implied and you are a female that wants to do better, then you would do that. But built, no. All right. Go ahead, Lady Chan. What are your thoughts about it? Yeah, I agree. Um, challenge, we shouldn't be a challenge for a man um, in that way. Because the challenge, the challenge will be like, oh, what, you're aggressive. Like, if, they, if, if, it's a, if it's a challenge like that, there should be an inspiration. Women should just be inspiring their man and, you know, be their man's, like, their man's cheerleader. If, 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 you, if we women do not rate you or respect you, we will, we will, we will prod poke and, and take the piss. Like what Miss Letgo said, if you're that guy, you're that guy. We just know, fall back. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead, Bruce. What are your thoughts? Women are built to challenge me. Yeah, let me see. So, oh, come on, Bruiser. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Bruiser, straight Bruiser straight straight. is in there. His camera getting darker and darker. The moon is. <laughs> Bruiser, you over there getting challenged? You be getting, you be getting challenged? Nah, 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 nah. I, I don't. I, I no. Why do you keep challenging me? <laughs> so, so if we're gonna keep it hundred, women women are distracted into challenging men. They're not built to do that. You know, fighting with men, contesting his authoritative nature. You know, women are predisposed to build with men and help men, which is why education and society has come into disrupt it. it you know, they disrupt it in order to you know exploit their generosity towards consumerism. Uh, to capitalize on their ignorance, you know, to indulge on the fact that if you lead the woman astray and construct a society, you know, so that, you know, that they can flourish without a man, then business owners, uh, prison wardens and therapists can retire off of the revenue that comes from the actions of their, the children they create without a father in the home. So if you can make a woman oppose a man, you can also make her oppose her children and then the children will grow up in opposed society. All right. Bars. That was bars. Right. Go ahead, Ella. What are your thoughts about women are built to challenge men? Um, I think women present challenges, especially based on how their mentality is today in today's times. Are they built to challenge men? No. They're not built to do that. You know what I mean? Like Carabao said, they're built to inspire, to motivate, to bring peace, you know what I mean? To be a healer to some degrees, but what they're built to do, I don't think challenging men is something they're built to do. You know what I'm saying? I think the the, the elements challenge men, other men challenge men, life challenges men, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think the key word is built. Are they built to do it? No, they're not built to do it on any level. Can I just uh, ask something to you guys? Because um, I, it's, it's a bit strange. I don't know what fields that like the other women like working. So I work, yeah. So I work in like uh, uh, the music field and also content creating in a male dominated sport, which is boxing. And um, so I do it, um, on those, on those levels, I do have to challenge men, but I, ch I have to challenge them with, uh, with my mind with like facts, stats and data. Like that's how I have to put the challenge in. Sometimes, obviously, it's going to get combative and, you know, you've got someone trying to diminish you. But I always say, you know, stats, facts and data always it trumps your opinion. It doesn't really matter. But um, but then into a relationship, it, I just think it's different that, yeah, a woman shouldn't challenge a man in a relationship. So I just wanted to say, does, does anybody get that? No, that makes sense. That's, that's different. That's different. You don't have to go home with the guys you're working with. You know what I mean? It's a different yeah. dynamic. God. I've always said that whoever you are at work is who you are at home, is who you are at church, is who, are, is who you are everywhere you are. And so that's where they get the saying that if you're going to be late to work, then you're going to be late to church. And then they say you're going to be late to your own funeral. If people are not looking at the, the nature of what women are and that they challenge Again, I'm going to use Mr. Let Go's example. He says it often at times, and I, oft, and I absolutely agree with him that women are like children. If you notice children, when they get to a certain age, they start testing you. 
They start doing certain things. They start overstepping boundaries. They start doing things that then require, and often at times children crave discipline. They crave correction. They crave to be set on the right path. And so what you start to see, and often at times, especially in society, because it extends not only in relationships, but outside the home and so on and so forth, is you start to see women taking over certain, certain industries. You start to see them rising up and determining what's happening in, in society. They now determining what's happening in our elections. They telling you what you can and can't do outside the home. They controlling whether or not we update our laws. Family court laws ain't been updated in decades, yet we still are, are, are living in a society in which we have to be subjected to laws based off of women rising in power. So if women are not built to challenge men, then why are they doing it? Why is it happening in, in, in every single segment of society? They become CEOs, they run in and they become politicians. They literally are almost about to be presidents. They are the voices on social media. They are mobilizing. They, they, they're literally challenging the legitimacy of men as the leaders in their households. They're not even saying, y'all talking about relationships. The majority of the women that I see come on this panel say they're not even looking for a husband. They're looking for a partner. They say, I'm looking for a partner, right? And so it's not that women don't challenge men. It's that men allow women to get away with certain things. And so, and so once you start to correct that, right? If your chick ain't never craved for you to be able to, to look at her a certain way or to, or to say, who the fuck you talking to? And then she straightened up immediately. I don't really know if y'all have been in a relationship long enough to see that. My, I remember, and this is honest to God on my father's grave. I dealt with uh, my chick probably about, I don't know, seven years ago. And she rose up and I was like, who are you talking to? And I literally grabbed her arm and she was like, you know what? And this is exactly word for word what she said. She said, you know what? I needed that. I needed you to get, get a control on me because I don't know if it was my hormones that was going out of control or what was going on, so on and so forth. But she said, I was craving for you to deal with me a certain type of way. And maybe it's just the nature, nature of her specifically, but I think that women do test, challenge, however it is that you want to frame the, frame the narrative. I think that women do challenge men. Now, how men respond to it is going to be the determining factor for how it is that you're operating in your household, how it is that we operate in a society, and whether or not you continue to let people gain power and control over what's happening. And I think that we are paying for the sins of our fathers because the majority of our, our, our fathers were simps. And I'm not talking about our fathers, literally. I'm talking about the people that came yeah. before. They were simps. They said, happy wife, happy life. And then now we are paying for the sins of them because you have, you have inmates running the asylum or, or in the example of what, what Mr. Lo Let Go says, the children is running a household. Yeah, but I, I don't agree that, um, uh, that everything else I agree with what you're saying to, to, to a degree. But I don't agree that how you are at work is how you are at home. I everybody's like I said I don't know what you guys' jobs jobs are I've got two unique jobs it's different my boyfriend I'll do you one better me. lady Chan I'll yeah. do you one better y'all have more respect sometimes for your boss than you do for the man that you live with I don't have a boss that's the thing no 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 no, no. everybody got a boss whether you own no, a business a whether you own a business whether the customers are your boss whether or not, okay, let's let's take you specifically. I'm not talking about you. I don't know what Facebook you do. For Facebook women. is my boss. I'm telling okay. you that most me. women have more respect for their for the person that's over them than they yeah. have for the dude that's in their very household. And so it's the reverse of what you're saying. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, because I have to be a boss in in the in the in the fields that I work in. At home, I my I'm totally the opposite. My my man is the he controls the whole thing. That that I can't have a man that can't put me in check. I can't have it because I'll run all over him because I do that. I have I to agree. do that. Do that get, I mean, get he put you in check before then, right? Oh, I've been, oh my boyfriend puts me in check, and I mean so that it's means not, you challenged him, right? No, 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 no. It's it, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe no. It doesn't have to be. Just because you check doesn't mean you, you're challenging or you. it could just be I said something maybe out of line a bit or, you know, I don't know if you see that as a challenge, but it's not like, fuck you, not, not like that. But maybe it's just a, just anything that he'll say, you know what, that tone 
I know where it's going to go. Don't even bother. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I need, I need to be checked. If you can't check me, it's not going to work for me. Because in my, t in my jobs, I have no boss. So, and I've built it that way that I have no boss. And I, and I understand that. And you may not necessarily have a boss, right? But the overwhelming majority of women do, right? True. And I don't, I, I, and this is my, just my personal opinion. I think that dudes that say that women have never challenged them um, is probably the simp in a relationship. He's probably the dude that's the partner and not the husband. Yeah, I don't want a partner. Because most times they just the ones that give in and acquiesce over to whatever it is that she's saying. Yeah, no, that's simp. That, that's the guy that says, when you go and you ask him and you say, hey, fam, can I, uh, can I borrow whatever? Let's just use something random. Can I borrow a bag of sugar? Oh, let me ask my wife first. That's that guy. I hate guys like that. Let, that me, let, me go, let me go check with my wife to see what she thinks first. That's that yeah. guy. I've got that. I've got guys that I like that on. You know, when I do my boxing panels, and I'm like, and I'm like, they'll be on my panel, and then they'll go, "Oh, I got to jump off. My wife's just got in." So fucking what? Yeah. Same. Every so time. That's why I agree. So do you agree that uh, women they are not? It's not built. It's just that men allow it. That's different. It's allowed. So you're talking about simps allowing their their lady to just say and do whatever they want it's not like if because if she was so-called checked and she changes then something that's built would just keep coming probably until she feels the need that it needs to you know move but it's not built it's just allowed i agree with you on that no, so, but, the, uh, but the problem is that the way that you start off, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm coming to you, Lucky, I'm sorry. It's just the way that you start off. You're not going to check her in the middle of you've been simping the entire time since y'all been together since day one. You ain't going to switch up now. She might boss up on you and say, who are you talking to? Like, how you start off is how, how it's... If how you don't stay. get control of that junk in the beginning, if you, if you led with your money, if the first thing that she ever noticed was taking advantage of you and she had you in her phone as food and she couldn't get the rest of the dude. So then she wind up just, just giving in to you, just selling it for you because you was the last available. Then you can't switch up now. She, she ain't, she ain't going for that. She probably cheating on you too. I'm sorry, Lucky, go ahead. Why you can't switch up though? You can switch up. Cause you, you start to go on. It's how you start is what you mean to go on. Hold on y'all. Let Lucky come in. Lucky ain't talked all night. Yeah. I was. <laughs> No, because I like he brought up women, uh, women are children, but gave the analogy of how children are men, boys and girls try their parents like boys at a certain age start to try their mothers, too. So I want to ask, since Anton and Mr. Lego kind of are saying the same thing. Do you think that men and women are supposed to challenge each other in different ways, like a husband or a man is supposed to challenge his wife in a different way? And women are supposed to challenge their husband, not necessarily negatively but in positive ways, like just in different aspects of the relationship. I think that, um, I think that life is going to challenge y'all to force y'all to face certain things together. I don't think that you should naturally try to challenge the person that you with. I think that what happens is you don't face certain obstacles and that life is going to challenge you. And then you don't have to face it um, individually and collectively, and then figure out what that fallout is going to look like. And then I think that, all, you know, sometimes you, without trying, get challenged because you you faced with a situation or a circumstance that's that's beyond your control. So let's just say, for example, um, she wound up having to quit her job, and then a burden wound up being on you as a man. Whereas in most instances today, you got to have a two parent household in order to be able to survive. Now. That's just a challenge in life for you as a man to be able to provide for your family because it's going to fall on your shoulders. It doesn't matter whether or not y'all both bring in money. If y'all lose your house, they come into you and say, yo, fam, what the fuck is going on? You ain't got your household in order. They're not going to her and saying why y'all lose your house. So I think that life just naturally challenges you and you, you got enough challenges as it is. You don't need another challenge between y'all like purposely her trying to challenge you to see if you're going to boss up on her in order for you to substantiate whether or not she the person that's for you. That's the type of chick that you need to leave and kick her to the streets. Now, just a chick that just get out of character or get out of line because she sexual, she ain't, you ain't busted down or you, you've been trying to make love to her every day. That's a different conversation. But 
you know, life is, is already hard enough for most people. I don't think y'all should be trying to challenge each other inherently. So, yeah, when it comes to a woman challenging a man, if she doesn't see him progressing, she's going to get antsy. It's going to be a problem because women start to get scared. Women start to worry, like, are we okay? Why, you know, just like the video about the dude getting fat or whatever, like, she's going to, if, if you're starting to get stagnant, lazy, or the relationship or your life or y'all's life altogether isn't progressing, she's going to start messing with you. So as a man, your job is to always progress. Like, for example, if you lift, lifting weights, at some point, you got to go from 250 to, to 350. But if you're still doing 250, benching 250 uh, a year later, and your woman is, you know, the person in the gym with you, as an example, she's going to start messing with you because she's going to be like, oh, so you 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 still uh, lives in 250? Damn, that's crazy. He over there oh. lives in 350. And next thing you know, you're going to get challenged. Just that point, just that point before you move, because I don't want to forget, you said mm -hmm. um, she's going to she's going to challenge him if he's not progressing fast enough. Yes. By what nagging or staying on him doing stuff like that. Saying saying little 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 shit or possibly comparing you to a neighbor or another person, somebody okay. at work or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So if a woman is slipping on her duties in the household, a man does what? It, would that be considered challenging her because he starts to say little things? Well, like you, you said she's gonna start challenging you by comparing you to the neighbor and stuff or the other dude. Just period. She's going to start saying snide remarks if you are not oh, progressing man. yourself or not progressing the family because there has to be some type of progression in a man. If y'all are stagnant for a certain amount of time, she's going to start fucking with you. No, in some type of way. No, no. Let's have a conversation. No, fuck. I was trying I to get a, I understand the challenge, the way that a, a, a woman would challenge a man in a relationship if she feels he's not being progressive versus if a man challenges a woman in a relationship, if he feels she's not doing what she's supposed to do, or is yeah. it deemed not challenging when he does something and it's only challenging when the woman does something? Like, well, when we like challenge the woman, um, depends on how receptive she is. We don't challenge her. We just give her more instructions or give her direction and mm -hmm. she's either going to acquiesce or stay lazy. And she, if she stays lazy or doesn't listen, then we'll either suffer in silence to the, to the point where we start cheating or start getting upset or whatever. But at the end of the day, a lot of men, if she doesn't do whatever it is that like, for example, she's gaining weight. And we like, yo, babe, like, just, you know, we need to get into the gym. And say for some reason, she's like, no, nah, I don't want to get in the gym. I'm, I like my weight. I'm, I, I have happy weight. So I'm, I, I like the way I'm looking. And start walking around. He going to just be like, all right. And he's not going to mess with her. He's not going to challenge her. He's going to say it a couple times. But other than that, he's just going to get another broad on the side or something. He's going to, he's going to start doing something that has nothing to do with her. So that in itself, dysfunctional or what, can be looked at as a challenge. But we we men, we, we gonna say something, and if you don't listen, there's going to be some type of side effect or some type of, uh, uh, what's the word, okay. a consequence. Okay. Anton's, if I can, I don't, it's been a while, but Anton usually says, you got to pull it out of them. How do you pull it out of them unless you're challenging her? I was gonna well, say like that. I said, sometimes the challenging of the woman can possibly be dysfunctional because at the end of the day, if my woman isn't listening to me, I have literally lost, you know, control. So men would literally look for control in some other type of way. But sadly... If she starts to fall off, we're not just going to be challenging her like that because we're not necessarily these verbal creatures like women are. We just going to do we going it's going to be a nonverbal cue that's going to challenge her. And if she doesn't pick up on it, the relationship is going to get worse end or something's going to go wrong.
because right, her so. job is to acquiesce to the man. And if she don't acquiesce, we ain't going to be yelling at her and nagging. Men don't nag. We just going to make changes in some type of way, whether it's dysfunctional or functional or All get right, rid so. of her. All right. So uh, uh, women, women create problems for themselves when they challenge men, when they challenge men. You know, it would be more beneficial for women to challenge each other, you know, and that is challenging each other to be worthy of marriage. You know, instead of a twerk challenge, you know, let's have a cook off. You know, instead of seeing who, who can put a whole banana in their mouth, how about challenge each other to see who can shut their damn mouth? <laughs> but instead, you want, a, you want a career challenge. You want a career challenge. But you don't even want to work a traditional nine to five. You complain and I ask for flexible hours every year. Well, you only want to challenge things that can put you at an even playing field in the eye of society. You know, if you really want to challenge us men, don't have step. You know, if you really want to do it, come, come play rec, come play rugby. You know, come to UFC or come, come to the MGM down in Las Vegas and put on a boxing glove. And put an application in the oil mines, the companies. You won't do that because it's not to your benefit. You only challenges on, on, on scales, on, on levels where you can try to even a playing field. So no, I think they're so smarter. Good. They're smarter. Because listen, why why would I challenge you in a space where I know that you will dominate it? The well, wise they, part they already they already challenged us in a space that we dominate. No, they challenge you in a space where they know that you're weak at. They challenge us in the space where we dominate. We had created civilization, we created technology so everybody can live comfortably. Correct. So they do. They go and advocate and they get their flags and they get their posters and they go and march and change the laws. Right. Because they know that you're not going to do nothing about it. That's where we weak at. But it's it's not, it's, not necessarily, it's not necessarily that we're weak. It's that the people who own and control most of the wealth. No, so that's as a monetization strategy. And, 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 and they embraced it. Say, OK, we can make even more if we can keep if we can keep these women single. And no, you, you, miss, you miss the chess move. We're weak at communicating. We're weak at gathering together as a unit unless we're opposing uh, another force that's threatening our lives. We don't realize where the challenge is happening at because it's in the mobilization. For example, guys tend to be territorial. And so as a result of it, we go through life only aligning with other people, whether or not it threatens our territory or not. What they say is, Listen, we're going to gather together because a hundred of us is stronger than that one. And then they go and conquer that one. And then they go and conquer that one. And then they go and conquer that one and so on and so forth. And they're beating you in spaces where you're weak at because that's not something that we tend to practice. And that's not something that we tend to tend to traverse. We tend to spend a majority of our energy on our physical abilities to be able to do things. Can right? you give me a representation, an example of a space where they where it was a hundred women as one man. So, you know, can to your example and where they beat us where we was weak at feminism. OK, so how did feminism get approved? Well, feminism got approved because you had a group of white women that were advocating for different rights. And then they recruited all of the black women in order to be able to get on a team in order to continue to push these agendas forward. That's mm -hmm. literally how they who's did the it. Final, who's the final approving authority? What do you mean? Who's the final approving? Who's you don't need an approving authority. You don't need, you don't need an approving authority if you have. It's called rebellion. Whenever you want to see change in any environment, what you start to see is a rebellion. And what we didn't do is quell the rebellion because all we wanted was pussy. And so you seen this guy falling off over here, and he going to child support court, and this guy going over here, and he getting me too, and this guy over here, and he's over here in this way. And what they did, they continued to rebel until they became a movement. And now they're the dominating, now they're the dominating force. Now they're the dominating force because they determine our laws. They determine who's going to become president of the United States. They determine who's going to go to jail. They are literally the mob. The mob is Rome. That is what they are now. But that's what they want you to think. But there's still somebody at the top. Whenever that rebellion actually succeeds or, ever, or get enough influence for somebody to, to sign a, a document, who is the signer? Who is you the person that's saying, oh, I hear? I, I, give, I, I give you an example, bro. I've, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen people march up to a, a, a Capitol building all the way in until they got onto the, the Speaker of the House desk and, and took a shit on it. And nothing mm -hmm. happened. 
No, you know they literally, they literally it wasn't, it wasn't in their benefit. It wasn't they in their benefit. They took most of those dudes to jail. All of them dudes went to jail. I get it. Every last one of them those dudes. Now, let me tell you what didn't happen. Every last one of them black lives, every person got behind these women movements when it came to Black Lives Matter. Who was it ran by? A bunch of women who are lesbians. A bunch of lesbian women are running Black Lives Matters. And y'all didn't say shit to them, but then y'all have everything to say about what was going on over at the Capitol building. Oh, I, I said what I had to say. But I, what, I, what I'm saying is, amidst of all of the rebellion and all the protests, at the end of the day, there's still somebody to oversee what gets passed, what gets allowed, and what penetrates and to make the changes in society and regulations and laws and so all, all that stuff. Yes, it's called women. It's called AOC. So you, now she's a women part, at the end. Now she's a part of the legislative branches. It's called Gretchen Whitmer. She ran what the fuck was going on in Michigan. She's the one that determined what was going to happen during the pandemic. And even Trump couldn't tell her what the fuck to do. Because what we found out during the pandemic is that every state has its, is basically its own island when it comes to determine what's going to happen to the people. And so when you see these women that are getting into power, they are starting to be the ones that determine what's happening in our election, our laws, and they mobilize in every single day. And we saying they ain't really got no power because it's the men that determines what happens. Okay, keep thinking like that and see what happens. Well, um, well I, I totally agree that it is the men who determine. It's, it's a, a small percentage of men that determine what happened. But those men who's determining what's happening is actually benefiting from the things they're granting the women, the power they're giving to women. And it's not for the, it's not for society. It's for them specifically. And they can care less about the rest of the world. They can care less about the rest of the people. They don't give a Rude. damn about the kids or none of that. The let question them, is, let them, let them do whatever they want. As long as our pockets stay fat and our families uh, flourish, we can care true. less about anybody else. Because we at the bottom of the totem pole. The question is, are women built to challenge men? I'm saying that they're doing it every day and they're winning because it's not about whether or not they're going to challenge you or not. We're seeing it happens. It's how it is that you respond to it. And the weak men are continuing to get conquered every single day. They're losing their seats in the House of Representatives. They're losing their seats in Congress. They're losing their seats in council, so on and so forth. And they're continuing to be challenged every day. We, We're not. I, I, I understand you. I understand you. We can agree to disagree. I, I do. I do see that they're actually carrying out the gesture of actually challenging. I just firmly don't believe. I believe they're being allowed to do these things. I believe there's a group of people or maybe a person. It could be a group of person. I believe there's a person over there that's saying, look, we're going to allow this to happen. I don't really I don't feel like women have enough power to just 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 bogart their way through society like this. It's no way. It's no way we've been we've been a dominant man, been a dominant creature on this planet for all these centuries. And you telling me when we get to the 21st century, we was just going to lay it down. No, yes. fucking way. no, yes. way. Yes. Can I, no, can way. I ask no way. No way. I'm not convinced. There's nothing you can say to convince me that man is just going to come all the way where everything is fine and dandy. Civilization is flourishing. Everybody's thriving. We got air conditioners, all these things, microwave society. And we just going to say, lay it down. Oh, women, you can have at it. I just seen them take down some of our most prominent figures. They took down fucking Bill Cosby. They fucking took down all of the heads of all of these movie houses. They took down the executives. They created a Me Too movement. Motherfuckers was coming out of the woodwork from 30 years ago saying, believe me, just because I said it. And and and, and they took down all of these motherfuckers. They took down Epstein. They Every single great man has been taken down as a result of the women. How? You think that it was men that was against Trump? It wasn't. It was women. It so let me ask you this at the time. If, what, what if, okay, let's say we had a civil war and it was between man and woman right now. It just broke But it's today. not. It's already a civil war and you just okay, don't okay, see let's say, okay, okay, let's say the man that, let's say the man at the power that be, the man at the top beside it. Hey, women do not have a voice, bro. Oh, Jesus. Men what use women to... What? I'm telling you, women, women are puppets. Use, women, women, use, use women as pawns. Women are puppets in this society, bro. Women are puppets, bro. Women don't have no damn Women are voice. a tool of destruction. Right. What the hell? Women I think like I the, can kind of get dynamite, with, But we have the light to stick of dynamite. It sounds like y'all saying women are being used to push some sort of agenda, but it's yeah, also... Yeah, women like, ain't like, never like, been that wait, intelligent wait, enough. Wait, wait, hold, I'm just saying, Bruce, it also sounds like... It's it's like you said if they can take something and get a law change, where do people in groups, men or female, take something to get a law, a law change? I they think that would be the first question. Like, so if, it, if the thing is, take it to a man. 
but you which is congress i mean if we being technical so how do you get them to listen you need a certain amount of people to sign petitions so if you're saying there there should be something to challenge what women are doing in society or you say it's by the men I want to ask, when has there been a group of men that took something to combat feminism down to get signed off by Congress to become a law? Never. In all honesty, I actually think the government, whether it's through news, they use scare tactics to pull women or push women to actually attack something that they actually want to attack, get the women up in an uproar about it, so they can have an excuse on why they can they change it. So, for example, say uh, they want to change a law. They don't just change the law because then people are going to like, yo, what, what the hell? We didn't vote for you. Like a certain politician uh, changes a law. Like, no, they're going to they're going to scare women or start an uproar of women. Next thing you know, the women are like, hey, we want this law changed. And now they change the law and they look look at it. Hey. We changed the law because y'all wanted it. You well, feel me? Let me tell you something, Mr. Let Go. Oh, hey, a woman, in the first place. Right have, now, a woman right now can walk down the street. You can walk down the street, breeze past the woman, and she can she can take your whole life away right now. She don't have to ask for permission. She don't need no approving body. If she point to you and say, yo, he touched me in an inappropriate way, you lose everything. She but you got to think wife. about the advantage of that. It pays at least like 12 different people when she does that. So it's still at the advantage of men. A lawyer has to get paid on both sides. The, it, it, it puts everybody in. So the, 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 the dumber women are, the more we as men get paid. Now, one man has to go down because of that. But seven to 12 men get paid every time a woman does some stupid shit. Well, what? See, I, I, I can root for you, Mr. Let Go, but then you always take it a little too far and have to go with oh. that women are dumb. Some women are dumb, but like, you know, it's not well, like... What's you your just, point? Yeah, but I well, mean... What's your point? You, like, you just said it. I mean, but yeah, but you, you use blanket statements. I it's said women do stupid shit and men make money off of when women do stupid shit. I didn't say all women or nothing. No, but then Every you say a woman does something dumb. Yeah, men get paid off of her doing something stupid. dumb. But just before that, you said women are stupid. I did not say women are stupid. Women are dumb or something. You said women are dumb. No, I didn't. I was, you said did. When a woman does something women dumb. No, that was just now you said that. But before that, you said no, women I didn't. are dumb. You did. I did not say that. You said they. Way back. I did not say that. Ten seconds. You did. You did. You did, but go ahead. I was yeah, just wanted to if y'all don't see if y'all don't see what's happening, if y'all literally sitting here operating in the in denial and thinking that women are not taking over every fucking thing. Women have no power. Yeah, I agree. Like, but does it can it what do you think about women sitting up here saying women don't have power in what we country? Got, we got female prime minister. Remember, we had a nope. female prime minister here, so it's we had a woman running England for 15 years. Nope. So it, it, it was something that I'm not saying it was a great thing. Not saying the it was government bad. wants women single so the government can make money off oh, of y'all asses. Mr. Lego, Mr. Lego, yeah, hold on, here. just in case we misunderstand you. Question. Hold, hold on, Lady Shan, hold on. Uh -huh. You're saying you're saying technically women don't have power, but have power because men give it to them. Is that what you're saying? Because men are weak. Like like, like Bruiser said, women are puppets. So when, like I said, the media controls literally everything. Going back to the Willie Lynch letter, we reversed the woman's nature. In the Willie Lynch letter, it says the female is the most important factor to good economics. So when you do something that, that, that changes the way the woman thinks, it actually makes men money. The way slavery lasts so long, it was because of women. You get rid of the man, scare the shit out of him. Hold on, hold on. You get rid of the man. Can I finish? You get rid of the man, scare the shit out of the woman. She has children. She scares the shit out of the children. And the children are now obedient. That all came from the woman. But the bottom line is 
it was advantageous for the slave owner to have the woman scare the shit out of the kids. So at the end of the day, the slave owner had the power, not the women. And that's what the government does. So the government yes. are like fathers. The, the government becomes the fathers. The slave owner. Yeah, because they're the slave yes. owners. But what I was just asking is, you know, when you say women don't have power, and they're basically men built the world, which is true, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you say, like, because remember, you guys are American, but here we did have a woman in power. I know that sounds a bit wild, isn't it? Like, it's like you guys having a female president. I don't know if that's going to happen. Like, we won't have anyone black. I think we'll Mr. Have Lego, Mr. Lego is saying the government, with, with, the, with the what's happened generationally with the government, the women has been used to be weaponized against women, but men technically have technically have the power. Let me but tell you. Like that time, what, 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 I'm going to go oh, to your Go ahead, Ali. Go ahead, Ali. Go ahead, cook, cook, cook. Men are weak. Men have become weakened. Men have, answer my question. Hold up, hold up. Men have accepted that 50-50 mentality, equality mentality, feminist mentality, and we let y'all mm -hmm. do whatever you want to do and never shame you for it. But we shame men for trying to be responsible, for trying to take to save you, for trying to come in and fix up all the mess that women are doing with making bad decisions as a collective, especially with their womb. The biggest bad decision maker yeah. is what women are doing with their womb and how it's destroying families. Right. It's how, how it's destroying nations. But it's because men are standing by and be if if the stuff that Anton was talking about earlier, if certain men say certain things, they're going to be canceled immediately if they say something against women. It doesn't mean a man doesn't have power, but the government has implemented a, a regime to where women do have power. But right. if, you can't say that women don't recognize they have power what the government has given them because they use it against but, men. But what y'all not saying, men, no, 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 what y'all not saying is that the government, it, we live in a democracy. The government is just a reflection of the people that voted. We don't them live in no democracy, bro. Stop. The government is a, is a reflection of the people that voted them in. Mr. Let go. You don't even have a determining a, a say in whether or not a woman can keep a child or not. You can't even control whether or not she determines whether she want to have that baby or not. Well, if it's illegal to no, no, no. get an it's ABO, illegal. she can't get rid of it. You can't even control whether or not she puts you on fucking child support. But she you can can't even, child you can't even control no, 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 no. 4D that, on, that pays the government. You I can't will be even paying control. the government money, which you is can, men. You can't even That's control. Title 4D. Not, you can't even control whether or not she take a percentage of your paycheck, bro. But the men control whether or not she takes my paycheck. Men are in control of that. She is the pawn to get money from me. Y'all say I think, I think y'all both we're both right. We're both right, y'all. If y'all listen to what he's saying, we're both right. Because the elite men. No, no, no. The what men. I'm saying is that let go said women have no power. They don't. He said, he said, he said no, no, no. Think about it. He said definitively women have no power. That is Pawns a false on a chessboard. They don't have power compared to the queen. Statement is false. Whatever you want to talk about it, however you want to go back in history, so on and so forth. He said women today have no power that is they only have utilization they don't have power to have utilization it, it, anton it's like your kids calling calling dss on you for spanking them it's like a kid transitioning they can right the kid don't, don't have power dss have power it's the, it where they've given been given power that's perfect what example to say. That's what listen to say. listen oh, listen yeah. however you want to frame perfect it example bro however you want to frame it however they got it to say they don't have it is asinine that's crazy. What they a, have what, power. What Ali just said made a, every all the sense of the world. A child. You're talking about. You're talking about the history. Parent does not mean the history. child has power. You're talking about the history of how they got here. I'm telling you that they're that was here. A perfect example. Of what Ali said. Yeah, it but doesn't, it saying, doesn't put apply. A CEO position it doesn't apply to what we're right. talking about today. But I'm power, saying bro. in this particular. <laughs> Jesus. They don't have power. <laughs> they don't. What about have a female power. prime minister? Is she has she got power? Who? So so, so look. Female prime minister. No, he's Does trying to say power? nature. She was given. She was given power. But she was go, given power. 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 power by a man. But you have to acknowledge women do have power. They've been given power, Mister Lego. That's the part they're trying to get you to understand. They've been given power. All right, so look, yeah, bro. If you if you could control the heart of a man, you can control the life of a man. You know, a man will die for his wife and children. A man will exert his energy over a course of 20 to 40 years. 
in the workforce in order to ensure the safety of this woman and kids. If you can make the woman and kid defi defiant to the man, you could take away the most important sacrifice a man makes. Yeah. This makes a man become dormant. You know, nothing to live for. Society has found a way to suspend men from the process of a thriving society by making him irrelevant. And the more technology we create, the more laws we, we, we allow them to be lax for or alter, you know, we are allowing it. And the more you can suspend the man from society. You know, right now he's at the bottom. He's not even number one whenever you come out of high school. He used to be the first player off of the bench. He's, he's not even in the fucking bleachers. That, that's what we've done to men today. I don't need them. Think about it. Somebody had to be behind that. This shit happened a long time ago, man. These people are smart. These people took time to draw this shit up. They strategized for centuries. They even practice in periods of time in history. And today so figured like it feminism. out. That was from uh, the uh, the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds riled women up because they wanted women to actually start working. And they dumbass went out and did it. See, I didn't say uh, women are dumb, Lady Shan. I said they dumbasses went out and did it. And now they like, hey, I want to work or work more because I know Anton's going to let women is always working. It, it started yeah. a, a com commotion, but they wanted more tax money from the women. Mm -hmm. So the thing about it is all you got, women are like sheep. They're very controllable beings. Oh, that's another you push word. Right? In this way, they're going to act a fool. You push them that way, they're going to act a fool. And next thing you know, they make yeah. men money. Minus three seconds. Minus three seconds. Women will literally, women will literally, it might not, it might be longer than three seconds. <laughs> women will literally go work for another man. Uh, just to not to work for her man to pay another woman to watch her kids so she don't watch. <laughs> right? Do you realize how Think dumb this is? She's supposed to be a full time. She's supposed to be a full time wife to a man, but she'll yeah. work for another man so she don't work for her husband just to go pay another woman to watch her kid. Yeah. So, she, so she, women are she wants to have equal, man, I'm not gonna say they're the dumb. Of, they don't have a lot she of wants sense. To have the illusion of power of being equal to a man, and you're yeah. not meant to be equal to a man. Mm -hmm. Just to make them I feel think, good about themselves. I think the fact that we keep, if men, this is my opinion, y'all can correct me, if men keep thinking that women don't have this power or what they possess can't be harmful, I think we are going to continue to be doomed. In these conversations where men are really, you guys, you don't realize the way you shape the conversation sounds like. You can't do nothing. You can't. You're powerless without women. Uh, um, you're you're powerless until women do something. But then we're talking about power. Uh -huh. If they I don't have lucky. power, we're lucky. We're so lucky. it's kind of like if they don't have power, how did we have a whole group of men come together on YouTube to talk about their voice being silenced from a group of women and all these complaints about women? If in society women don't do not have power, how come the complaints are up late? How come the complaints aren't about the people pulling the strings? It's about the women. Wait, so, who's pulling the strings, how, Lucky? You you said they don't have power. It's men. No, no, no. So who's I'm pulling saying, the strings? Like, strings. You, I'm saying you. No, no, no. I, I, I'll, I'll, give you I'll give you an example, Lucky. I'll give you a perfect example. For the last, what, eight years? Who was, who was literally running YouTube? Who was the CEO of YouTube? It was a woman. It was a woman that was at the helm. Uh, the CEO don't don't run, didn't run YouTube. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She determined the policies. She determined how she was going to censor y'all. She determined who was and who didn't get kicked off this platform. How many times have y'all seen a woman get kicked off of get 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 canceled off YouTube or social media? Who put her there? No, 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 no. The shareholders. Yeah. The shareholders put her there. Thank you. And it's not men. Men are not no, no, all, no. all. What they're Jesus saying Christ. is that what they're saying is that men need to collectively address other men that implement that those those power for women to. Have. Oh, we need to quell the rebellion right now. We need to stomp that shit out. And the way that you quell a rebellion, and the way that the kings used to do it back in the day, is they would go village by village and tear that shit apart until the until they they bow down. Listen, y'all. So, in layman's terms, what are you saying to do? What I'm saying, what I'm saying is that a 
Women do have power. And the same way y'all come to me with this blackity black conversation and saying, well, the first thing you have to do is acknowledge that black people are being systematically oppressed. First, you have to acknowledge that we got a problem. Because if you don't even see that it's a problem, then it ain't even no solution to even be talking about. You don't even see it as an issue. You don't even believe that they're a threat. Back to what I said in layman's terms, what are you who, saying? Who, who said anything about do, black people? I'm about. saying that guys need to start getting together. And doing what? Supporting one another and quelling the rebellion by calling for and removing and doing the same thing that women are doing together. Because if we're more powerful. Removing what? You say removing. It depends on what it is that you're talking about. If we're talking about these voices on YouTube, for every guy that get removed, we need to remove 10 women. Okay. For every guy that gets removed, for every guy that get canceled, we need mm -hmm. to remove 10 women. I agree. Okay. That's A. For example, we need to start controlling what's happening in our households. We need to start controlling who it is that has a say so. Stop saying that we want partners and start saying that we want wives. Facts. I hate okay. that shit. If we don't start taking control of what's mm -hmm. going on in society, Y'all let y'all wives go out there and determine how it is that y'all going to vote in y'all household. Y'all let the wives determine every single thing that goes on. You let her determine what school your kids is going to go to. Gabrielle Union is the leader of her household. And we champion mm -hmm. it and we celebrate that shit. And we, and we, and we, make, it, we make it cool. We got guys that's wearing, wearing, walking around with purses and dresses. And we fucking calling them young thug and we celebrating them. Mm-hmm. Everything that you see happening in society is literally the feminization of men. Yes. It's, it's the feminization of men because now what they're doing is they control each other and now they're recruiting you and they're turning you into women also. I agree. But it still goes back to men have the power and women are just simply pawns and they use women to push certain agendas so and the agenda is to point? keep men and women apart so women can keep buying stupid shit so, th so then how come most of your conversations aren't about the people who are pulling our strings instead of the women if we're just too stupid and we have no power and it's somebody who's telling us to do everything why not attack the person that changed your women instead of the woman who's incapable of making her own decisions because you got you got if you, I if you am the sheep herder, I am another sheep herder, Lucky. So no, but, my job no. is to push the sheep in a different direction. Why? When when if your child, if your daughter is in trouble and she's a, a kid and she is fucking up the school or she's spray painting on the building, they're not gonna they're gonna call the parent, right? They're gonna call the person that's responsible for this child being out of order. So if that's the case, how come you're not calling the men the men that you claim got your women out of order instead of Asking the women who are like children to discipline themselves if we know children can't discipline themselves. I can answer that. There's a feature and benefit to, to everything. And my job is to show women the feature and benefit of marriage and being under the protection of men because this would push push them or potentially push them back to their natural nature. A woman, remember we were talking about, can you change a woman's nature? My way of operating is to slowly change women's nature back to the way it is supposed to be, which is their follow their femininity. Women are children. Be up under a man. You and the benefit to this is you don't have to worry about shit. You don't have to work. You don't have to do nothing. You just sit around and just do dumb shit or sit around and look at TV and shit. As long as you go to the gym, you ain't got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You have to get a job, but you don't really have to get a good job. Just get a job just to have something to do. It's a beautiful life when you get a husband and you ain't really got to do shit. It doesn't really take a lot for you to actually acquiesce to a man, a good man, uh, you know, a man that, you know, he don't have to make a lot of money. But at the end of the day, if you just help him and, and live in his house, your life can actually be beautiful. The majority of the men are single and no, and they don't even have children. So I look at things from a feature, uh, feature and benefit stand, standpoint. So instead of me trying to fight a group of men that I don't know, I don't know where they at, and they have more power than I do, my job is to simply show women, a certain amount of women, hey, if you come over here, 
You can have a beautiful life instead of running around struggling and, and being on welfare or being single and being separated by men. There's a beautiful life over here that nobody's telling you about because the media is only feeding you to, uh, 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 you know, uh, different propaganda to make you think the only way yes, is to be strong and single. That's my answer to that. Uh, Carol Bach, do you agree with Mr. Lego? I just feel like they got a little off topic because I feel like the video was more just talking about like when you have a dynamics with a woman, a relationship, that woman will kind of like push you or kind of like hold you accountable or like be your reason why. Like, I feel like all this is kind of like a wider spectrum. You guys are talking about economics and stuff like that. We can't really put a, a like a point on that. It's too large. So you feel like you feel like women motivates her man or she challenges her man? No, she don't challenge. She inspires, encourages him and assists can you, him. Can you give us an example of how a woman would inspire her man to be great? Well, just by having the woman number one, because a lot of men, they wow. take pride in their <laughs> woman. So they would have a woman that they are proud of. So they she would inspire him to keep her you know because she's that mm -hmm. bitch too it, also it's also, funny how it's funny how it's funny how a man can just have a woman and that's all she needs to, to be no inspired. i didn't say that's all i was just saying that was one he said an example but oh, okay that's one because i feel like men are very competitive so if they have like the baddest bitch or the prettiest girl or the smartest beautiful girl um they're gonna be inspired by that for sure because they're inspired. like I got her i'm gonna keep her by, inspired by something that de deteriorates over time right it doesn't matter we're gonna assume that she has a good heart and she loves him we're not just gonna say oh she's beautiful and pointless we're gonna say that oh, she loves yeah. him she cares about him and she's beautiful and smart and that's how he's inspired by her, by her presence because Everybody needs companionship. And a man, when he's working hard and he got a lot of things on his plate, he wants to have somebody there by his side. And, you know, that is something that will inspire him because he has somebody to come home to every day. So the inspiration that you're talking about is something that he can get from uh, any woman, pretty much. It's not really unique to one woman. Sorry. Okay, I'll give what you say. I'll give what you say. Yeah, Go ahead, that Lady was just I one example. example. Oh. That was just one example to inspire a man. You can inspire men all different ways. I mean, I just think that uh, men are inspired by women that actually have a good heart because a lot of times men run into women that really don't give a fuck about them. They just want what they want. They want to take, get whatever they can out of them and that's it. And if you have a good heart, they would be definitely inspired by that because I don't see them typically running into that all the time. They're usually Freeze gonna run into somebody trying to use them. Sorry. So yeah, bruise up. Do uh, do men not deteriorate as well? So, will you trade in your wife when she starts deteriorating, or should should she de uh, trade you in once you start deteriorating? Once you can't get your dick up, once you can't, you know, because that will start happening at some point. Should she trade you in? No, she shouldn't trade me in. She doesn't okay. have the power to trade him in. She's a woman. She's I mean, it but wouldn't be me. in her benefit. It wouldn't be in her benefit to trade me in. What What would you think she could trade me in for? Right, I mean, he's he's a breadwinner, Lady Shane. What right, the hell is she gonna do? Do you think right. a woman? Hold on, hold on, real quick. You do you think a woman? Do you think a woman with a kid and got one on her way? What can she trade me in for? Okay, but you said that she deteriorates. I just want to know. Everybody deteriorates. No, deteriorate. Hang on, you got to find that person that you can deteriorate with, isn't it? That's yeah, what. beauty, beauty fades. Yeah. So when you mentioned that, she, uh, you know, that she, she deteriorates, a woman deteriorates, like in what, like, how do you put that in your own personal life? Because it sounds a bit like, well, you know, a bit disposable. I know that I, I know that I, my handsomeness deteriorates over time. That's why I stay in the gym and I eat healthy and nutritious. And your wife's oh. will deteriorate as well, right? Everybody we, does. You, okay, you, you 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 add about five more years to yourself, you'll be saggy. Saggy? Did you say saggy? Yeah, you start saggy. Women are softer than than men, Lady Shan. Y'all have titties and ass and all the other stuff. So y'all have things that protrude yeah. from your body that start sagging that look 
more unattractive versus Your being ass gonna get flabby. You know what I'm saying? No, we don't we have things that protrude from our body other than our she penises. Gets, I know it's whatever. I'm not saying that you go go on. I'm just I was just seeing that the point that he was making, like you know, like it was one sided deterioration. Hello, yes, it's one sided one-sided deterioration though. Yes. It's, it's not one sided deterioration. It's it is. Oh, well, you could look at it like this: you'll you'll deteriorate long before a man deteriorates. Yeah, while you're coming how, down, while you're how, while you're while you're coming down, men mm-hmm. are actually going up. Right, right. Up, we right actually up. grow, and we we because we actually make more money. So you can get you can end up having a dude that can has to take Viagra, but he's a millionaire. He he yeah. he gonna get all the chicks. So okay. it's a difference because we can utilize yeah. money in order yeah. to um. Uh, circumvent whatever it is that's deteriorating on us. Even if a man has a dad bod, if he's a multi-millionaire, he's going to get still, vicious. No. Yeah. Still okay. yeah. Yeah, it's just in our best interest for me. Though, it's always in my best interest to look Lady as, 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 good as, I, as good as I can. And, you know, and then men can grade you on that. You're going to look when you're in your 20s, you want to look like one of the, what is best that you can look in your 20s. Because there's girls that look like trash in their 20s. There's girls that look good in their 20s. When I'm in my 30s, you want to look the best that you can in your 30s. When you're in your 40s, you want to look the best of what you can in your 40s. I'm not trying to say you've got to compete and all that. Everybody's deteriorating. But what I'm saying is you can still look the best that you can look and you can still make your money. Um, uh, right. not, everybody, can, not every woman doesn't make any you can money. Ma- you can maintain. You can maintain. Yeah, I, maintain. See you got, I see you got your Kill Bill, Kill Bill look going on with the, with the jacket and the hairdo. Inspired <laughs> by the movie. Eh? Lady Shan, can you say bruiser again? Bruiser. I love Bruiser. that. Bruiser. You know, I, I, like, I, like Bruiser. I don't call him that anymore. I call him Buzzer. Bruiser. That's because you a fucking milk dud. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was a, a, it was a woman that called him Buzzer. So I call him Buzzer. Basically, what Buzzer. Said. I'm going to call, I'm gonna call uh, Mr. Get, let go Michelin S. Mr. Let go. Yes. Oh, good year. Whatever you want to call it. Bruiser. <laughs> yeah. Good year tires. Because you get us tires, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Lady Chan wants some tires. No, Hold on now. You, you got a man. You don't want no tires from me now. Well, first of all, it's it's something like, it's some, yeah. you know, well, Lady Chan, you I'll know that in order to get tires, there's something else that got to come along with it, right? Uh, oh my God, do girls pimp You just got to make up? sure you ain't got no Nutella down there. Did they do that? Just to get tires. Do girls give up stuff to get no, tires? No, you don't benefit from it. It's just, I don't know if you've ever had that happen before. Just let go of the ground, though. Yeah, you got a man, Lady Chan. You, you got a man. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a man. I could buy my own tires. He buys me tires when then when the tires are. There you go. Your, your man go buy you some tires. That's what you got. You got a man. You you got a man. Got a man. Yeah. That's a, there you go. There you go. There we see, go. See, see how influential I'm trying to save her. They done derailed. They done Save you from yourself. That's why they got the power. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hold on. What'd you say, Ali? I said that's why they got the power. On the panel, they, they're so influential. They get us to talk about what they want us to talk about. They derailed, they derailed. She missed, uh, what's her name? No, Carol Anton Moss. derailed the whole conversation. Oh, he didn't know. She derailed it first. Stuff. And then y'all went right along with it. But this is, this is the prime example. Though. Anton derailed the conversation. How did I derail the conversation, Mr. Lady? Lady Shan, we're going to lose. Look, he just because. asked a simple question and you went down the, the politics rabbit hole. And then we just. No, because you said. You were the only person that went down a rabbit hole. And I don't even remember Thank what you. you said, to be honest. No. No, what it was, we just deviated okay. from a natural, good vibe conversation. As long as a man derailed yeah. the conversation, because I'm trying to let Ali know a man no, derailed it's, the conversation. It's, uh, what's her name? Oh. <laughs> Your fault. No, you said <laughs> women didn't have no power. Anton said That's women didn't right. have no power. But they just, they just exercise their power on the panel by getting to talk about what they want to talk about. A man derailed the conversation and not a woman. Right, right, right. But, but. When we talk and about, we use them as pawns to derail the conversation. They need you. They they got you. That's they all, that's all they need is a Mr. Lego <laughs> with the ties and coaching them. <laughs> Man, listen. Luck, uh, Lucky is my look, pawn. Look, look, there you go. That's what are we talking about? Know. Mr. Lego is everybody. I can't say nothing. Get him, Lucky. Get him. Why? Why? Lucky, right? Get him, Lucky. 
See? I'm just trying to get back on the conversation because I'm zoning out and then some stuff I'm listening to. Like, what are we talking about? Nothing. We just babbling up here. Mr. Lego right. say women don't have power, but feminism, the LGBT movement, the Me Too movement, none believe, of that is nothing. Believe, her, believe women movement, none of that exists. <laughs> the, the, it's, a, it's a man called George Soros that's actually behind the um um the 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 whatever well, the hell that stupid shit is. The lesbian, black power, black women, what, what is it called? No, that's not the point. No, George not, Soros unless, is behind that. Like, oh, unless you're prepared to do something savage and go back to the Stone Age where men only loved who loved them and threw everybody else in the street and whoever went against them became their enemy, when, this ain't going to work. Because even if we do it at times way oh, and go and try to implement any kind of laws, there's 21 million black women, there's 19 million black men. They're going to vote against all of that. They're going to say toxic masculinity. They're going to still push for feminism. Feminism. They're gonna still push for equality. They're gonna still push for 50 50. They're gonna still push for my body. My they soul. don't know what let me the finish. Let me finish. For, you cut me off, man. For, for, for you cut me off. They're gonna still destroy society and families. They're gonna still push for luxury. They're gonna still push for, for overthrowing you, being king and women without no responsibilities. And you're gonna sit there and still say they ain't got power because none of us are prepared to be savage anymore. We're not gonna do so. If they all go against us, if we're not prepared to make the woman our enemy. Or the children are enemy, we're gonna lose because if you don't listen to what women say, they're gonna make you the enemy and they're gonna get their kids to make you the enemy as well, too. And you see it, I'll leave, they'll go hungry. And then you, go, and you go right there again. They'll we are the enemy to, to them, we are we are the enemy to them until we're not the they'll enemy starve to death. I'll leave, yeah, yeah. Mr. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Right, go ahead, JR. They'll starve Lord, to death. Have mercy, man. Guys, that's tuning in. Welcome to a lot of people that's talking. Make sure you hit the like button, also make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to move on to our next topic, which is women who don't want to invest in a relationship. It's a women who say that they don't want to invest money into yeah. the relationship. I want you to respond to that. For a woman that is looking for someone to bankroll everything, right, is what I'm interpreting, mm -hmm. before they're even in any sort of serious commitment, marriage, yep. or just monogamous mm -hmm. relationship, She's in it for what she can get while she's present. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a very common perspective earlier in life, I would say. Yes. Like, you know, late teens, early 20s. It's all about what you can get for as long as you can keep his attention. Because at that point in life, it's just about quick experiences and you don't yet know how to sustain mm -hmm. anything long term. Mm -hmm. So how am I going to wait until we're in a monogamous relationship when me and the dudes don't ever get there? Mm -hmm. I'm only with them for three, four dates and that's it. Mm. So I got to get you while I can. Mm. And it's not, it's not anything that I would encourage, but I'm also not going to sit here and act like I'm ignorant to what's going on in the street. Right. Like I know what's going on. And so that's why we all, that's why we say to the men, you also need to pre-qualify these women. Like, where is she? Mm. Where is she mentally? Where is mm. she intellectually? Why is she interested in you? What does she want from you? Mm -hmm. What happens if you don't pay for it? Mm -hmm. Then what? Women who don't want to invest in a relationship. I'm going to go ahead and start with you first, Lady Da. Then we'll go to Lucky. Um, so women who don't want to invest in a relationship, uh, I feel like she's giving like the excuse on why, but it's just simply because, like I said before, that some of us are lazy. We don't want to put in the required work that it takes to even get the relationship, keep the relationship, get the marriage, keep the marriage. Everything is like, I give up. I don't want to do this. You're not doing this enough. Matter of fact, you ain't tall enough and all this silly nonsense. You're not taking out the trash enough. Like, it's si silly stuff. It's like every time I see someone, like a, uh, like ladies, decide to break up their relationship, I always want to know why. And every time I hear the reason why, it's never nothing substantial. It's always something that makes no sense and it's very small. So... That is just um, part of the reason why I believe ladies don't want to invest in a relationship. Because when you get into a relationship, I mean, like I mentioned before, keeping the relationship, you know, you're going to have guys challenge you because if you have a leader of a man, you know, you, you have to be a certain way. If you're not that certain way, the guy can still entertain you because he may see potential in you. And he can say, hey, you know, these are the things that I think, 
you know, you need to work on. I'm not trying to get into the details, but there are things. And the lady has to put in work to make those changes. What happens is they're like, you can't tell me what to do. You ain't my daddy. And then that's when the nonsense starts. No one can tell you what to do. So you're going to end up being miserable, not having the things that you really want because you didn't want to make the change. That is the lazy part I'm talking about. That's just the relationship. Imagine the marriage. <laughs> marriage is not, I don't want to say it's hard. I like my marriage. It's not that it's hard. It's just that before people get married, they not even they're not even wives and husbands yet. They just get them married to get the paper. You never qualified for a wife. You never qualified for a husband. Because if you qualify for a husband, you wouldn't pick someone that's not a wife. So that's the problem that I'm seeing is that people are getting in these relationships when they don't need to be in one. They need to fix what's going on with themselves first and then collectively come together and work together. No one has to be perfect to get into a relationship. The relationship is practice. Once you practice, figure it out, move on to the next step, get married when you got it together, and then you still have to grow. Kaboom. <laughs> Who's that saying? Kaboom. Me. Sorry. That was right, great. Go, all right. All right, go ahead, Lucky. Then we'll go to Lady Chan. I agree. And I would just add, and I would say, women who don't want to invest in a relationship don't get a relationship. Um, I think the women that do want to invest in a relationship, they get the relationship. You get what you invest into. So most of the time, like in the video, she just said, um, I can't, I don't want to, I'm just going to paraphrase. She said something about they don't really stay on a date. Like after X amount of dates, it's over. That means that they're only interested in the high roller coaster type of experience. They're just dating on a dating high. They're not trying to invest into an actual relationship. So I think it's quite simple in her analogy. If they're getting pushed to the side, it's because those women were not investing into a relationship. They were just investing into what they got. So when you talk about working, like Lady Di just mentioned, they don't want to put the work in. I think also I thought of women put the work in in the beginning to try to hook the, the man, just like sometimes we could say men do that, but ultimately they hook them, but then they don't keep it up. So I definitely think women who don't want to invest in a relationship, those are the women that don't get a relationship, which is why we are here today. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's in, sorry, is it my go, JR? Yeah, go ahead, Lady Chan. Okay. <laughs> uh, everything what the girl said, yep, um, my sentiments. I think it's also important to, uh, like with me and my boyfriend, before getting married, like I'm Catholic, so um, I I have to we have to go to a counseling uh, with the priest for like a period of like six what? to eight weeks. Yeah. Before we are, uh, before we get married, you know, and iron out just stuff within faith and stuff with that. Cause it's important because if you want the marriage to work, you got to try and at least iron out the kinks. And like my boyfriend's not dating to just date my boyfriend. There's, there's no, there's no other alternative. He's just dating for marriage and he said that to me from the jump so like you do have to vet people uh like you said not everybody's wives not everybody's husbands I haven't been a wife uh, I've got kids I haven't been a wife um but it doesn't mean that I'm not prepared to be one but I respect the women that are wives so there's stuff that I can learn from like my sister she's been married for 30 years there's stuff that I can learn from Lady Di you know, I'll check out your page on 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 the on the gram. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, you got to invest, put your money in the bank. You want to return. Same thing with a relationship and a marriage. I think. All right, go ahead, Ali. What are your thoughts about it? Women don't want to invest in a relationship. Um, I could just say it like this: uh, You got to. Oh, before you start, Ali, are you pro woman? Family, or family, or family. Okay. <laughs> uh, you got to work for a job. Um, you got to work for a degree. You got to work for God. Um, you got to work to get into heaven. Um, you got to work for women. You got to work for children. Um, and this is mostly to the ladies. Like, who are you to think that you don't have to work for a great man? You know, and I think and just back to probably what Mr. Leggo and Lucky said earlier, women are so used to just getting men for doing nothing but having good looks and, and expressing their sexual sexuality that when they finally get a good man, they don't even know how to be a good woman. So they just create a problem with that man or push that man away to make an excuse for why they couldn't be a good woman. Or if they get that guy that makes $100,000 or all the traits they wanted, 
they find a way to enhance that to make it so they still don't get the guy that they want. So you got to work. We got to you got to put in work for what you want. You always got you got to serve your children and you got to serve your man. And God. Yeah, God, man, and then kids. Yeah. All right, Carol Boss, what are your thoughts? Um, for uh, women that don't want to invest in a relationship, I just feel like they're just selfish. They don't really care about the man. They only care about themselves. So they're not going to invest because why would I put more out on myself to pour into somebody else when I'm thinking about myself? So I feel like women who don't invest in relationships are just selfish. So they don't want a re relationship. They just want what they want again. So... Yeah, I could see that that happens a lot, you know, especially like in beginning of um like dating type of relationships when you first start. I feel like some a lot of women probably won't put much in because they'll say like, I don't know how long he's going to be around or he, you know, he may be doing this, like maybe over judging the whole situation and not putting no effort in because they want the guy to prove something or show something to them. And it's like, okay, do you like that man? like are you gonna just waste his time like what are you doing so yeah they just basically selfish that's all nothing major but yeah don't date that type of woman you definitely want your woman to be supporting you in some type of ways emotionally make you happy when you guys spend time together like something that you would say like she's trying to do something for me or with me or like even like making your favorite food like if you're like dating somebody and they and she cooks your favorite dish without you acting and things like that. That would be something like, oh, she's trying to woo me in a way, you know, she's courting me too. So if you're not seeing those things, then she's just basically, you know, entitled, selfish, and just worried about herself, not you. Okay. It's gonna be a hard um gonna be a hard one to follow up with. Just to let go. So I got two parts. Uh, of just, say I, just say I agree. Just let go. <laughs> or, or it don't matter what a woman thinks. Yeah. <laughs> just say I agree and then just add to it. So I got two parts of this. One, um, women have a short-term way of looking at relationships because they know dudes are just running through them. So they like, to a certain degree, they know don't nobody want them. Sadly, it just, it just is what it is. So y'all feel the need to get something out of it because you know in about three, four months, he's out of there. So you're like, all right, he got to pay my bills. He got to do this. He got to do that. Oh, hell because yeah. if you don't get that man to do that, you're going to feel stupid when he dumps you. You ain't getting nothing out of it. So a lot of women who have this understanding that this nigga don't want me, you got to get something out of him. So it's two types of women, in my opinion. It's women who try to get something out of you. That means she understands or thinks that this ain't going to work anyway. He's just going to, you know, get what he wants and go about his business. Then you got a type of woman who is going to invest in the man, just like the woman said. And that is a woman who has a long-term understanding, but it comes from confidence. So women who want a man to do all this other shit, in my opinion, she's a less confident woman because she's going after short-term benefits. Any woman that has any kind of common sense knows the long-term benefits is way bigger than a bag, an outfit, or a nice dinner because he's going to pay all your, or well, the majority of your bills for the rest of your life. That's what a husband does. So with all that being said, a lot of these women just be like, eh, he's he just going to sleep with me. I already know what the deal is. He's going to leave me alone at about three, four months. But on the other end, with me, what I like to do, just in particular, I like to vet a woman's level of trauma. So with my way of investing in a woman is to see how I can invest in her emotionally. So we're going to off the bat have a, a, some type of trauma conversation. I make a woman feel comfortable enough to tell me what's going on with her family life or whatever, because I want to know. I, I genuinely want to know what's going on in the background. I don't care about your titties and how pretty you is. I want to know what's going on in the background because the bottom line is that is going to tell me whether I can or would like to invest in you long term. 
because if you nuts or crazy or bat shit messy or something, I can't really deal with you. You know what I mean? So that's that's the two sides I see of it. I got a question for y'all. So I just thought that it seems like for the topic, women um, who don't want to invest in a relationship is because men are very simple. We are not. We as ladies are not simple. So if a guy is simple, that means that he's not going to do like a lot of things that we want him to do. And that's one reason probably why we're not even interested to entertain a relationship because of that. Do you guys agree? And maybe it's because that men are simple and women are not. I don't think women are complicated. I think women complicate their lives, but everybody is simple, in my opinion. Women just no, make shit complicated about- because they are anxious. Give us an example, Lady Dime. What, like? So, I mean, guys like sex, food, peace, right? Right. Okay. Same thing with women, though. Sex, <laughs> attention, and. No, it's not. You don't think so? Attention. All right. Lady Dime, can, well, you're married, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Would yes. you say, well, maybe probably, would you say your husband is simple? You bought this simple? Simple, oh, yeah. simple with the things that he wants. I'm not so saying. So, are you simple right. also? That's Bruiser Chan. No. You're not? I'm, not. I'm now. I'm, I am now. But before. Well, no. that's what I'm saying. You're oh, simple. Really? Why don't y'all want to admit that y'all was simple? No, I was, I was asking because I don't think. I don't think men are simple i think i hear people say that but when you hear men talk and stuff like that just the dynamic of men and women of how to be relatable most people aren't relatable so that makes it not simple i know we can talk about it and it's easier said than done but if you're dealing with a particular type of man or a woman that you're not used to or that's rare or that is whatever not common dealing with that person cannot always be simple you that means you you may have to change your schedule to wake up earlier than you like you may have to do more of a routine that's opposite of your routine certain things re, re change your whole program to deal with somebody because now you're under their particular program as a woman that doesn't necessarily mean it's simple you learn to adjust but i wouldn't just say men are simple they just want fuck sandwiches and such as that no they that's, do, that's like grassroots of all of that maybe guys saying it's the truth they may like that they may have their own little algorithm they may have their their own pattern but at the grassroots a man wants you to make sure you give him his sex, make sure you give him his food, and make sure you shut your mouth when he wants your mouth shut. That's the same. That's simple. Women know it's not like that. It's, it's more to it. Yeah, you're talking about maybe on a conversation level. You talk to a guy, and he's very intelligent, and you got to keep up, and all of this stuff. Cool. That's what men do. I'm talking about like, like the thing. So women, right, if, if we're the ones that are mostly filing for divorce, right, the guy isn't really filing because they're okay with, okay, I'm going to settle that, let's say she has gained some weight. I'm not going to leave her for this. But we, we're like, Shh, he's not doing this no more. He's not doing that no more. Matter of fact, somebody at work, I like. And you know what? I'm going to get it. That's not simple. That's like going like the extra mile for no reason. Men love certain things, yes, but they're main things are like the three things that I said. We have a lot of things that we want to keep up and like you guys got to keep up with us and it's not, that's what I'm saying. I believe okay. that. To, yeah. to okay, so so okay, I'll let you go, Ali, and then y'all can jump. This is all I'm saying. To Mr. So the, reason why I asked, no, no, the reason why I asked that is because just a minute ago we were saying it's based in a woman's nature to challenge a man. If men want you to just shut up, in general, just follow me. How is that simple to do if our if that's going against our nature? Wouldn't it be difficult to just shut up if it's in nature? We all agree that women are to challenge men. So you're saying so if a, if a guy is saying, OK, don't talk as much. That's him being simple. Us talking a lot is not simple. Us saying you're you're comparing what we want to do. What we want to do is complicated. I, I'm they just wanna do, the they don't want to hear all that. That's simple. But, yeah. but, but the thing, I, I don't know. I'm just thinking of the simple part. I'm thinking of it maybe from two different. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm saying to say he's simple. Are we looking at it just off what he wants and women are just, you know, going against it? Or are we looking yes. at it? Okay. Then that's what cool. he wants. Yeah. Just look at our balls. That's and all I, we want. And that's how y'all together. 
like Mr. Lego said, <laughs> Mr. Lego said earlier that women are simple as well too, but in a way y'all are complex too. But do, don't you think throughout society with all these social constructs, uh, the system has made system. We say systems make women change. It makes women insecure. It makes women think they're ugly. It makes women feel they're inadequate. It makes women invest in self love because we're using the TV shows, the movies, music, everything to where they become about themselves. But in reality, they were always about the family. That's where they were. That's where the complex came from. And anybody on this panel who came from a good mother, my mother prioritized our father and the children. She didn't prioritize having all the makeup in the world, hair, uh, eyelashes, eyebrows, um, having new clothes, new shoes all the time. She prioritized her family. Everything, she, every, 24 seven, she was prioritizing her family. And my grandmother's as well too. That's why you looking like that. Anton. You believe in that too, right? Right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just listening. Oh, you had that look like. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm just listening. Oh, to what I mean, that's the. My, I mean, my mother was everybody's mother. She wasn't into all this into luxury. She wasn't into trying to be the prettiest woman and trying to be the best dress and compete with other women. And she actually cut off all her female friends to keep my father. Like as as time went on, she cut off all her friends. <laughs> <laughs> Confusing what you must be tired. You got that look. Was oh, she simple? My, no, that's what I'm saying. A woman is complex for her family. She she was always on her feet. We'd be like, Ma, sit down. My dad be like, sit down. She was always on her feet for her family, rearranging the house, everything, making the food, like it, washing the clothes. Yeah, that, she was was being, that was because your dad wanted those three simple things. Yeah, I so, think she's positive, but a woman has is positively complex. She's an organizer. Like, I think she's yeah. met that micromanage oh, and handled a whole lot of things. She's not yeah. supposed to create all these challenges that, that are, go against a man and make his life more difficult. She's no. supposed to enhance his life and be an extension, a reflection of his and life. And that's why I say women are Hold on, Mr. Lemo. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm just she's saying that's why women are She's simple. only supposed to nope. cha challenge a man when he's going away from his manhood and his purpose and get him, right. back on, get him back to focus. That's a good woman. Hey, you falling off a little bit. You know, you need to focus back on your family. Get you ain't saying... You ain't change them cabinets. They, they, it's kind of looking uh, busted up. That you need to paint those cabinets. You ain't pay that bill. Like she always keeps him on his feet. You know, keep him grounded and make better decisions. And that's what a woman's supposed to do is help men make better decisions, yeah. not make bad decisions to create more problems for a man. Because a man is solution based. But if he comes to you with solutions and all you do is turn that solution to more problems, that's what's destroying the fabric of society. A lot of our women, uh, and, and I mean, mean nobody on the panels. A lot of our women are causing problems when there's no problems to be had. I agree. And that's why I say women complicate things, but altogether they're simple. They just try to make things more difficult because I think women are used to a certain amount of chaos. And when there's no chaos, they actually get anxious. So they complicate things on purpose, but they're simple people. That's why what Bruce phenomenally said the other day, he said, get a woman before her brain fully develops. Y'all confuse me. How what? Do, how, how do simple people complicate stuff on purpose? Because Maybe I'm being too it's, analytical. It's, I'm sorry, it's, JR. Sorry. It's like being in silence. Some people can't be in silence or be in the dark or whatever. Say you can't sleep, right? Instead of just laying there looking at the ceiling and just just allowing yourself to go to sleep, you got to get up and look at some TV because you just can't lay in silence, just as an example. That's an example of complicating oh. something instead of just laying there and just eventually going to sleep. No, you yeah. want to get up, look at TV, go when to men, sleep. When you men, just when, complicated your simple action yo, of wanting to go to sleep. When men wake up in the mornings and hit your wife or, or a woman is asleep, we'll make sure we real quiet, keep the lights off, and make sure we don't make no noise. Y'all turn on all the lights, make all the noise in the world. Like, y'all want us to know that you're getting up and want us no, to get because up. because they scared. It's the craziest thing in the world. And I'm talking about- They're a scared of the dark, bro. They're, they're, they're children. But it's like, dang, you want that much attention that I got to wake up with you? You turning on the light, turning on all the music, like go, going over me too? It's the craziest thing. Now that's disrespectful. They say, you know you be doing that too. You know you be doing that too. You know, you've turned it all the music. You've had to, nah, you can't be yeah, doing yeah. that. You get your husband's work to full day and to each room, oh, making sure y'all. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, let's try to let me see if I can try to dial it back. You wake me up, I'm gonna get a hold of that give, ass. Give an example, you ain't gonna get nothing done. <laughs> get them tires changed. You can't expect me to take <laughs> so, so, women, women who don't want to invest in a relationship, if it is with a man. You got to say that today. In most cases, it requires you to be subordinate in the relationship. 
But a lot of women are being mentally conditioned to invest in being independent of a man. Dumb shit, right. So they can shape their own future and that they can also be a mom without the constraints of a relationship. So any man that can get a woman to invest in a relationship is considered a very lucky man. You know, given the opposition society has placed women in regard to men. So shout out to all my men that's out here married. We are the few, the proud, the Marines. No, I'm just kidding. We know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if you guys just tuning in, welcome to La Peep. Let's talk. Make sure you get the likes up. <laughs> also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um. Damn, Rosie kind of threw me off with that one. What's wrong with that man? That made me laugh as well. Yeah. It ain't right. right about him too. Is it? Yeah, he a good brother, man. He a good brother. Bruiser a good brother, man. I believe in Bruiser. You believe in Bruiser? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I believe. I believe in any guy that has a tie on twelve o'clock in, in, in the night, in, in, in midnight, uh, in the dark, sitting in the dark. So yeah. I believe in them. I, I've been meaning to tell you, Mr. Lego. Uh, that's, I'm glad you changed that up when you went to prison. Because usually when a man walks into prison with his chest out, his back is arched and his ass is out. So that's not a good look going into prison. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm glad I changed it up too. Yeah, you're right. You're I right. We do a show together. I think it'd be amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you. Hey, uh, Lady Die. What's up? Yeah, I know you've been pretty eager. You want to read the Super Chats on the back end? Okay. Okay, cool. There you go. All right, moving on to our uh, last and final topic, which is people lie in therapy. Going to therapy. I went to mental health counseling. I didn't just go to counseling. I went to counseling and mental health counseling. I sat with a psychiatrist and sat on the couch. I did something I had never done before. I told the truth about my life. So many people go to counseling and lie. People watching this show... You go to counseling and you f lie and you build a fucking solution for the problem that's not. And you wake up with this massive machine to fix this problem that you don't have. <laughs> and you wonder why you still got the problem. So I went to counseling and I stopped lying. And they kept building the program. Hey, man, know I got a hurt foot. So they go get me a cast. Oh, man, I got a broke wrist. They gave me another cast. Oh, I got this. Man, it's really a toothache. I need a dentist. I don't need an orthopedic surgeon. Tell the truth of where the pain's at. And they'll send you to the right prescription and get you set up. So many people go to counseling and they lie. They won't tell the truth about their real pain. So we often talk about therapy and a lot of people may think that therapy is bullshit, but I think it is true. I think a lot of people, um, it's almost like going to confess your sins, uh, if you're Catholic, uh, to the priest, right? Sometimes you may not tell them everything. So people lie out there, but let's go ahead and talk about it. Care about shout, out, shout out to Andre Norman. That's the guy I go to, to the. I was going to the prisons with. That's my guy right there. All right, there you go. Slago got that special connect. Care boss, what are your thoughts about that? People in therapy lie. Mm, if you're in therapy lying, then you really don't want a solution to your issues or want another perspective. So, if you're lying to your therapist, then don't go to therapy. It's pointless. Because why are you consulting with them if you can't even be real and get the true, real answer or solution or, you know, some alternatives to think about? So I wouldn't do that. I don't know anybody who does that. Everybody that I know that goes to therapy, they pretty much tell, tell the real and let it all out so they can relieve themselves and, you know, and be real with somebody that don't know them personally, you know? The reason why how people do you know are they're not telling the truth. How about that? Say that again. How do you know, how do do I know that they're telling the truth? Well, mm -hmm. um, well, I could just say I don't know them because I can't vouch for them, but I've grown grown up with them for many years, like over twenty to thirty years, some people. So I know them for a very long time. So I know their traits, I know their personality, I know how they are. I basically know when they're lying to you, so I can tell, but then again, they didn't tell me their business about what happened in therapy. They just told me that I did consult with a therapist and I did got di different solutions, a different thought process, a different whatever idea of how to, you know, go about it instead of, you know, maybe a biased opinion from somebody that knows you 
or knows about the situations that you might be in. Believe women, guys. Okay. I was gonna say real quick. Hashtag. The, the um to Carol Boss's point, the ones that lie, I think they're lying because they never wanted to go. They're just going because someone said, "Hey, you should get therapy. Hey, you need to work on this," and they're like. You keep telling me this. All right, I'm gonna go. They go there. They bullshit. Come back and say, "Hey, I went. See, it's not working." I think it's more like it's just like, okay, I'm gonna try to prove your point by doing it, but I'm not gonna put the work in because I don't really care to change. That's what I think. Some people that lie, but I don't know if everybody goes there to lie. I think some people do go there to seek, um, you know, some assistance. But those are the one I believe that actually wants to go into therapy because they see things that's not happening for them that they want. And they're like, wow, I think maybe it could be my childhood. Let me talk about it to a professional, so. Okay. Ali, mental health professional, go ahead. Um, This is pushback against for Mr. Let Go. You know, kids, I think kids, all of you, anybody who has kids, teach us more about anything than any other experience in our life. Cause it's almost like we start in time and get to see how our child um, progresses. Um, there was this one child that I was working with that I loved to death that she'd always be truthful with me because I held her accountable and made her responsible for her decisions. And one day I, I, I started walking. I, I got um, for some reason I was I, I had to start going with her to therapy because she was giving the lady a hard time. So when I was going there, she was cutting up, lying, joking. And I asked, I said, hold on real quick. I pulled her out and I asked, I said, why are you doing that? She was like, she really don't care. She's just doing it for the money. And it's funny. And so it, it let me understand that majority of people who go into therapy already don't want to be honest individuals, whether we want to acknowledge it or not. If if you're not, if you have someone in front of you that's already adequate enough uh, for you to work for and is already giving you information and sharing information from you, and you're not listening to that person, nor listening to yourself and being able to process the information and reflect with yourself, you're doing the same thing to me majority of the time that kid does that goes to this place to lie. And to, and to keep from being hold, holding yourself accountable and being responsible just to say that you're trying to make that person keep working with you. Because I don't, I'm not sure what you want, what you see a lot of, Mr. Lego. There's a lot of brothers I talk to that's, that's dealing with women that go to therapy and then they convince the man to go to therapy with them. And then when the man is sitting there right next to them, they have to tell the truth. They don't want to go to therapy anymore. And, and that the, all therapy is done because she had to tell the truth. And, the, and, and who needs to fix what ends up going back to the woman. So. A lot of women already know what they're supposed to do. A lot of men already know what, what they're supposed to do. It's them not wanting to show up as adequate human beings and then going to someone else to get paid for, to be able to vent to them because they're not going to give them a solution. Hey, Ali, can I ask you a question? So do therapists even care whether you lie or not? Or do they even care whether you fix your problems? If, if you can find a, an individual who truly cares, just like when I was in mental health, they can challenge you and do something that's off the books. I think they can help, but for the most part, most I'm people saying, do they do, do they care, or they concerned, or whether whether or not you're being honest, or they concerned, or whether or not you actually get through your issues. Most, I believe, don't. They're there for the. They wouldn't be there with you. If they didn't get paid. And that's because they got a hundred other clients. Next. That's how so let me ask y'all a question. How what how does therapy work? Like how does it fix your issues? What what is this like? What does it do? What's the purpose of it? How does it work? How do you, how do you, how do you fix somebody through therapy technically? Uh, well, can I just give a good, quick answer, Ali, and then you can just go. It's, just, it, it's like they have CBT. There's different types of ther therapy de depending on uh, the mental issue that you have. So a lot of trauma therapy and stuff like that is cognitive behavioral therapy, which will just give you the tools in order to deal with, there's just ways, like if you're an angry person, they'll give you tools to uh, manage your anger. Um, it's about reprogramming how the brain processes things or how the brain, what the brain does as an outcome, which is then your behavior is the outcome. So you've got to like, kind of like retrain the brain to deal with so, stuff. So y'all basically- oh, Hold on, let me go right behind her because she's she kind of like said what I was about to say and I kind of like just add to it, if y'all don't mind. Uh, cognitive uh, behavioral therapy that um, there's two parts of your brain and they give you an understanding of your patterns and your uh, trauma responses. So when you get triggered, the amygdala shuts off your prefrontal cortex. So say you're in a relationship and the person in the relationship with you 
triggers you by saying this or doing something that your mom or your dad did when you were little. And all of a sudden you find yourself going crazy and the other person starts making you feel like you're crazy because they just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, why are you acting like that? You crazy. You stupid. You're this, you're that. And you don't understand why you're doing this and you're feeling bad because the person that you love is calling you crazy. You go to therapy and the therapist will tell you, well, actually what's going on is potentially that your prefrontal cortex is being taken offline by your amygdala due to some type of trauma response. And it might take you a couple of weeks to figure out what the trauma response is because usually you don't know. You just know there's something that is causing you to act up, but you don't know because you've suppressed your trauma or your trauma responses. Because a lot of times the amygdala does not have an understanding of people, money, time, or anything. It's just a bunch of memories, right? So when your amygdala takes over, your prefrontal cortex cuts off, and you're just literally responding to bad memories because your traumatic memories actually look for traumatic memories, I mean, uh, traumatic situations in the future, and they match them. And if that particular thing is... That's that's going on right now. Max, you kid, you want to act up, but be able to give you an understanding. <laughs> older skills is working, so <laughs> you can turn around and say, "Oh, okay, I got, I, I see what's going on." So now you can go back to your mate and say, "Yo, I'm not crazy. I'm not this. I'm not that." You, when you say this or do that. It's triggering my trauma response. My dad did this or my mom did this. So now when you do A, B, and C, I'm going to act a fool. And I'm working on that because I'm in therapy. And they can actually not do the thing or understand that when they do the thing, you're going to have a trauma response. I'm not, so I'm not therapy, to... so what y'all telling me, okay, so A, <laughs> therapy is based off of what you decide to tell them and your perception of what reality is to you being being <laughs> being communicated to another person. A the information B, that they give you about your brain. Let me, let me, let me you understand. I know I'm a, I know I'm slow. I'm a C student. Okay. Okay, go ahead. And then and then B <clears throat> once you tell that person, they tell you what your triggers are. So that you can tell another person don't trigger you, correct? No, no not to not you, trigger you, but to understand what the trigger not, is. But so therefore you can negate the triggering or nullify the being well, triggered. But then y'all said that so you can tell the person, hey, this triggers me, don't do that, because my father used to kick my ass, right? Well, yeah. you could could relay that, but you could well, basically also, you're telling the person not to trigger no. you, right? Well, no, let me but, give you an example. I'm not, I'm not, you could we could because if that listen, if this is the is this, if this is if this is the case, a mm -hmm. therapy is a scam because it's largely dependent on your perspective of what you think is happening, and then b it doesn't actually solve for the problem. It just tells you to tell other people what not to do to you. No, because well, you, you got don't. Awareness is solving the problem. Awareness. Yeah, it's just about you. You don't even have to tell other people, and then because it's fixed, it's just like you go to the doctors. You you've cut your you've cut yourself. You put the band aid on it, and uh, and and it fixes it. So you don't have to then, and then you can take the band aid off, and then, and it's healed. So you don't have to go around to the other person and go, look at my band aid, look at my band aid. No, you're just gonna fix the trigger, so you won't be triggered anymore. So you, you don't. Yeah, but y'all didn't tell. Y'all didn't say. No, no, no. You don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Triggers. Y'all did not no, say you... that they tell you how to fix it. They y'all said that they tell you. What it is? Let me give you an example. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me give you an example because this could be helpful helpful to the audience. Okay, me and my girl are at some train tracks. Right, the train ain't coming yet. Since I don't see the train coming, you know the little bars are down. I decide to ride through the bars and just go on the other side. Right. My girl goes nuts, like, what is wrong with you? Are you crazy? Ah, she just goes nuts. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? And she's like, why would you do that? A train could hit us. And I go slam off, like, 
bitch, who you think you talking to? Blah, 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 blah. So I go off on her calling all kinds of names, right? So listen, we on the side of the, we on the side of the road, just going at it, right? We both go to therapy. The therapist lets us know individually what just happened out of talking to us and hearing what actually uh, transpired. I, just as an example, am used to just doing what I want to do, right? But the thing You've about it is... You've gone too long, Mr. Letgo. You've gone too long. <laughs> and I'm lost, I'm lost you, now. Lady, I was even on the lady same Shan, point. Lady, lady, lady Shan, <laughs> making it worse. Okay, listen. So I go to therapy, and the therapist ends up telling me that the reason why I went off on her is because I grew up watching my mom go off on my dad, but my dad never spoke up for himself. So when my girl started going off on me, I literally started going off on her like I was my dad. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, the reason why she acted a fool is because when she was a child, her dad was an alcoholic and literally put everybody in danger because he used to drive while drinking and he would drive off fast. And every time he swerves, it scares the shit out of everybody. So that means she's triggered by me doing something reckless and I'm triggered by her hollering at me. What? But, but how does uh, and MLG, how does he, uh, how does the therapist fix that? That's what he's They asking. don't fix it. They just make you aware of what's happening. No, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's this is not how true. I know therapy I, is a scam. I had a, <laughs> no, no hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ther I listen, time, if therapy is what y'all saying, therapy is a scam. I mean, no, 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 no. Listen, wait, listen, wait. listen. I'm calling pocket watching with JT to do an assessment on therapy because these therapists are scamming y'all mm. out of so yeah. much money. Hear, oh me out, Hear me out, Anton. Hear me out. Hear me out, Anton. I, I had a friend in the middle. Hold on, like, hold, hold, hold on, light, light, Chen. Hold, hold on. I had a friend in the military, Anton. Uh, he had a serious condition, and he went to therapists, and they fixed him. How? What was the condition? His erection wouldn't go down. Mm -hmm. Oh well, Physical, <laughs> it? Bruiser be trolling. Bruiser be trolling, bro. Bruiser is is a was the uh, 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 hey, That was a good one, though. Hey, Y'all get it? Do Y'all get it? You don't get it yet? Think about it. So that means the therapist gave him some ass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was a good joke. That was a good one, Bruiser. That was a good one. Yeah, yo, I like that, Bruiser. That was a good one. That well, I'm asking is Anton. If you I gotta give you credit on that one. I gotta go ahead, ladies, man. Sorry, uh, yeah. If you think therapy is a scam, what's your solution? What's your alternate solution then? Tell them that you. Well, it, it would it would depend on the problem. See, well, you see, wait, 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 wait. You see what I did there? What I did was I asked the question instead of automatically doing what we always do and say you need therapy. Everybody should go to therapy. That's the po that's the popular thing that goes on in in, in society today is that we automatically need therapy. therapy. Niggas need therapy. You just need therapy. No, 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 no. Listen, what? you just need therapy. You just need therapy. No, we need to start. No, how, we don't even know what the question was. She said, "What solution?" I said, "Well, what's the problem?" I hate that. You Sorry, can automatically say somebody need therapy. We got to first figure out what it, what the heck we even assessing. Okay, Can you just say a quick Shannon question. Said, I, one of my pet peeves when people go, she said. Hold I'm on, quick talking. question, Anton. Shannon the train that's track that's situation. Me. That's my, you're they would have not known <laughs> what actually was transpiring. Each person would not have known what's actually transpiring. The woman would have been mad at the dude for going off on her, and the dude would have got mad at the woman for emasculating him. No, listen, their problem was he was breaking the law. Okay, that's A. He shouldn't have went past the train tracks. She is unruly, and she need to be dealt with accordingly. Problem well, why solved. Why was she hey. unruly? Is the thing. She can fix that shit once she she realized she was unruly. She she still, unruly she when, feel, he does, when he breaks the law. Think about that. Yeah. He gets unruly when he breaks the law. So all he has to do is stop doing crazy shit when he's driving. She won't get unruly. It's a trauma response. Bruh. 
What about Anton? You have to pick something that's all right. Pick something that maybe that's relatable to you, like something that you've seen your your girl have that maybe. Right, <laughs> Anton. Rita don't have no problems. Rita be chilling. She be having a good time. She be shop. Okay, I'll give you a problem. Rita shop too much. She shop too much. She don't need to therapy. For that, that could Unless... be a, a oh wait. She don't need therapy for that. No, that could be a coping mechanism. That detriment is detrimental to your household. What is it cope? What is she? Co what is it coping with? Deal with your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I give you that. I give you that one. I give you that one, Mr. Let Go. <laughs> I give you that one, Mr. Let Go. That was a good one. I got I gotta get credit where credit is due. I set myself up for it. I walk I walk right on into that. That's not, that's not as smart as I thought I was. But I mean, in a, to answer your question, Lady Jan. But if yeah. she was poor, y'all was poor, guess what? She wouldn't be able to go shopping. So she'll be probably barking on you and acting a fool. You're like, what is wrong with you? Oh, so, so is the problem because we poor or is the problem because she need therapy? Need therapy. The, the shopping could actually be a trauma response to something you it's do okay. or did. Yeah, so a woman, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So a woman that can't shop or shops too much need therapy too? She's going to do something different. She's she shopping as she a coping mechanism. So yeah. when you eat. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Lady, Lady Chan, do you what? agree with this? Yeah, I do agree with it. Um, but your wife, your wife's got the capability. Anton, get back on camera. Don't be rude. Talking to you, right? It depends. Like, is she shopping for the same yeah. item? Like, you guys, got but see, you know how I know that y'all don't know. You know how I know y'all got y'all getting scammed know. by therapy because you didn't. You didn't even ask a follow up question by saying, "Well, what do you mean? Like, like does she shop at the grocery store? Or does she shop with her, with regard to clothes? Uh, does she Dodge shop as a, does she shop as a result of Lady Dodge uh, just asked, bro? We're just taking it. No, that no, 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 no. I'm not talking about Lady Di. This is Lady Di is not the person that said that everybody need therapy. It was Lady Shan and Mister Let Go. <laughs> Yeah, but what I'm saying is we're just going to take it by default. Whatever shopping that you're talking about, the problem is it's excessive. Is it not excessive? So yes, therefore... It's excessive. not excessive. It depends. See, excessive you, know, according okay, to you can say that it's... A, some, it one person can say it's excessive, excessive because they may see... Um, they may say, well, we all need to be minimalists, right? And no, we don't need a whole lot and whatever. So so. Wait, 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 wait. And this is my, this is my point is that when you go into a therapy session, it's based off of your perspective. If she says it's excessive because she's used to being a minimalist, and then I say it's not excessive because we got an abundance of money and I've, and I've enabled her to be able to do whatever it is she want to do when she want to do it, it's two different perspectives, but it's all based off of interpretation when you communicate to another person and tell them what you think the problem is. And so how can how can, how can you tell somebody that they need therapy when it's all based off a perspective of how you're going to communicate to somebody. Okay, but then you just said that you've got an abundance of money. Just say that. Yeah, I'm giving you know. several different scenarios. Okay, we'll, we'll give it, I'm just going to caveat off that. So you've got abund an abundance of money. Your wife's shop, she, she's doing mad shopping. But that's not detrimental to, that. there's not a problem there. If it becomes a it's problem. like, oh, so it was. No, you said it was. You said she shops too much. If it becomes a problem, that. but it's, it, it may be a, it may be something that I think, but in general, is not to her, or it doesn't really affect us at all. I just think that she. Yeah, but then it's not a problem then. If it doesn't, if if you say right. my point is, is do we automatically de point default over to therapy for every single thing that we think? No, is a problem? the answer is no. The answer yes, is no. we do. That's what y'all do. Anton, no, is, is when you look at your 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 full body of work of your life and say, okay, my relationships keep falling apart. I keep choosing this type of person. I keep doing this and doing that. One of the things that could be happening, just as an example, you keep choosing just man or woman. You keep choosing the reincarnation. No, of, use your, oh, use your oh, Instagram oh, oh, and, oh. And, and, and Facebook talking points. Women do pookie pickers and... No, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> People... This is inadvertently choose the reincarnation of their primary parent, whether it's a mother or a father. That's a real well, thing. why do they do that, Mr. Lego? If we understand the importance of fathers, then it would sound like 
we're trying to replace fathers in society with therapy when the closest things that if we're going to talk about the topic and things like this and the dynamic of a relationship, the closest thing a woman is going to experience to her father is her husband. No, so if, if no, it's a, right. it's a traumatic it's response. It's a trauma but response. What I'm so saying you is actually like, choose a chaotic person but because why do we your choose mother was chaotic. Way, why do we choose this way, though? Because it's a trauma. No, you, I, I can answer that. Let me answer the question. But the reason why... Me. Go ahead. What, just what this, basically, y'all just need to just say that y'all want to talk to somebody and y'all want to tell them y'all dirty laundry without y'all y'all husband or y'all chick finding out about it. That's really what it is. You oh, want to be no. and you don't feel comfortable enough going to the church because the church lady gonna tell all of your business. Let and so you feel the safest that. way to do so is to go and talk to this lady that you don't know and tell her all of your business. Meanwhile, yeah. she over there getting, getting fucked on and she having her own problems and how she going to help you and she don't even know how to solve her own problems. That's Lucky, basically what's happening. Go ahead, Lucky. It's people making horrible Hold on, decisions. Hold let Lucky finish. She, she was interrupted. Oh, my God. Go ahead, Lucky. Now, I was just listening to every everybody and, and we keep coming back to the dynamic of trauma and they're picking everybody. Trauma is not nothing new. Like, we... I ain't going to go down that road. But what I'm saying, if we keep thinking that the therapy session, all they're doing is bringing everything back to your childhood, your parents, or most people that are in therapy where they That's need trauma. therapy, it comes back to who it, who the problem belongs to, which if we understand the importance of fathers, that has a lot to do with how we interact with people, how we assess and see ourselves, and how we also mate. So if we're saying all these things that you're talking about, the dynamic of a relationship, then that would mean that these women or these people going through this don't really need therapy. They need actual father figures or leadership in their life to help guide them. Because even if you have emotions or things like that, that you don't know how to deal with the therapist or the friend or the pastor, or whoever you go to talk to is just helping you figure out your own thoughts on how to separate logic from emotions, all these type of things of what's that you really don't, I can go get, I can call Ali about an issue and go get exactly the answers I would need versus going to pay a therapist every week. You kind of get what I'm saying? It's, it's really, yeah. what are we doing? Ladies and gentlemen, y'all come in. Can, 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 can I go off what he said? Hold on. Can I go off what he said? I'll go off what he said. Lord have mercy. We are, it, it's generations of over-mothered people and under-fathered people. I agree. Mothers have us living in our feelings. Fathers I agree. make you live in reality. That's I agree. That's the problem. So when your mother would get too over emotional, your father would step in. If your father made but if you don't have a father, you traumatized. No, you're not traumatized. Uh, listen, if you're living you in the house, that. no, that's not traumatized. Trauma, trauma means something bad happened to you, Mr. Lego. If you okay? were under hold father, on, hold on, Mr. Lego, let me hold bad on, hold on, Mr. To you. Lego. If I smoke, let's say I start smoking cigarettes, right? Because I saw somebody smoke cigarettes, right? Mm -hmm. I, is that am I traumatizing myself or someone create trauma for me? Uh, cigarette smoking is actually trauma. See what you're doing? So this is what the problem is. This is the first generation of black people that has in, been indoctrinated by Western uh, philosophy. We used to set, we used to nip everything in the bud. There was no picking your fights. We addressed, the man would address everything right there on that, on, on that footstep. Everything would be solved. Today, society is living based off the woman's emotions rather than the man's logic, especially in black culture. We, we always fix, fix these things. But I'm gonna tell you what, when I was in mental health, I'd have a kid. This is the way they set it up. It's nothing but women in there. If Lady Di didn't want to listen to me, the women would go, if you don't want to talk to Mr. Uh, Ali, you can talk to Fred. Lady Di go talk to Fred. Oh, I don't want to talk to Fred about it. Okay, if you don't want to talk to Mr. Fred, you can go talk to uh, Lucky. Okay, she go to Lucky. That's what people are doing with therapy. They don't want to deal with real life. They don't want to address their problems. They really don't want to open up the skeletons in their closet, closet to really address it. They want to blame their problems on other people. Am I saying that we have real life trauma? For sure. But I'm sure generations before us went through way worse stuff than we did, and they conquered the difficulty. Yes. None of that yes. has yes. to do with anything. Let go. They, they, they conquered the difficult challenges of life, and they progressed. Or you're going to get left behind, and, and you're going to be exactly going to play victim. And, and no, society I'm going next. MLG, I'm going next. I'm going next. Right. Yeah, so, go, go, go ahead, uh, Lady Shaz. Like, we are starting it. to equate bad experiences that you're supposed to over overcome and learn from and start connecting with people who have uh, who are healthy individuals that create solutions. And we're equating that to trauma that we never get over. We just say, go oh, ahead. Lady I Shan, you, I can't Shan be a me. man. God dang, I can't be a man for you because I'm going through trauma. And more women do that than men. When we come to the table, 
I'm coming here as a man, but you go, nah, you're gaslighting me for telling me the truth and you triggering me. I'm going to therapy. And just to listen to someone get get let me get away with not being responsible and accountable for my behaviors. That's all. Okay, I'm Lady Shan. God damn it. Okay, it's, it's no, it's not. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 it's, I just wanted to. Uh, I'm told the worst. No, so, Mr. Let Go is a feminist. Mr. Let Go is a feminist. <laughs> Super feminist. He only coaches Mr. Let Go. Is a he wants to hear you talk. Us. No, Does he and Shan, she, Lady Shan, we gonna come to you. We gonna come to you, Lady Shan. We just don't want to let this go. Damn. Look at look at the pattern. No, look at the pattern. Mister Let Go stopped me early in the show from addressing the issue, and then he because fought with Ali. Lucky. He fought. He fought. No, I'm talking about in the very beginning. And then he fought. And then he fought with Ali by not letting me about not letting me fight my own battles. No, I was Ali, agreeing with you about Illa. And, Illa was totally not, wrong. And then with Ali, I don't DM the Illa. Started addressing an issue wrong. about. Listen, the only professional on this panel when it comes it's to me. having any, no, it's the only person that's no, 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 Mister oh. Lego, Mister Lego, the only professional that is on this panel because all of us is just giving our opinions. But oh, Ali bruiser. is the only person bruiser. that has professional experience with regard to working with people, youth, young people, solving for different problems and trauma, and and giving them advice on how it is that they look at things from from a ther therapeutic. Bruiser looks uh, like a principal. How are you gonna look over Bruiser? Look at Bruiser. No, no. Listen, <laughs> Ali is the only person that has that has professional experience in this, and we won't even let him finish a sentence. Yeah. But I was going next. He didn't even ask his trigger. Right. Maybe you, know what, you, you, you were going next, but you, you, you we were supposed to let Ali finish first. Yeah. And then Did I not let him therapy? therapy. Mr. Lego okay. needs therapy because his okay. trigger the, is the he kid can't listen need, to let people, people finish. People now, why why would Mr. Let Go stop the only and professional in the room that has therapeutic experience? You know why? Because he keeps shitting his on circuit. therapy. And he kept I, saying the same thing over and over again because he keeps shitting on therapy. So go ahead, oh, Lady Chan. It destroyed our it's destroyed our lives. It's destroyed See, still don't it's destroyed let, let black people. It's destroyed men. It's destroyed women. It, it destroyed manhood and womanhood. That's why we have identity crisis. That's why we have LGBTQIA, all the alphabets. Because let go, you keep push pushing therapy. Okay, instead of Lady Shane. Men and women. Lady Shane. See how you don't see how he does? But that Anton. That but means, can you let her that finish? Means Mr. Lego is right. Men are the problem because they will fight for women to keep having. I agree. Jobs, making bad decisions. Hey, go ahead, Lady Shane. I agree. I'm scared to go now because every time you tell me to go, Angela tells me I'm over talking. He's going to sell you a course. He for does it again. And tires <laughs> and, and Ali needs pieces. therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Ali, you gonna go to therapy, my G. No, I don't need that. Yo, Let the woman finish, bro. Favor. Hey, Lady Shan, do me a favor. Come to my it's city. Over. When, when, when Ali does this, it's over. Come to it's my over, city. He he God, I put all my life. Come to my city. Go to my school, the schools that I work, uh, work with. Go look at the progress of the kids and the grades they made, how much progress their mother... The family members would change the way they dress their daughters, the way they clean their daughters. They saw someone love their child, not just give them therapeutic words or give them therapy. They saw someone love their child. And when they saw someone love their child, the mother and father start loving themselves. And it gave them value that they create a special kid because someone else values that kid. So the, mo the, the, the most important part of what happened was there was a male in the classroom. That's the biggest part. There's no... They're giving kids meds instead of men. There was a, a it was a man and woman dynamic. The women handled the emotional department. I handled the reality department. And the women were challenging me until they saw the kids make progress. And then they let me handle every situation until I asked them to handle. And just like what a man would do, a man would handle every situation. So he needs his wife to, hey, can you go talk to her about this? That's what I'm saying. Said Umar actually speak. I don't know if y'all like Dr. I, Umar. I, I mean, I just want to Umar speak. Yeah, can I just like, because I haven't been able to. I'm just say. like Lady Shane. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Lady Shane, I know, please. I haven't been able to. But, and then uh, I've forgotten all my points. I've tried to write them down. So no, people let's, do. Let's let it go. It's just oh going to be going over the line. And he's can trying to have at least Lady Shane. Finish. Mr. Oh, Mr. Lego trying to have a meet up in London. We I'm know. Changing tires. Tires. <laughs> he got a shit. No, Mr. Lego got a uh, conversation at the table uh, show going in London. And so now he's trying to make sure he's not <laughs> even okay. Go ahead, Lady Shan. I'm sorry. Okay, I got it. Okay. So, 
what I'm saying is, I'm just going to quickly say, Ali, sometimes people live a well lost lie. So, you know, you've got the kids and they're all doing what, whatever. It doesn't mean that the root of the problem, not saying that the root of the problem hasn't been solved by what you've done, but also it may not. If they just put a jacket on, it looked all well and it and, and it could be. Hang on, don't interrupt. Just right. A minute, please. please, please. Also, um, trauma is not always tied down back to, it's not always established with your parents. It, it's not always rooting back to childhood we do sometimes for the most part have childhood traumas but then there's traumas that occur at different parts in your life I've had traumatic things that have happened uh 10 years ago which still Mm. kind of affect me and I do need to address those and I've spoken to my boyfriend because something triggered me and then I got flashbacks and I ended up right crying just Mm -hmm. just you know so that has to be that has to be fixed and 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 with Anton saying you know, you don't want to go to Judy that's in the church. Why can't you go and talk to her? Well, sometimes you need someone that's completely removed from the situation. Someone that's not biased. Someone that's, you know, someone that's just a third party. You, you need an independent adjudicator. And that, if that's a therapist, that's a therapist, you know? And there's nothing wrong with it. A man, when we would sit at those tables, the women would sit down at the table and make the worst decisions for the kids because of their feelings. And because they didn't know what to do with the kids, They'll disqualify the kid and want the kid already kicked out of school versus having a man come in there and giving a logical reason on what to do with the kids. A lot of women, whether y'all want to address it or not, especially Caucasian women, are ruining our kids' lives. But nobody wants to talk about it when we start dissecting how black women are ruining our kids' lives because they're listening to white women and white society. So if yeah. you're listening to white society and white men, then you allow then black women are becoming the problem because they're allowing the system to take over the kids because they don't want to address that there's a bad mother problem that leads to single mother problems that leader you don't want to listen to a man problem. I That's agree. the problem. You just don't want to listen to a man. If yeah. you listen to a man, all the problems you have, uh, I don't got nobody to help me with the kids. I don't got nobody to listen to me. I ain't got nobody to watch the kids. I ain't got nobody that can protect me. You ain't got, just go get that man. Mm-hmm. That's it. And I'm agreeing with you, Ali. All I'm saying is therapy has its place is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. No, she needs, they need to go get that man. Or they 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 take on they get thrown to the streets and I'm look I know Anton could be savage sometimes. Therapy has don't a want place. Listen, is all I'm saying, you don't bro. Want coverage, it ain't and about therapy. Right to being attached to not Shan, to I can't make you. I can't make you do anything. Your father can, and the man yeah, you get. Hold on, let me finish. Let me let me finish, ladies and gentlemen. I can't make you do anything you want. I can't make you submit. I can't lead you. I can't do nothing unless you want to be under my coverage and you give me authority over you. And your father can. But if women, when women say they want to get help and they want somebody to give stability to them and make them help better life decisions, no, they don't. Because like I said, once you have to put in work, I quit. Once you have to put in work, once you have to open the skeletons in your closet, once you have to make critical change, you blame trauma. It's you. I'm not taking away from the bad experiences you had, but it's you. You're your problem. You're not ready to change. And you keep- And Lucky got to go next. We got to make room for luck. The The therapist keep going- well, what are we going to do today? Uh, let me and they get they check next week. What are we doing today? They're not helping anybody. They're not. Lucky, go ahead, Luck. Go ahead, Luck. I actually agree, with Ali. I was going to say, um, I don't know if it's safe to say the person name, but I, I said it. Um, Doctor Umar, he said something because he was actually a, a um, into school psychology, I believe. Um, don't get don't let me misquote him, but I remember him holding a seminar that he was talking about how black boys specifically or black children are, but boys are more inclined to be told by the teachers or the teachers are to tell the parents that they have to put them in therapy or things like this in schools specifically more than any other group of people. So I do agree that therapy is used as a weapon, but I do want to ask, and it could be rhetorical. If we are saying that most women don't want to invest in doing the work, why do we encourage them to go through therapy to a stranger who is going to encourage them to do the work that they're not even going to do? Period. So they make money. I can answer that. They're not. They. 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 they Bruiser don't want to answer it too. I heard he wanted to answer. They don't need the criteria for therapy. If they don't. <laughs> if they don't feel that they've got a problem, therapy is not going to help them because you have to realize that you've got a problem and be willing to work on that problem. In order. Okay, so if we can have a dialogue a little bit, Lady Shan, how does a woman, what makes a woman or a person identify that they have a problem? 
when it's detrimental to their life, it's uh, let changing. Go to Mr. Something. Let go. When it's changing something for the bad in their life, if if something that triggers them is a, a not enabling them to leave out to the home to go and work or something's making them stay in bed and sleep, something's making them overeat, something's making them just cry. Um, you know, they're, they're, those are the things where you would need to address that because it's detrimental to your life. It's interfering to your normal day, to, what's deemed as normal day-to-day -day life. And when, I, when, I, when, I was, when I was in a therapy session... Hang on, um, what, wait, 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 because Lucky was going back. Could you wait? <laughs> You know what, Lady Chan, you need that. Yo, y'all are hilarious. No, I was I was just trying to have a dialogue to peel this back specifically because I think it's a good conversation if we're talking about the minds of women. So I have heard a lot of women who reach that standpoint where they're crying every day or whatever in those marriages or in relationship. How come that's not enough to ask the man that you're in a relationship with for quote unquote therapy? It, instead of going to a, a stranger who doesn't know your actual dynamic and you're going to tell the story from the version of a my truth you kind of get what i'm saying like how yeah. come we can't go to the man that we are putting authority or have dominion over us when we reach that thing okay i need to make a change and i am not ha whatever it is how come i have to go to an outside person and not the person that i'm with to fix the problem in our household i guess that's what i'm trying to understand lady shane well, the person that you're with may not have been the contributor to your trauma. You may have Thank come you. into that relationship with that trauma. And I'm not saying that then there is an additional new trauma that could be made within your relationship. Well, if that's new trauma that's been made within your relationship, then the both of you two go to counseling as, as, as a, a couple's counseling. Uh, but if you've walked in at, at, from jump with trauma, there's nothing that your husband or your boyfriend could do to solve it and fix it. He could be the best man, but at the end of the day, you're gonna just go need somebody to fix, put the band-aid on, give you this, do the operation, give you the stitches mm -hmm. and let the wound heal. Then you return back to your relationship and that is no longer something that's detrimental to yourself and to your relationship. Or this well, that, is that only in the context in which I'm coming in the relationship with trauma? So there can't be things that happen in the relationship that may cause one person to feel like they need individual therapy. Because yeah, well, yeah, got you, right. got you, because that's a good question. Um, I would still say that you that would still deem as couples. You could go still to couples therapy, even though the trauma is only affecting one party. But at the end of the day, that's why would you go to th couples therapy if the trauma is affecting one person? No, they need individual therapy. The other person that it's not affecting, but even though. It was it, it was created whilst being together. That other person now no, has to, triggered by them being together, most likely. Okay, but that other person needs to know <laughs> have the tools to understand what's happened to his his partner. So they're going to therapy together. So the partner's getting the tool. Yeah, as I don't well. agree with that. I, I was just listening because when they say you can have a change, they, she was saying like the way. So if you can identify the change, and let's say you didn't have trauma, the issue is now. We're married and I'm having this problem, whatever, whatever. Instead of going to therapy, I just always just feel like when you go to anybody outside, even therapy and the way it's, it's set up in this whole way of thinking men are overly masculine. It just seems like it would add more problems on the woman if she's looking for a solution to, on how to get back to her husband. If it just seems like she should leave the relationship because she's going by herself. Y'all think oh, only okay. therapists are women or something? You yeah. can pick any type uh, of therapist you no, want. No, I don't. I don't think that. But women are more inclined to go to a therapist that they relate to, just like an OBGYN. You know what I'm saying? I, like I'm, always, yeah, I'm going to. A, if I'm going to therapy, I feel that I'm going to have to go to a man. A man. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. How do we even know that this guy? Women therapists are trash. How do we no, know that no. this guy ain't a simp? How do we know that he not? He's not bias because his daddy used to slap him like what do we what do we really know about these people that we have in these conversations about but we're entrusting them because it's it's much different than if you know you're dealing with a surgeon or you're dealing with an OBGYN right in which they're actually physically trained to do something to your body or they're trained to do something to you as far as like we could we we could actually look at this and say, yeah, they're good at what they do, or they are the best in their field, or this person is worthy of going to 
because they actually, you know, they doing something. We we can see it. We don't know who who Capo, who is this nigga? We don't know who they are. We don't know nothing about them. And so y'all go to them because she a woman or she he a man. And and how do you know that this person is awesome? I don't get it. <laughs> what do y'all do? On, do, y'all, call, do, y'all, do y'all believe? No, hold on, Lady Chain. Hold on, Lady Chain. Damn. Sorry, I was so all in. Like we can see that this surgeon has hilarious. this many successful surgeries and he straightened this person back, or we can see that this nurse is the best nurse, or we can see that this like we can see the results of a financial person because they net worth is this, and they well, you can see real results. Do you know doctors kill know more people, people than are? anybody else? Lady you know Shan already told you how the pro- Lady else? Shan already to- showed you how women infiltrate, how the system uses women to infiltrate everybody. Antidaniels.com. If your daughter Correct. was having a problem and the system came into your house and said your daughter has no, trauma, we got no, no. Hey, Lady Shan, nobody can come into my house. If I came into your house, predominantly nope. mostly black women house, and said that your kid has a problem because you don't want to address you got a problem, what do you think most black women are going to do? They're going to rebuke you. No, no, they're going to say that their kids have a problem because they have yeah. a problem. But and she's that, hold on, the one that let has me a finish. Let go. Can you stop real quick? Not only that, the women make it so men have problems. That's why women want men to go to couples counseling. If you can infiltrate women to make to make them deflect from their problem and make it that their, their kids is causing a problem, men is causing them a problem, toxic masculinity yeah. is causing them a problem, they, they will never address themselves and they will never look at themselves as the foundation of what people need to, to flourish in this, in this world. Well, let me get you this, though. That's a feminist and woman talking point because you know who... Who 79% to 80% of suicides are? Men. Because nobody cares about a man's trauma. They only care about a woman's traumas because so they can infiltrate men to make, infiltrate women to say that everybody has a problem. So when you're raising a woman, you're raising people. She can say everybody got problems, then we all got problems. And we all, we, we all just accept we got problems. We all go get on drugs. We all go get on alcohol. We can't even, the men need women. Like we need women. Y'all are our peace. We need you to love yourself. We need you at peace. We and Ali, you at peace. Ask, and when you're not, all the society is gone, and we all got problems. Ask Mister Let Go if feminism is there it is trauma. But I, would, I wanted to. No, he's gonna try twenty two ninety nine. Is feminism is feminist feminism trauma? Mm. Uh, it's it's program is learned behavior. It's not trauma. It's yeah, learned behavior and it's <laughs> stupidity. Um, it's a is 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 learned what? stupidity. Feminism no, is learned feminist. stupidity. I'm not really. I'm not into feminism. feminism. Doesn't oh. exist. It's just some do stupid know, shit. Somebody Carol, how, 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 how do you spell? Do you know, do you know, how, do you know Lucky? Do you know how intimidated women were when when I was at mental health with the fact that you did have a solution? Even feminist men, that the fact when you were the solution, people became in, intimidated by that guy. They didn't want that guy around because it made everybody else look bad, and it made, it pointed out that they were the problem. They didn't have the they didn't have the tools to what these kids needed. They didn't have everything they needed to be help be able to help these kids. So they started looking at the person who's actually trying to fix the problem be the problem. Yeah. I, okay. All right. Point taken, and I I agree. But like the way that Anton is ready to like kind of like desecrate therapy and and say that basically. Me too. I, I'm, give you a, a story just give you a quick thing that you know that we you said that we put our trust in surgeons and stuff like that because we know that they're trained to do so they kill more people than anybody okay so that's where my trauma that's where part of my trauma stemmed from i Thank went you. in for i went in for an operation and woke up in icu having crashed from a cardiac arrest for five and a half minute flatlined see i think you help i think you, I, I think you I, I think your ability to vet and listen to what you were communicating. Oh my God! And let me no, 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 no. Hold on. Can y'all wait, wait, wait. Can y'all let this man finish? No, we're let not. Him because it's, it's, it's no, silly you what he's not. Let him not. Because if you Google, you don't even know what Google, he's gonna say. Here. If you Google therapy, self help books, and all this self love uh, philosophy, it's actually making people worse, and it's not helping people. Just take time to research on what self help books and self self care. And, and therapy is doing to people. It's not most of it is not helping people. They still have the problem because when I go to you, 
it's not you that's helping me. It's me helping me by listening to what you're saying and taking your words and putting it together. You're not giving me no solutions. I you went just said they're I, giving you a solution. You it's not it. them. It's they don't yeah, have. I, they give you awareness of the problem, bro. I, I said that 30 minutes ago. There's still going to be pro what I'm trying to say is that nothing is foolproof. There's a point. There's a place where everybody can go. At the end of the day, mm. I went to a top surgeon. I still fucking ended up flatlined on the fucking right. table. So it doesn't really matter. Does that mean that if I need surgery again in the future, I won't go? No, I will go because so I'm going to have to go. So you but were in the facility for 15 years everything. watching therapy, medication, ruin people? Yeah, but you can't say that. You can't I say, can going, say it. I can I'm say it. Say it. I'm all caveating off of what Anton said. He's like, why do we trust to go? I can see why we trust to go to a surgeon. I can see why we trust to go to doctors. But to go and tell people. Yeah, and you're doctors kill more people than anybody. Yeah, I'm just giving you an example that of what happened. Doctors to me. So literally they kill they more people than anything else. Actually, they, actually, they don't. But I don't want to deep dive into that. That's yeah, they all subject. also they that also is they all subject, the leading though, killer of people in America are doctors. Not well, first of all, that's not that's that's clean, clean, like, oh, you can't just doctors. You know that's a bad. That's, that's not true. That's like, you know food. that that's not. Let go food the number one killer of people. You just making up stuff. Not even true. Okay. So like, yeah, well, that's what that's huh? what we're okay. saying. And Bruiser then, still ain't got off his point, and he the most professional looking person on the panel. Him and Lady Dunn. Tell everybody what 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 uh, therapy is 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 the best thing for people. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Bruiser. I I mean I'm with you on the the doctors, man. They they scare me, man. Especially you. I know you said they kill her a lot uh, more people than anybody. They also yeah, impregnate. They, they also impregnate more more people than anybody. I've seen them. I seen one impregnate an entire city. I'm scared to go to the clinics about any of my problems. You scared that you're gonna get pregnant? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Lady Dot Di go on that part because this nigga ball head running off on him. Bro. Go ahead, Lady Dot. Lady Dot trying to say something. But go ahead, Lady Dot. No, I mean <laughs> therapy to me. I believe all of us get some type of therapy on a weekly, monthly basis. It's just that we're not listening to the wise people around us. It doesn't have to be an elder. It could just be someone that knows more than what you do. So if we just listen and pay attention to the information that's being brought to us, it could be in the home, you know, listening to whoever's in your house or listening to someone at work, listening to whoever that has more profound words that can help you get through something. No, we don't want to do that. It can't be the person closest to us. We got to go and pay for somebody to tell you kind of the same thing. For you to be like, oh, I understand now. If you understood the first time or the second time and the third time in your surroundings, you could have started to process it and start to make your changes. But uh, it seems like a lot of us, we we don't like to accept truth. And the truth is going to come from people that love you. But that's just another topic to me. Um, I'm not going to say therapy is totally wrong. I think that we as people have to do a vetting process. So like what Anton was saying, how do you know, what do you know about this person? You're just going to something because they said, oh, therapist, you know, licensed therapist. But what about this person can help you? Because not all therapists are good to help you in every situation. You want to pick somebody that went through something like what you're going through. They have accomplished what, you know, battled and, and fixed all of that yeah, for exactly. themselves. And then, hey, these are the steps that I took, and this is what I think can help you. We're not vetting therapists. You're just going to one. So it's not just the therapist. I don't want to blame a therapist. I would blame the person going to the therapist. You can't expect the change from someone that can never help you, but we think that they can help because they have a title. So I don't want to throw the therapist out. I do understand that some therapists like to give more like insight, more perspective on what's going on to help you think more logically, but I'm not going to say they're all bad. There are some therapists that do care. I wouldn't say it's majority. Um, I do believe, like I said, you work within your community first. Listen to the people around you that actually love you and, you know, are actually trying to put you in a different space. And be careful, ladies. A lot of these women are leaving their husband and marrying their therapist. <laughs> That's actually a thing. Yeah. Chicks are literally Mr. leave for their therapy. I, listen, I honestly think I honestly think Mr. Letgo suffered from post-traumatic interruption disorder. I think through his childhood, 
he got interrupted. He got interrupted as a child every time you he allergic talked, to that mute, he... but Mr. Lego, you won't even press mute. <laughs> I wish Yo. you co-signed me. Why are oh, you co-signed me? Never mind. I'm take that back. Huh? I was you on your side. I, I know you co signed everybody. Every time someone say something, that's right. No, no, that's wrong. <laughs> y'all won't even y'all won't even take financial advice from every financial you know person that calls themselves a financial planner or anything like that. You were supposed to vet the person that gives you financial advice. The first thing that you say is, okay, well, I want to see how much you worth or what your portfolio look like. Why would you advise me to do something that you're not embracing yourself? Y'all don't do that with therapists. Y'all go to them and say, oh, I don't like that person. Or I'm going to go to another one or I don't like them. Y'all just be out here. Y'all just be out them. here in the streets, laying on people's couches. You just did it to me. No, laying on people's couches and just doing whatever and spilling your whole life over the I'm people that don't know nothing option. about you. No, but it's just an option. All I'm saying is don't close down an option. It's not the end all and be all. It's just an option. No, they don't. They'll pick or look, people will go. I don't okay, so that. to push this conversation, can we just say if, if you're for a good therapist, what would be the qualities of a good therapist? What do you look okay. for to get a there So you don't know. Okay. A bruiser only care if she fine, if she got a body. If she if she got a nice looking lips. See? Uh, no, nah, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> I would say it depends on your goals. Come down, like, bruiser. Come down. My anti only care if he can he can fly him out. That's all it is. That's true. Uh, can lady die? True. Um, I, I got some I got some people being flown out. Oh my be surprise on this one. Hello, it's because we like him. I was able I was able to pull off some of the impossible. Y'all gonna love these. Well, they're coming on the show. Hey, you got the one country girl, the one country. What what the impossible? What do you mean? Are they coming on the show? You flying them out to come on the show? What are you doing? What's happening? I'm lost. You wanna come? You wanna come to the United States? You got your passport? I grew up in the States. I grew up in Staten Island, so yeah, um, my family's there. Yeah. I I will come right, out. Yeah. You you wanna come to the US? Yeah, never a problem. Okay, 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 okay. Six five. Just, doing hey, shut up. Just make sure you make sure you got your Plan B pills. <laughs> I'm not like that. Not a fly out like that. You stop it, Bruiser. <laughs> <laughs> um. In short, I just would want to say like it just depends on your goals. So if you know why you're going to therapy. Wow. then you seek someone no. that has that experience. I would never say go to a therapist that has no experience in what you need help in. That's like that's like going into fire without water. How do you really know that they got experience, though? What would you say? I said therapist. How do you know they really got experience? Some people that go to college and they still dumb. I ain't talking about the degree. I don't think the degree gives you any type of experience. That's just paper i guess you would check how many years they've been doing it and how many i would say how many successful people have left their office if they they got a if they got a if they got a quill pen if they got a quill pen on their desk usually they got five years you want to get like the what is it the ratings you want to make sure you read an ad i don't really be bought no raise the fault it will be faulty I truly believe if a person who are we supposed to go to we can't go to our meeting because y'all just said they was weak Go to your father. Who we supposed to go to? <laughs> he died. Go to, go to Mr. Go to Let Go. Go to Mr. Right, Let Go. Y'all go to me. And I got I got people. Hell that... no. You can't even quiet. Ain't nobody go to, go to your grandfather then. Yes. He's tired. He's got a discount for the week for the rest of the month. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that I think that most people, I don't even think that most people, I think the the biggest problem is that people is broke. Hold on. Who said, who said go to your stepfather when you said a father was dead? If you oh, fix really people's right. financial situation, most of these problems magically start to disappear. I'm going to be honest with you. If you start fixing some of these people's financial situations, a lot of their issues and a lot of this so-called trauma and triggers and all of this other type of stuff, she she just, listen, she mm, mad because y'all ain't got enough money. Funny, and y'all cramped up in that that one bedroom apartment with three kids, and that's your trigger. Come on. What about we who hit the lottery? lottery? They say the people that's who hit the lottery are worse off. Had a lot of money. No, we're not talking about lottery. We that's overindulgent. I'm talking about people that have financial issues. Just because you have money, don't mean that you understand how money works. It's different. Oh, financial. Money can fix all people's issues. financial issues. 
not just oversupplying with a bunch of money, because even people that make a lot of money, most people that make over a hundred thousand dollars is still living paycheck to paycheck. When you solve for people's financial issues, you will solve for the the majority of what's going on as far as people's triggers and problems and all of that type of stuff. Choices. I'm telling you, yeah. half of these people wouldn't even be arguing no more because the number one reason for divorce is money. If the number one reason for divorce is money, yeah, then that means that. The problems within the community ultimately can get solved with more financial literacy, better understanding of how money works, raising your income, all of this other type of stuff. So y'all think it's a bunch of therapy. I see a lot of people going back and forth and having issues. And a lot of it is just that they ain't got enough to be able to do what they want to do when they need to do it. That's yeah, real. Go to, we wouldn't go to a therapist if we had financial issues. We'd go to a financial no, advisor, would we not? If we had no, families, no. if we had families, if we had families, we wouldn't have to go to, hold on, let me finish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The only people, like, I think what Anton says is critical if you've seen a man and woman in a family before. Majority of our problems is going to be worse than this when we go into the future. People are going to have money. People are going to be established. People are going to have material possessions. People are going to have a car and a house. We're going to be horrible people to each other. Society's already bro broken and may never come back. The biggest things that that's, that's critical for a person to be a therapist or anyone that's working with other humans, they had to experience a family. And that's when all of us can't be pushing two parent households and not pushing why the importance of seeing the dynamics from a man and woman working together and how that raises people. So a lot of people who are therapists, a lot of them come from broken families or never. And I truly believe the ones that I saw, I know they if they had a man and woman in the house, they probably was feminist or people didn't know what a man and woman was. But the fact that I got to see how my uncles handle situations, my month, my father handled situations, grandfather, aunts. I mean, really, there was no pick your battles. Everybody had to respect each other. Everybody had to be responsible. Everybody had to be accountable at all times. And when I would encounter other people, even a therapist or teachers, oh, you got to let that go. That's not that big. I said, no, the little thing amounts to the big things. But no, the absence of family, if we don't go back to all of us investing in great people versus like jackets and coats and, and cars and houses, society's over. So until we invest in better quality people as a collective, it's over. Therapy won't matter. Where, where do I go, Ali? Where do I go for my trauma of, of what happened to me in the hospital? It, it's like, la it's oh. like Lady Di said, someone has to have a review of their experience as a mother, woman. And, you're not and, answering and, the question. You're just glossing I, over. I'm asking you a direct question. I'm asking like where a man asking go? the question. I'm asking where you... Find no, a no, woman, find, I'm telling you, find a woman that is willing to help you, like men on these panels or women on these panels or, or someone that you can go to that, that may not have no therapist title, that is an actual matriarch or patriarch and speak to them. We have to speak to actual men and women. You ain't going to fix your problems. You ain't even talking to a man or woman. Yeah, but how, do they, how does that person resolve what I feel that happened to me? How does that just go into a random woman? I, then I think you had a breakthrough. I think you had a breakthrough. I think there was something you were going through psychologically. Did you help yourself with what you was verbalizing to her when she communicated back to you? Just like we do now. Like you have a breakthrough moment when we speak, right? You hear something go, you know what? I never thought about it like that. We'll do it. We give each other therapy on these panels all the time. If you want to say therapy is that way, but it's really you hearing something back to what you communicated and it comes back to you and go, you know what? Maybe I can process it that way. I, you seem like you're a person that wants to develop and mature, and you might have had certain life experiences. You can tell who don't want to get help and who wants to help, but you got to help yourself. Can't nobody help you if you don't want to help yourself. And make more money. That's not to you specifically, Lady Shan. That's to the general yeah, public. I yeah, I know. And make more money. All right. <clears throat> Lady Shan, you wide awoke. I know. I, do you know what? Because but I told you, Jay, I'm used to working on US time because of my boxing show. So most of the people that I rock with, they're all they're all on like CT or PST or um, Eastern Standard. So I'm, this is usually my routine, to be fair. <laughs> oh, no speed and cocaine. And, uh, but uh, Cara, I, I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard Kara uh, Kara Ball say anything. You want to go ahead and chime in? I did say something, um, but I was agreeing with Ali about um, finding somebody that is, you know, more advanced than you, because at the end of the day, we, we're living in a world with a lot of people, a lot of great people, and I'm sure you have somebody around you that is very responsible, very mature, very respected, a woman, a man, somebody that is 
very business savvy and everything and they can give you great advice even interpersonal for interpersonal so if um you're thinking about going to therapy and you just maybe want to trust somebody good a little bit and tell them about your situation or tell them about what bothers you or how you feel about your feelings and they're going to give you good insight you're going to know that they're a good person so you're not going to just bring this to anybody you know so I do that. I do that with my mother. I do that with some of my, um, I would say, premium friends because they're so, like, smart. They're so knowledgeable. They study uh, all the topics. You said premium friends. What are the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh, saying people who are super advanced in their fields because I have a friend that is a family therapist, naturally, and he... Are they the premium um, friends? The friends that make no, money? No, just think... All no, friends? I say the premium. No, I'm saying the premium friends is the one that has all the knowledge and is the guru in their field. Okay, yeah. so I would and say they just you so might have some have friends. Success to go you're... along with them, right? <laughs> yeah, some are successful. Okay, yeah, they're uh, successful. Yeah. whatever. <laughs> whatever. No, no, I'm, come on. Okay, you're, talk... you're you're saying about the money. Yeah, okay, yes, because they made a lot of great decisions in their life, of course. So they are. Yeah. And they also are very smart because some people don't necessarily have you know. a lot of money, but they do study a lot. So do you have come a friend on. that studies a lot? Carol, and knows Carol, a lot? Carol, Carol, come on. <laughs> what? What am I saying wrong? So your none I mean, all your you premium friends, some of your premium friends, they don't have money like that? Yeah, because they might be a naturalist and I might need to consult with them more about like, you know, some natural things, my body or something, or physical, you know, maybe they work out a lot. They're not rich, but they work out and they know a lot about calisthenics. I'm going to consult with them. Yeah. So, so, so which friends, aren't, which friends calisthenics. aren't, which friends aren't premium? <laughs> huh? I mean, which I would say like when you grow up with some friends, you're, you're their friend because you guys have a lot of history together and you grew up together. You've been through things together. They might not be on the best path. They might not have everything that you have, or they might not be doing what they want to do exactly. So, where are you? Where are you from? Oh, where am I from? Yeah. Where was I born? <laughs> yeah, where I was you born in New York. I was born show? in Brooklyn. I'm raised in Miami. I'm half Haitian. I'm half Panamanian. She talked like half Haitian and half what? Half like Panamanian, Miami. half Haitian, half Panamanian. Born in New York, raised in Miami. Do you speak Spanish then as well? A little bit. I speak a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of Creole, a little bit of French. And English. Solo un poco. Yeah. Estoy you're, not fluent, you're not fluent in Spanish. Huh? But you're not fluent in Spanish. No, I'm not fluent, no. Duh, I can do a little conversation. <laughs> I can do a little conversation, nothing major. Don't you sound like Rihanna? <laughs> oh, this nigga here said somebody, somebody told me that actually. Before. Umbrella. <laughs> Y'all need therapy, man. Don't make fun of my voice. That's why I'm talking over nobody. Like she about to sing the uh, Wakanda soundtrack. I don't have no problem with what she's saying. Yeah, so contact a girl. Y'all be therapy. Honestly, that's all I know. I was actually in a relationship where my partner was saying that we needed therapy, and I told partner? him, "Don't, no, we don't." Hold on, you got a partner? I just said partner because he's my ex, my ex boyfriend. So he. No, 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 no. Was Carol, 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 Carol. Let me he ask you. Not my husband. Let me. Let me ask you. Not my husband. He's your man, husband. not your partner. Mister Let Go. I just said that to be, you know, appropriate. Hey Carol, let me ask you a question. What do you think about what do you think about uh Mr. Let Go's advice and that everybody needs therapy? Do you agree with that? Mm. No, I don't oh. think I need therapy, so I can't say that I agree with that. I, I feel like uh everybody can go to therapy. I don't think everybody needs therapy. Mm. I've been proposing. And I didn't times. say that just for record. No, <laughs> oh, yes, you did, oh, Mr. Oh, y'all need therapy. Oh, no, yes. It was you just said we all need therapy. That's literally what you just said. I said all y'all need therapy. It was I was it was somewhat of a joke. I don't mean oh, everybody. No, Mr. Uh, no, Mr. Oh, Mr. You want a big payday. <laughs> I'm so just so saying, she, hold on. Is she protected? Is she a bag chaser? Or is she if a, Carol uh, said everybody <laughs> needs therapy. Well, first of all, buzzer. Hold on. It's the difference between a bag chaser 
and and the let go protection program. Okay. <laughs> let go, what's program. your people call? Let go. What's your it's people? Two different call? programs. <laughs> let go. What's your what, what do you call your people? Your congregation? I don't have no people. Stop. I it. just told you it's the let go protection program. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is though. They can do it. They can't do nothing wrong. <laughs> No, they, they, they call, it's called it's Mission. The yes, that's what it's called. Step what did you say, it. JR? It's the LGPP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, protection program. Yeah. And in Atlanta, too. So. Oh, my God. Y'all have, y'all, y'all, hilarious. Hey, Carol Boss, have you ever dated a dude from Atlanta? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All my exes were like foreign, like, Passport bros? No, yep. like just um somebody born in a different country and moved to the United States, like residents, alien residents, or like they don't ha- they're not a citizen yet, like that. Why? Why you only date people who aren't citizens? <laughs> no, I don't just only date that. That was just no, um, the demographic of the guys that approached me. You only date all, you ruin all, you ruin all your chances, bro. If, if you got any friends, uh, Miss Boss, uh, Mr. Let Go's coaching come with stepdaddies. Uh-huh. What does that mean? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing. What, what, his coaching comes Why do you only daddies? date? It comes with a sign, stepdaddies. I don't <laughs> only date that. Nah, I would say that only all my single mother, so it's, it's for, it comes with stepdaddies. Where your ex- Carol, where's your ex boyfriends from, like, originally country? My right? uh, very I'm... last ex, uh, Cameroon. Uh, Africa. Do you have kids? Yes, I have a daughter. Miss Lego, you're going to drive the girl up, man. <laughs> what? I have a daughter and she's five. And her oh, dad so give me tires. Give me tires. Do you need any new tires? <laughs> oh. No, I actually just got two new front tires. Lady Chad knows the joke too. Dang, dang you get around, Miss Lego. Lady Chad. <laughs> Listen, if you. Um... Yo, don't do, it, don't do it. Keep the robe on. No, no, I'm saying that let go is <laughs> your guy. Did you hear Bruce? Let go is your guy. <laughs> oh, I see why I anti came to the panel with the robe now. Smiling. No, I, I literally went down the shower and you got your you know. on. Hey, 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 let go. Hey, let go. Then you said on the last King Talk. When you see a beautiful lady on the panel, you gotta either go to the restroom real quick for five minutes or go to the shower real quick. What was he doing in the shop? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so since we since we going going I into uh, last week, that wasn't me. Since we going into the no, since we going into the after hours, all right? That's what. <laughs> oh no! No, I'm getting on you because you called me buzzer. <laughs> That's my only fight back. I don't got buzzer? nothing to say. I can't. I can't use nothing against you. I didn't right, call man. you buzzer. I never yes. came up with that name. It was another woman that called you buzzer. You said on your show, I was watching it, and I almost yeah, ran over a goddamn button, pothole because you, I was watching your show. You said, I'm going to call him Buzzer from now on. From now on, mm-hmm. yep. That was therapy. Funny. Well, that's because according to Mr. Let Go, that's your trigger because when she called you Buzzer, you said, it's Ooh. not Buzzer, it's Bruiser. <laughs> that means that's a trauma response, Bruiser. You, need, you need to go to therapy. Oh, see? That's what I said. There we go. He was triggered and gaslighted, right? He was triggered. Yeah. And gaslighted. He ran over a lot. It, because she was drunk and being disrespectful and made it even worse, man. <laughs> if you said you ran over a pothole when you heard him say that, that, that means you need therapy. Because it made me laugh so hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew, I was like, I know Anton ain't going to forget to call me buzzer. I knew he not. You don't forget shit. Mr. Nope. Let Go, I got a question for you. Who on All this right. panel doesn't need therapy? I don't think any of y'all need opinion. therapy. Huh? I don't think any of y'all need therapy. Except for Bruiser. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what is, it, what is it with you and me, bro? You got... <laughs> Oh, I didn't see the night light in the yeah, background. Nice, yeah, that light, nice light. Where the light <laughs> come from? Yeah, shut up. I didn't see the night light in the background, Bruiser. Okay. Oh, light. It's a strobe light. Why you got, why you got a space Google heater on? Back it's cold down there? He said, you got a space heater on. It's cold down there? Mr. Leto was the only one lost. He the only one that thought it was a space heater? It's for his kids. God damn, bro. <laughs> You need goddamn lobotomy or something. 
Why well, you got a space heater on? It's not that cold, bro. It's like we in Atlanta. She got a I light on her, on her uh, look. Lucky got a light on her wall. Yeah, look got a light on he her wall. You didn't call it a night light. <laughs> <laughs> you got a night light, bruiser. <laughs> Y'all don't remember them uh Oh, what did they used to call them? Bright lights or something like that back in the day? Yo, Bruce got a bright light. Talking about the lights in it. Nice little bit. Yeah. Nah, I think it was bright lights. Night lights. Bright. Light bright. Light bright. bright. Oh, light bright. Mm -hmm. I have a picture. Mm. What happened to the. Bruce, you scared down there or something? <laughs> Why you got a light? A night light? It's a theme, man. It's my theme. Same reason why you got the electricity went out. That's same same reason why you got the light on yours. What what you got on the wall? Uh, <laughs> you got a snowflake on, on his. You got a, you got a snowflake on the wall. Go ahead and uh, maximize him, J uh, Jr. <laughs> but I I'm not sitting in the dark though. Please it's a maximize him. No no don't do it that quick. <laughs> <laughs> what the world? What's that? A Christmas this nigga tree? got a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You got a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What is in between? What's between the little lights? <laughs> Mr. Lego oh, got, got a bronze light tree in the background. Yeah, uh, what's that in between? Got, yo, that's yo. Mr. Lego got a bronze light tree. Got a glow in the dark light. Oh, where you get that tree, tree from, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that was from Dollar Tree. How you gonna put a twenty-seven inch on the wall, bro? <laughs> really, yo? Oh, you got a computer monitor on the wall. Hey, just because you got a, 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 a what's the name of uh, bonsai tree? Yeah. You, got you got a karate kid the tree back there. Oh, you can watch the karate kid. <laughs> It's 27 inches. Why well, you got a computer monitor on the wall, bro? Y'all are wild, bro. Uh oh, what, no. what can we find? Hold on. Uh -oh. What can we find? She's sitting in front of a fireplace. It's been covered up, ain't it? Why is Lady Dot sitting in front of a fireplace? The, the people on the show. Why not? Because it looks classy. Black people don't use fireplace. They yes, they do. Yes, no they do. <laughs> now, we used to say they ain't never used the fireplace. fireplace you might as well uh, read the super chats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, you got to do Lady Chan real quick. Super chat. Oh, that's that's one good. hell of a green she, screen, she girl. Got she got to be in Miami. She lives. That's, that's, that's all my name. Kendrick Cam. Y'all some part. That's all Miami right Where there. Lady Chan? Go ahead, Lady Chan. Let's get Lady Chan in there. Damn, you need to clean that shit up. <laughs> Where's all that mess back there, Lady oh, Chan? Like, clean up. Uh, it looks like a jailhouse. Your man don't come. Home, your man don't come home and say, "Yo, clean all this shit up." She got the pictures from the envelope. Uh, stick it to the wall. No. Okay. Man, what is that like? <laughs> It's a nightlight, bro. Did the lady say that? We gonna fly mm -hmm. her out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, uh, y'all is wild, bro. Twenty-seven inch TV on the wall. Twenty-seven inch TV on the wall. <laughs> hey, why he turn around and look at it like he didn't know how big it was? Yeah, he so you need that twenty-seven inch. Oh, it's tiny, guys. <sighs> oh my god, y'all is nuts, bro. Why have you got a twenty-seven inch for real put on your wall? That's why you business. Yeah, but you could have just left it like on the on. You know, well, I gotta see. I want to see the sixty-five. <laughs> no, we don't need to see it, bro. It's okay. <laughs> that looks wild. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> hey, so maybe it's not getting inappropriate like Anton do. <laughs> I don't even say nothing, bro. I'd be chilling. Oh, man, he gets X-rated some nights. Yeah, that's true. That is hey, very man. true. Super chats, guys. Are you going to do them? Go yeah, let's, let's get to them so we can hurry up and tidy up. I was saying, who going first? Lady Dad. I'll go first. Not me. <laughs> Are we gonna do it one at a time or so? All right, Island Girl, sorry, Island Gal Q. Shout out to Anton only. <laughs> Kelly Connection uh with the 499 super chat. Q is childish for that. Shout out to the entire panel. Support the network. Subscribe to the channel. Likes up. 
Island Gal Q. <laughs> There's some toxic super chats. <laughs> no. With the 999 super chat. Last time I checked, I thought I could write anything on my super chat as okay. I said hello to my friend Anton. See, women are children. Kelly Connection with the 999 super chat says no, best show Jesus. on best show on YouTube. Shout out to the Uh thank you. Sorry, thank for being a pioneer in these YouTube streets and giving so many people a platform to shine. Thanks. Eugene with the $10 super chat. I see the topic of the show. God did not build women to challenge men. God assigned women to be men's helpmate. This is why God gave the women their attributes. To go, $5 super chat, Carol Boss sounds like she believes in horoscopes. I believe she is stubborn, and is that part of your sign, ma'am? No, these super chats is wild. Jordan Landry, what's up with the $9.99 super chat? Much love and support to the Lapeef family. Queen Sheba Darling with the 499 Super Chat says, please let Anton finish. Sharon Thomas with the $2. Um, Anton always gets in his feelings when challenged. That's what your mama said too, bitch. Alan Gal Q with the 999 says, hey, Anton only. Alan Gal Q again with the 999. <laughs> More men have rage quit on these panels than women, FYI. Um, Sean D became a member of Green Gang. What's up? Queen Sheba Darling with the 999 says, Mr. Let Go, you don't interject women when, um, sorry, women are being attacked. So hush. Christopher J with the 199 says, whoosh. Usa, Usa. Uh, Usa. Uh, Stephanie Renee says, I'm um, sorry, she became a member, Green Gang. She pretty too. Kimberly Carter became a Green Gang member. B. Sannon also became a Green Man Gang. Green Man. <laughs> green. I can't even say. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> what about him? Lucky. Yeah. All right. Uh, lucky. Yes, sir. Oh, you go popcorn? Okay. <clears throat> Owen made one eighty nine super chat. You not battle tested, bruh. Four fifty five bench presser eighty two with the five dollar super chat. What up, Ali? North Carolina in the building. We civilized down here. I ain't going nowhere. Two dollar super chat. We got Anton Daniels versus Cowie Leonard. It's Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard. God. Oh, I don't know. I don't know these people. Okay. We, Darius Horton, ten dollars. Most dad mom bods come after kids as we age. We can't expect to look like we're twenty five at fifty five. We gain weight, but maintaining an acceptable frame is best. He got a no, dog. Unacceptable. Pookie Septicon. What? Pookie Septicon. Oh, one ninety nine. <laughs> super chat. Lucky, I'm six feet, six pack, seven figures with that tube steak. Oh. <laughs> okay. What that mean, Bruiser? Because I don't know. I missed it. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me be oh, I forgot you was on the other side. Five dollars. Did the panel hear that Avril Lavigne just left her fiance just to hook up with Tyga? Now, do we think women really want oh, the guy? That's a good no. I know. That's a, I know, it's a good point. To go with the five dollars super chat, Lady Chan, you are right. Compromising is a person wanting a cheeseburger, but realizing the salad is better for your health. Body, the burger is better. To go with two dollars, six five, not a ball player. She a sugar mama. Mm. Black man unfiltered network, five dollars. I just want a lady chan to say sausage biscuit three times in that accent. Go ahead, lady sausage chan. biscuit, sausage biscuit, sausage biscuit. Gina seven eighty nine with ten dollars. Philosophical. I like his mannerism and he's handsome and spinning facts. He's that dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna show him just how much he that dude. I don't forget. Come on, I'm on. One ninety nine, Anton. Oh well, I'm trying to take a trip wherever you from, Lady Chan. Oh okay. London. <laughs> Pookie steps to kind of game with one ninety nine. Lucky looking so good. What the fuck, Jr. Oh, my bad. <laughs> 
just yo, that was you wild. You wild. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hurry up and get out. Come on, yo. Okay, I read this. Uh, Pookie Septicon again with one eight nine, Lady Chan. I love your accent, Queen. Okay, I don't want to say what I think that say, Mister Nigga. <laughs> Mr. NG became a YouTube member. Shout out to you. Pookie stuff to kind of get 189. Lucky, guess what? I got a six pack and a big heart. Aw, okay. Uh, again with 199, Mr. Lego speaking for the washed up ninjas. Oh, shit. Uh, this might be risky. 499. Lucky is sound. Lucky is so sound. I respect it. Completely agree with Ali's sentiment. sentiment. He calls that man a B. We not jacking that. Gotta be settled. It ain't easy, J- Jr. No, I'm gonna say Junior. Nick with five dollars, lesson one, and Mister Let Go coaching class. Let me teach you how to not listen and cut off everyone. GC Docmo with 19.99. So is Lady Chan a passport 304. LOL. Just kidding. Glad to have you back on the show. I love your boxing expertise. P.S. I pray AJ can get back to the top soon, so we don't have to deal with Fury's antics such as disgrace from UK. Oh, shouts out to you. You know your folks. And thanks JB very much. with ten dollars. It's crazy how so many women do know and understand their evolutionary and psychological psych does he mean that? Psychological makeups. Females of all species are hardwired to challenge men because their survival depends on it. This is sad. Pookie said to kind of again with 199. Damn lady Chan accent, do it for me. Oh God. <laughs> oh. JB with five dollars to correct, don't. Eugene Steele with five dollars. These real women always want to challenge men and women and win. Pookie Septicon with one ninety nine. A woman challenging me is blasphemy. Island Gal Q one ninety nine. That's weak. Bringing up a man wife. Pookie Septicon one ninety nine. Women built to take this D and God juice. T O one ninety nine. Women challenge who they don't respect. AI Matrix became a YouTube member. Pookie Septicon 199 Bruiser streaming from uh, from the morgue. Pookie Septicon again with 199 women supposed to chase men, not men chasing women. Again with 199 married ninjas, the ultimate simps, laughing my ass off. To go with five dollars. Jokes aside, I agree with Anton. I've seen many women in this world treat not just boss, but white men better than their man. Willie Lynch syndrome. Pookie Septicon with 199 again. Last super chat, Lady Chan. Hit me up, Queen. Caesar's Palace with $5. Men keep trying to cater to women. If a man is okay making 60K a year, why should he try to make more just to please her? This is why they are never happy. Taylor Bell became a YouTube member. Island Gal again with 999. I'll be lost listening to Bruiser at times. Logic, that's your friend. Uh, Taylor Bell, four dollars. Lady Chan is the best guest appearance ever. Oh, thank you. DJ Chill Will, nine ninety nine. They are doing it to Michael Irving right now. Caesar's Palace with five dollars. I don't understand why this is so hard to understand. Anton's one hundred percent correct and speaking nothing but facts. Women can destroy a man just because. Pookie Septicon, one ninety nine. Divine God energy is what the world is missing. Xavier Foster, $5. Mr. Lego, does the average man benefit from when women do something dumb or when they falsely accuse men? The majority of men aren't government officials. Christopher J, 199. Lego says a lot of, <laughs> a lot of crazy ish. This one takes the cake. T. Harris with 499. What is Lego talking about? Women are ooing voting voters now. Shit. Oh, oh, okay. To go five dollars, Lady Chant. The Queen didn't have real powers. Look up your own government. It was just an image to the royal family. That's true. Juanita Claire Davis became a YouTube member. Toy Bands 99. Women don't have absolute power, but they have power by proxy. Basically, she can't beat your ass, but we'll call her brother to handle that for her. In go accomplished, still power. AL five dollars. Women outvoted men by nine point seven million votes in twenty twenty. They chose the president. 
They spend money to go, $5. The British queen had symbolic power, not real power. So the so-called ruler wasn't ruling nothing. <clears throat> Machine, $5. 75% of the black dollar is spent by black women, yet 37% of that same dollar was earned by them. It's really getting really laughable and sad at this point. Lady Chan, you want to read the rest? Yeah, I don't mind. Let's go. Um, Caesar Palace, $2 Super Chat member. This is why Anton will continue to get rich. Shake my head. Caesar, oh, T.O. with the one ninety nine Super Chat. I don't know. Mr. Let Go be sounded like a confused feminist. Jonathan Baron Baronville, four ninety nine super chat. It's like when Marissa Mayer was CEO of Yahoo, she treated Yahoo like she was on a shopping spree and just kept buying companies left and right. Island Gyal, nine ninety nine. Bring the old panel back. Besides Island Gyal, Dano's theory, nineteen ninety nine. The way some of these questions are being answered, seventy seven more women took power. Hashtag, it's okay to say you're you're right, Anton, and lucky. Corgi English, $10 super chat, huh? Car Carabos. Omni Design Studio, $20. As an older woman can still be attractive if she is classy, feminine, and doesn't bring drama. Young women are youthful but full of drama. In the end, men want peace and a ride or die companion. <clears throat> Pookie's... Uh, what is he? Pookie's Septagon. 199. Mr. Let Go, like a stepped on thumb. Eugene Steele, five dollars. Lady Shan, I love to hear yours. Jessica's H and Auntie Jenny's voice. I don't know who they are. Sorry. Um, Island Gyal, 999. The other ladies on the panel fell asleep while Buzzard Shan and Letting Go had their convo for 30 minutes. I, I'm taking it that uh, Island Gyal, she's not really feeling the I and I, but it's all good, bitch. It's all good. Um, uh -huh. so, so 199. Luck complicating shit right now. LOL. JT999. Nori, I mean, Mr. Let Go, don't be getting into it with my guy, Ghost. I mean, Ali tonight, my bad. Or we go in, let him do you like. <laughs> Perry Silva, JP, JR, I, I think he wants to say JR. Great, great, great show, guys. Um, JJ Carver, 1999. Therapy is the act of helping, guiding a person to heal themselves. You don't get fixed. You're given tools you didn't have before. That's why it's important to be honest in therapy to get the correct tools. Convo English, $5. Um, Ayana Van Zandt, a per, uh, I prefer a life coach. Anything outside of that? Therapist, psychology, doctor, prescribed drug is a bipolar conversation. I agree. Um, Chike Auto LLC 499. Anton, thank you. Therapy is a scam. I believe people go to therapy, don't pay. Uh, Bruiser, please can my can you connect me, my friend, to my therapist, to a therapist? I don't know what that means. Um, AL, $5. Therapy is about talking through the issue and the therapist provides tools to help you work through those issues in a direct, healthy manner. Caesar palace, $2. Anton has a problem. He's rich. So he needs therapy. Uh, Kobe Jordan, four ninety nine. I know a lot of scammers. Most of them dudes I used to rock with had several jobs. A lot of, a lot of them were therapists on the side. Pookie Septicon, 1999. Lady Shan, you need a therapist? I'd listen to your accent all day, Queen. My, I don't know. <laughs> Jay, I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, Island Gyal, 199. I was, uh, yeah, move along. I'm not even reading hers. Go ahead. Yeah. And on blowed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're all right, Pookie. Shout out. You funny as hell. Jo Jonathan Baronville, 499. A the therapist's job isn't to help solve problems, it's to help you think and process. I haven't seen my therapist in a while, but it was dope when I did. Rob, 499. Uh, I'm going to say bruiser, even though you're saying buzzer. Bruiser looks like an in interrogation room. He slowly fades into black every week. Great show tonight, y'all. <laughs> uh, 
Fuki, let go a hater. <laughs> Jonathan Barrenville, 499. Almost Bad there. Ther- okay, no worries. Bad therapists are the problem, not therapy itself. Nowadays, we have affirming therapy, which is an abomination. A good therapist can be amazing. Island, <laughs> next. <laughs> um, in Siam One, yeah, I'm going to waste your money, bitch. You're going to wish you never super chatted today with the, with the fuckeries that you was coming with. Um, it's higher two dollars. Shake my head, let go. Telling someone to let to to let someone else finish. You're crazy. Shervin Thomas, two dollars. If you need to, Mister, let go. He's too no, too annoying. Okay, Shervin Thomas, two dollars. Uh, Jr., you need to you need to let Mister let go. He's too annoying. Um, greatness to work, five dollars. Ali is spot on. Mentor, I mentor and coach youth ball. I see it all the time. Women blaming sons when really they are the problem. AL, $2. Does Ali have a PhD in psychology? Do you, Ali? No. Okie dokes. Um, Co- Congo English, $5. Making 150K but 80K in debt. Debt to income ratio is upside down. St. Cartier. 1999, not going to lie, rewind in the beginning of the show, Anton got super emotional and attacked Illa first, but Illa didn't deserve that. Just because he interrupted Anton, that's because not the first someone interrupted Am- Anton. Um, Nazim, 199, you stop it, bruiser. Shan, soundbite. <laughs> that for you, J.I. said. To go, $2. Anton, the black Cartman. Respect my authority. Respect my authority. Yeah, I remember that. Um, AL, $5. Ali's advice is, is like me working at a failing engineering company and then saying engineering is a scam. Therapy isn't a scam. There is good and bad. I've got three more. No worries. Um, Dr. Uma, <laughs> shouts out to you. $2. The Lord, my shepherd, he know what I want. Miss Fran. Just wrote that and just comprehended that. Sorry, my bad. Um, but sorry, Bar Malone, unblock me on FC. So one. I, I, I'll read the last one. I'll read the last one. Go ahead. Snuggle six six eight four dollars and ninety nine cent. Drop the l- 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 links so so we we can can, can, can. No, I'm just kidding. Come up and give you people a piece of our mind, or are you people scared? All right, that's all the super chats. I want to say thank you. You got to keep in mind we didn't read none of the super chats throughout the show, so that's why Selenka was a lot, even though it wasn't a lot. I want to thank Shan, Lady Di, and Lucky for participating and reading the super chats. Look to you guys. <laughs> well, I was going to do something different for you, Bruiser. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I just want to thank uh, Bruiser for reading. That one super chat. Salute to you, sir. Appreciate you, sir. Um, great show. Great show as usual. Um, I don't think we ever had a bad show. This is the great show. Lady die up this late. <laughs> what? You never seen you up this late. <laughs> right? Yeah, I gotta stop. Whoosh. Nah, it's yeah, all. I had fun. It's it was fun. Fun show. Yeah, I mean, I don't think nobody can complain because it's uh, what time is it there, Lady Shan? It is six forty-seven. Shout out to Lady Shan for staying up with us. AM or PM? AM. AM. So yeah, you know, for the people that's in the Eastern Time Zone, I don't think nobody should be tripping because Lady Shan been up uh, since about was it four o'clock or something? I've been up since yesterday. Yesterday, haven't I? Right. So should nobody be sitting there tripping? Shout out to Lady Shan. Yeah, Shout she out pretty, to Lady, Lady Shan, Shan, you pretty dope. I, I, you got a great hey, personality. Don't ever, don't, hey, if y'all don't, if y'all want to trigger JR, don't ever. Well, if you get on Thank here you. talking about you sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Fun. Whether we, I disagree with you now, you seem like you're intentional. You have intentional conversation. You're very respectful, too. Thank you. Yeah, Lady Shan, you, you, you like really it. dope. You Go dope. On, Second show. You know, Mr. Lego struggling, too. Yeah, you see over there. <laughs> and I disagree with Ali. I just want to say that. <laughs> I like, hey, I love you, Mr. Lego. I love you, man. We gonna get you right. We gonna get you right, man. Mr. Lego. Therapy. Therapy. Huh? It's very important that we hold on to our youth. 
you know, anytime we start talking about we tired or something like that, that's when we're crossing over to the other side. So, you know, I always want to say we good, we good, I'm good, and no, I'm not tired. That's the, that's the type of energy you want to keep. Because once you go over to the other side, it's hard to come back over. Yo, what's oh, going on with Bruiser? Like, what, what are you doing, bro? He wants some what? attention. It's because you're bad close to the camera. Why are you so zoomed in? What What are you doing? <laughs> there you go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Dr. Barraville, uh, 499, says, I have a feeling Lady Chan ain't rocking with Q. Oh. She's Q. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so unblock me on FC. Yeah, what is that? We re like, it. Like yeah, I was gonna <laughs> guess and say fight club. Yeah. Oh, that's you don't read that. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to do with that, sir. I don't know what's going on with that. But I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. A great show. Uh, make sure you follow everybody on IG and the individual platforms. Mr. Let Go. Got a lot of things going on, popping on Facebook, YouTube. She's so lucky is on YouTube. Ali is on YouTube. Lady Dies on YouTube. Bruce on YouTube. Lady Shannon's on YouTube. So I'm pretty sure if you type in any of those um, letters you see right there, you'll be able to pull up their bio information and get in touch with them, coaching all that good stuff. So, and we sure. got a show in Chicago and Detroit on March 25th and 26th. If March, anybody wants to come out, March 25th, y'all gonna be in Chicago. I might have to pull up, and we might uh, we gonna do a reaction to this. Everybody want to stay up? I don't know, Jared. Are you, are you doing IG later on? Like somebody. Um. Later on tonight, yeah, no, we're gonna not. do a reaction on yeah. Team Fatty. We're gonna do a, a reaction on Team Fatty after this. Yeah, Anybody, I got my uh, any yeah. any of the panelists that, that I love so much want to join. I got my bath water. Oh, we, we can join, yeah, of course. Yeah. I was gonna you, do you react into uh, to this show? If oh, to this, show? Right, yeah, if you want to join to this episode, okay. including JR. So, y'all <laughs> gonna, I got my bath water ran already. <laughs> The bath, man. You know, I'm I'm 54. I can't I can't hang with y'all. <laughs> you 54, y'all. You ain't stop lying, y'all. You ain't no 54. No, I'm not 54. Nah, I ain't believing hey. that. Like the Beijing worked pretty good, man. If I, oh, you know, I nah, we all great, man. I be sitting there looking like uh, I be sitting there looking like humble dad. So. Are you 54 for real? For real? 54, yeah. Nah. I, I thought you should give yourself a round of applause on that soundboard of yours. Go ahead. I'll go ahead. Let me let me let me go ahead. I need to see the ID. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah. So um uh, y'all youngins, uh y'all enjoy y'all sales with people in the chat. Uh look at Kelly Con connection says I'm lying. Really? Okay. Um nice. no, I'm 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 54, y'all. I just you know. No, you see, you got exposed, you're lying, stop. You just said lies. No, so I guess the women sticking together today right now, okay. Um, let me go ahead, man, because I'm starting to get delusional. You know, we started forgetting stuff. The lady get 54. Y'all ain't there yet, but y'all experience it. Trust me. Hit the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Shout out to the sponsor, T Chanley. Uh, hit the like button, man. The likes are free. That's all we ask for. Everybody that donated, appreciate you. Make sure you follow everybody on individual platforms and don't let go. Like, shut the fuck up. Just come on. Just get off. Uh, y'all make sure y'all go ahead to the after spot, but I'm out of here. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Y'all have to talk quick. I couldn't even play the music. Who was that? Who dropped off first? Who was that? Let go over there dozing off. Trigger fingers, boy. <laughs> Some good music or something, man. I gotta change my music up. Get real, man. All right, y'all. Wave. I'm in it for keepsake, in the field with the cleat lace. Beat flip with the bare face and the slick tie. That's what she say. She look good, she a big tease when she biting lip with the wink face. Hella bad when she throwing it back. She bringing my way for the team play. For Pete's sake, I'm above average. I'm padding my stack. I got a matter what he say. I'm the 2010, got LeBron James off the bat boy. Type of bad boy. Hold it down for the task force. If I run his face, then you ask for it. Niggas cross, need to laugh more. I keep it 100 on dashboard. The live show, need a passport. Cause the beat bounce to the cap torn. Feel like I live it fast forward, but I ask for it. Misfit, got a quick lit on a crash course from the tattered garment to the tabloid. Fuck how I live it to existence. I be ahead of myself, but the bank account did jump up a couple figures. But like nobody could fuck with us. I'm a flight risk. I play among the stars in the Hollywood Hill. The space that you couldn't even get in touch with me. Praise faith that I stuck with it. 
wave. No, I really can't complain. Everything is straight. I've been on a wave. But everything I say turn into the real thing. I tell it right here, cause you know it ain't a thing. We made it up the slums, words on the page. Everything is straight. I've been on a wave. But everything we say turn into the real thing. I've been living like I'm famous. Like I don't show my face, I'm jumping on the stage. Like I'm living in a daydream. Thoughts and imagination. She only want me when she fake. She quit to tell me I'm a fake. She ain't too no lie, she love it when I catch my cadence. She gone off the deep end. Pull up every week, and I hate to let her down, but I'm in a fast life, so they never slow me down. Heartbreak, jumping like a no sleep. Well. Switch up, you always help me down. Wonder no why I turn into a cold of me now. It could be worse, right? I got where I'm at with that don't work. Black fetish. You tell me that it's love, but I'm knowing that it's madness. Hey, JB, I, I know you ain't fetish. talking, bro. I know you ain't no, talking. Really can't complain, yeah. Everything is straight. I've been on the way. Everything I say turn into the real day. Tell them run it up. Made it out of slums with the words on the page. But everything is straight. I've been on the wave. But everything I'm saying turn into a real day. So last strike, right, hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And you will be out. Appreciate you, chat. No side, both sides with me. Check, come and check, leaving flex season 12, come and get me. Get up to run around high speed, chasing all the big bags. Bending corners, bending rules, bending necks, get up the whiplash. Slide through hot night, warm butter storm, gutter drain lane. Young man, old habit, still at it, trying to let my chain hang. True story, new story, two story, condo, B&B. Four bath, one me, no key, like I did a B and E. B and me, so good, so hood, so not worried about it. Caught a million new views, old news, know you probably heard about it. Extra, extra, read about it. Headline, word around town, flexing, balling on my court, so I ain't worried about nobody. Out of bounds, stressing, feeling like Hercules, murder these. Ain't a problem to me. Try to tell the maid service don't come unless you bring it condoms to me. Flexing like this great body. Extra, extra, read a body. Say you wanna be for body. We gon' come and see a body. Flexing like this great body. Extra, extra, read a body. Say you wanna be for body. Find out nothing sweet about it. Movie shaking, coming down to me. Stacking, racking, money, power flipping. Movie shaking, coming down to me. Stacking, racking, money, power flipping. Movie shaking, coming down to me. Stacking, racking, money, power flipping. Movie shaking, coming down to me. Stacking, racking, money, power flipping.
put you on blast, JB. Got to talk about green man in the chat right now. Big bass, Bill, I see you, brother. Johnny Bear, Bill. Team Fatty, I see you, brother. Leslie, Marcellus Davis, Carlisle Thomas, Kelly Combos, Machine, Mr. BX87, Catherine Forbes, Jordan Landry. Shout out to all my green gamers in the chat. Fantasy Island Girl, I see you. Juanita Claire Davis. I'm going to become part of the green game and I'm going to the top of the chat. It's the last track, family. Yeah, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all the support you guys have given us. Without you guys, we're not going to be out today. Lastly, shout out to the sponsor, Team Channel. I'm complicated skincare for me. And purpose and opportunity for free care. That link is in the description. Make sure you guys feel the tease. It really works, family. It's time to get our skincare and order, man. Summertime is near. Follow that shop page.